Three, two, one. Okay. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to all. It is your humble correspondent, David Duford. We're doing it live. Today, we're bringing you a, an all day ACA Obamacare, Trump Care, Biden Care, whatever you care to call it, <laughs> training for sales and marketing. And I have none other than Mr. Uh, El Patron. El Patron. Yes, I am here ready <laughs> to go. Excited. Luis Moreno, uh, as he is formally called. How you doing today, Luis? Oh, man, I am doing good. It's a Friday. I'm excited. I am ready to share all of the ACA opportunity with all of you agents out there on YouTube and, uh, and part of David's team. So uh, some very important announcements before we begin. Please make sure that you pay very close attention. We have free stuff for you. You love free stuff, don't you? Sure, we all do. So make sure you go to this website I'm about to share with you. It's called davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. Again, davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. I'm going to throw it into the chat so y'all can just uh, click on that. Now, why would I give you free stuff? Because that's how I roll. You guys know this. So as uh, Luis goes through today's uh, presentation, I'm talking and typing at the same time. Uh, he's going to be throwing out some uh, references on the screen as we educate you on the ACA sales and marketing process. We want to make sure you have these tools available. Um, Luis, can you give us a quick rundown of what they are getting so they kind of know what to expect? Yeah. You know what? As far as the freebies, guys, I'm going to share my screen right now. Here are the freebies you're going to get. So you've got to go to this website. It's up there on the top. And you're going to get some goodies that are, are going to help you get set up. Number one, you got to get certified, guys. So I included the certification walkthrough for not only new agents, but for returning agents. Um, you'll see throughout the uh, today's course, some of the marketing stuff that I do. Um, I've you know, I had a lady create uh, some uh, collateral for me, uh, business cards, rack cards, uh, signage, uh, tablecloths. And so she did it for me and I use it. And then I start, agents started asking me, hey, Luis, where can I get that? So I we have a little one pager there where you can uh, look at some of the stuff that I use and order from her if you want to, or use your own vendor. Um, we're going to give you some ICRA stuff. At the end of this course, guys, we're going to be talking about ICRA. Uh, it seems to be heating up. So we'll be discussing that. I'm also going to share, guys. I have been doing ACA since it started in 2014, when it was awful. And between then and now, I have come up with eight common mistakes that consumers make. So I'm going to share that with you. And then you can't live without, you know, a, a carpenter can't make a living without, without a hammer, David. You know, hey, so we, we have our own tool belt. So one part of the, that is essential in this tool belt is the income chart. you got to have it. So I'm sharing the 2022 income chart with you guys also. So Wonderful, Luis. Yeah, thanks. So again, that's um, davidduford.com forward slash ACA. Let me go ahead and I'll stop your participant sharing. Great. Okay. You can just jump back on when you, can, when you want to, Luis. So davidduford.com forward slash ACA. Now we'll make plenty of references through this. If you uh, guys, for some reason, forget to do that or don't do it immediately right now. couple other things. Number one, just letting y'all know, we, you know, why do we give away everything for free? It's because it's, it's what works. It's the greatest marketing uh, I've ever done in my business. Uh, it's what's helped me build my agency successfully. I've got Luis now on the roll with giving everything away for free. And that's part of our sales pitch today, guys. Of course, we do recruit agents to sell ACA for open enrollment throughout the year. Ace, as Luis will introduce himself here, if you don't know who he is, he's very, very experienced in the ACA side of the business and kind of was the catalyst to getting us all on board to it. Um, as you will discover, hopefully you'll kind of conclude today's training that this ACA opportunity is red hot. There's so much opportunity in it. It is something that is going to stick around. It's not going anywhere. And I think the earlier you get involved in this, the better. And we're going to teach you everything that you need to know to sell this stuff successfully. It's not that difficult to sell and how to market for it. Lots of opportunities for free and paid marketing. 
uh, you'll learn all of this as we go. I think we covered everything we need to. So guys, as you have questions, um, throw them in the chat. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is kind of sitting in the background, monitoring and observing. Luis can go forever doing these kind of things as he will. There's lots to cover. We plan on taking breaks for 10 minutes for, for every two hours or so. We got to take a breather, as you know, use the bathroom, that kind of thing. So um, kind of near the end, closer to the bathroom breaks, I'll be jumping on, looking at your questions, uh, throwing them out to Louise to answer them. So Louise, maybe, you know, 10, 20 minutes before break time, we'll kind of think about Q&A just to make sure everybody's asking questions, getting their answers, uh, questions answered. And then uh, our plan is to go somewhere between four, five, six hours. It kind of just depends on how we go through the material, what questions that you have. Again, we want your feedback. We want your questions. So throw those into the chat. Um, we will be asking for them and definitely answering them. So, uh, Luis, anything else we need to, to cover with you before you go into introducing yourself and kind of taking us through the itinerary today? No, guys, I would please ask questions. You know, uh, my whole goal here, guys, is I'm not going to water this down. You're not going to come out of here like, OK, I want a piece of this. No, no. If you're going to come out at the very end of today, you should be already ready to rock and roll and either make the decision to get in. Or if you're in it and you're not doing so well, this is going to take you there. So it's not a watered down, hey, this is just, they're just giving us a little bit to tease us. This is everything, guys. So real quick here, Dan uh, Clark, I see your comment in the chat. If you try to download this, so the, the, the service I use to do the pop-ups doesn't work for everybody. I don't know why. If you try to download the thing and it doesn't work, just go to davidufordcom forward slash contact. Send us a message and say, hey, Dave, it ain't working. Just manually send it to us. I promise I will. It may take a couple hours to the end of the day, somewhere in there, but I will promise I get it to you. So, uh, okay. Without further ado, Luis, you are ready to go. I'm going to sit, step back and holler if you need me. Otherwise, uh, now the fun begins. All right. It's my show. I love it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to share with you at least the itinerary so you can get an idea. Um, I'm going to start with just generalities about what is ACA. Some of you guys may, may not know it. But we're going to start with the general ACA stuff. We're going to talk about certification. That's huge, guys. Uh, we've had agents who start selling, forget to get certified, or maybe they didn't even know they needed to get certified, and uh, you don't get paid. So we're going to talk about certification. Then we're going to talk about the money potential. Guys, there's rumors out there that there's no money. And I was one of those people that was spreading that rumor. Sorry, uh, there's no money in ACA because I wanted to hog it all up, okay? So we're going to talk about the ACA uh, commissions and bonuses that are out there. So unfortunately, I don't have 2023 numbers. We are in sep late September. Um, usually carriers mid-October will roll out their commissions for the following year along with any bonus potentials. So um, what I have heard, I'm not even going to tell you what I've heard. I'll tell you what I've heard when I get to the commission stuff. Um, we're going to talk about contracting, okay? A lot of people have no idea what to contract with, who to contract with. We'll talk about that. Um, then we'll get into specifics into ACA. We'll get into um, specifics with the Hell Sherpa, our quote engine of choice that we use. Um, we'll get into healthcare 101. You know, what do you need to know to help our insurance and set them up the right way? So we'll talk about healthcare 101. Um, what about the uh, the intake, the data that you need to collect so that you can do your job? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some ancillaries, guys. Huge, huge, not only as an income potential for agents, but also as a... Um, uh, uh, as a way to round out an account and help our insureds completely. We're just not going to sell them one piece of the puzzle. We're going to sell them the entire puzzle. And, uh, and so we'll talk about that. Uh, I'm going to show you my trick to bundling. Guys, you got to bundle. Okay, it's huge. Um, we'll talk about, even though this is an ACA class or YouTube uh, uh, course, ACA is not for everybody, guys, okay? So we'll talk about the alternatives to ACA. Um, 
And then we'll get into ICRA. Oh man, you guys, if you don't know what ICRA is, um, I'll tell you what it is and why it's the next biggest thing in the ACA world. So we'll spend some time on ICRA. Um, and then we'll get to the very end of it where we'll spend some time on marketing, okay? The things that I do, we'll share some, uh, some goodies out there with, uh, um, uh, on what we, uh, we have in store for you and, and how I'm growing my book of business, guys. We are rocking. And uh, so I'll share all my marketing ideas. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And, and, and you'll see my head scrolling, scrolling or looking that way. Like, what are you doing? Who's over there? Uh, it's my other screen, guys. And I have it on that screen is where I have my agenda. So um, let's just hop right into this. And we're going to get into certification. All right. So let's start off with you. If I want to get into ACA, how do we start off with a certification? So give me one minute. Now I'm moving this over. And loading this up. All right. I'm going to screen share. Okay, guys, so one of the things I want to share with you guys is this map, okay? Um, you'll notice here that we have different colors on this map, all right? We've got the dark blue states, okay? This is not a political thing, just they're just dark blue. Um, we have the aqua colored states, and then we have the states that are grayed out, okay? So... Um, as far as certification is concerned, the states that are dark blue, these are what I would call uh, states that participate on the federal exchange. Okay. Um, they're part of the FFM, the Federally Facilitated Marketplace. Okay. So they participate in, in the, the marketplace, which means all that you have to do is get one central certification. That's it. Okay. One certification will handle all of the dark blue states. All right. I do have a walkthrough and this and it is part of the freebies. You got to go to David's website and the one he, he shared earlier. Let me pull it up again. DavidDuford.com forward slash ACA now, you're going to go to that site. And when you're on that site, guys, um, this is one of the freebies. Now, let me open up that folder and I'm going to share. We're going to look at the certification. Okay. All right. Stop share and reshare because sometimes I have, I have multiple screens. I got four screens, guys. And so sometimes I don't know what screen I'm sharing. Okay. All right. So here is the walkthrough. Oh, this is for returning agents. Okay. Let me get out of this one. I don't want the returning agents. I want the new agents. All right. Sorry about that. I'm going to stop sharing and reshare. Okay. So here is the returning agents. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the new agents. Guys. Um, the site where you're going to go get certified, okay? And let's see if it's uh, right here, portal.cms.gov. It is a government site, okay? Uh, they don't make it easy to go and navigate this site, all right? It's used for all kinds of other things. Um, so they actually had to come up with a 74-page guide to get you to the the course, okay? So if you're a new agent, new to this, you're gonna go to new, new user registration. Guys, it walks you through. Now, while you're in the certification portion of this, um, there are several certifications you can take, but I would suggest, and I've always done this, I haven't done the other ones, okay? Choose this one right here. Select Federally Facilitated Marketplace, that's FFM, Request for MLMS training access. That's the one that you want. It's free, guys. Okay. And you just kind of follow the prompts. You're going to have to enter your information. 
Okay. Um, you'll create your username and password. You'll hit next. You're going to fill some information now. Now, this is important. Let me see if it says it. Okay. So um, once this is confirmed, guys, what you're going to have to do somewhere in here, let's see here, you're going to have to log out and log back in. Okay. Um, you're going to have to do the multi factor uh, authentication. Okay. I would suggest that you do the text message. Okay. The email takes too long. Uh, these other ones, I guess, are fine. I don't know. I just use the text message. So when I log in, I got my phone always with me. I mean, I get a text and I enter the code and it's and it's done. You don't have a choice on this. You have to set this up. Okay. Once this is set up, guys, and uh, you you've you've started the process, you're going to request uh, the role, which is agent and broker training. You're going to have to do identity proofing. Okay. Which means, okay, so let's let's see if it'll show it here. So you get your text message, you enter the code, you're gonna add an application. Um, here is the one that we suggested, the FFM forward slash request for MLMS training. Okay, you'll select the role, which is agent broker training. Okay, then you're going to have to complete identity verification. If you're if you somewhere in here, and I do believe this, you have to log out and log back in um, somewhere in there. I can't remember, but identity proofing. Guys, you'll set this up. You'll accept the terms. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to enter your social. You're going to fill out the rest of this information. Okay. And then you're going to get hit with a bunch of questions. Okay. Questions like, in 2008, you took out a mortgage with which lender, and you have a list of the of the uh, oh, uh, banks, okay? Or you took out a home equity loan, or you took out a car loan, or here's the street that you live in, what county is it in? Um, I would suggest, guys, don't just click, click, click. Just take some time. Don't don't flunk this, okay? You gotta. You're you're gonna be stuck and. It's going to take you a while to get out of this place if you screw up this identity proofing. So make sure that you get the identity proofing done. Okay. Um, once you've completed the identity pro proofing, you're going to go to the next step, which you're going to choose marketplace training agent broker. Okay. Um, agent, you'll, you'll choose agent broker. Um, you're going to go through this section and it'll tell you here. Okay, this is setting up your help on demand. We'll talk about that later. You're going to definitely want to set up help on demand. Free leads, guys. Free leads. Okay. Um, you fill out your information. This is where you're going to set up your hours of operation. Um, you're just going to go through this. Let's see. What else is important? Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to go complete your training. OK, I do believe there's a spot that says why you're requesting to sell or why you're requesting this training. It's a little box. Make sure you just put to sell ACA. It's all you got to put. You don't have to put something elaborate. OK, uh, just put on there to sell ACA. OK, and then you'll go through the course, guys. OK, you you will have an exam. You have to score a 70 or higher to get certified. Um, pay attention to the course, guys. Uh, it's going to give you a good foundation on ACA if you're a new agent. Okay. Um, shop, guys, I wouldn't mess with shop, small business, health. Uh, I don't even think it's uh, available, at least not in my state. So you don't have to do shop. Um, but anyway, you'll, you'll get all this knowledge, the Affordable Care Act basics, marketplace basics, uh, cultural competency. Uh, enrolling in a qualified health plan uh, or eligibility and then enrolling um, privacy standards, PII, you know, how to, you know, you want to, you're, you're collecting a lot of sensitive data, socials, date of birth, sometimes tax returns, uh, certificates of naturalization and birth certificates. Um, you're, you're collecting a lot of data at time for our, or a lot of info for our insureds. So they do spend some time on protecting all that information. 
Okay. And then you take the exam. And at the very end of it, guys, when you are done, so here's what you're going to click on. 2023 agent, agent broker marketplace training. You'll click on it. Um, and you'll hit open curriculum over here on the blue and on the right side. Then you're going to start taking these courses. Okay. You have to make sure that this is 100% when you're done. So you'll complete, you'll, you'll click on one, you'll launch it, and you just kind of continue till you get to the very end of it, guys. All right. Once you're at the very end, you will be able, let's see here if it will show me this. You're going to want to print your certificate, save it to your desktop. When you do contracting, a lot of the carriers want this certificate. Okay. So in the actual contracting section, they're going to want you to upload it. Um, we contract using the Assurance Bay portal, and you're able to upload this certificate in there. So make sure that you get this printed and saved to your desktop. Okay. So this is what the certificate will look like. And just save them, guys. Super, super important. What else do we have in here? Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right. So we will conclude with that on the certification portion. Um, make sure if you're a returning agent, that, oh, well, if you're a new agent, I'm going to guess this is probably going to take you a couple of hours, maybe. A returning agent, 10 minutes. It's super easy for a returning agent. So uh, um, pretty easy there. All right. I can't see any uh, questions on the chat. Um, as soon as David gets in here, he'll start asking if you guys got questions on the chat. Um, but that's what you will do for certification. Now, pull this up here. All right. So here we go back to the screen share. All right. Okay, guys, so here, again, we're looking at the map. The certification that I just shared with you will work with all the dark blue states, okay? Just do it one time and you're done. This is not like Medicare, okay? With Medicare, you know, you not only do you have to do AHIP, but you have to do carrier certification, you do not need to do that in the under 65 ACA world. Okay. All right. So we're rocking. We are, we are on the right track. Now, if you are in one of these blue or these aqua states, these are states, they do sell under 65, they do sell ACA, but they do not participate in the federal market. Okay. They have their own state-based exchanges. They use pretty much the same rules, uh, same guidelines. Some states have different guidelines, different incomes. But if you're in one of the aqua states, you must do their certification. So if you're in Colorado, guys, this is a hint. Okay, If you're in Colorado, just go Google Colorado ACA. Okay, And you'll end up going here to connect for Colorado. Okay, And just navigate the site and figure out, um, uh, you know, you're an agent and you have to figure out how to get their, their certification um, done. And, and you'll, you, there may be a different site for the broker site. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't sell in Colorado. Uh, I know there's another one, uh, Pen, uh, Pen. Let's see here if I can remember. Uh, Pennsylvania. I was helping an agent in Pennsylvania. Anyway, so that's what you're going to do, guys. Just go Google it, and uh, and you'll be in good shape. Now, if you're in one of the blue states, okay, after you've done your certification, I would urge you, you're going to want to go here, okay? Data.healthcare.gov forward slash. You guys can read that, okay? You're going to want to enter your NPN and hit update, what you're going to see. Now, it's not instant. It will take a couple of days, but you're going to see here the, the you know, you want to make sure that your NPN is popping up on here. 
This is what the carriers use to validate that you are certified to sell and receive commissions. Okay. You just can't send them your certificate. Guys, there's experts that can um, clone that or, or edit it or whatever. And I think that's what happened. And, uh, but what I would do is make sure that your NPN, you type it in here in the search NPN box and you hit update table. Make sure that this is your information is populating here. Again, do not freak out if you took the course yesterday and it's not popping up. It takes a couple of days for that to happen. All right. So we are rocking on there. Again, if you're in the aqua, um, you are um, you are rocking. You're, you're going to have to do your own state exchange and you will have your own state enrollment platform. All right. OK, I think we are good. I don't know how we shouldn't see any questions on. Let me make sure I've covered everything here. All right. Let's get into compensation. Oh, this is the fun part, guys. We're going to get into the money. You know what? We're going to bypass the money. You're like, oh, come on, Luis. Really? Okay. Since we're here, we're going to talk about contracting. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to remind you guys, go to David's site. Let me get this pulled up. Um, okay. Go to davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. Okay, this that that guideline that I was showing you all, enter your email and you will be able to download these guides. Okay, so go in there if you're a returning agent, get that one, or if you're a new agent, you're going to definitely need that walkthrough. Okay, contracting. Okay, this is a common question. In Medicare, we tell agents, especially new agents, don't get all the carriers. It's a little, it's overwhelming. But in the ACA world, get them all. Okay. All right. So if you're in Texas, these are all the carriers that we work with. Okay. You want to get every single one of them. It is important that you do that. Okay. Uh, if you're in Florida, you are all the carriers that we're getting. Okay. One bit of news out there. I think Florida the Carolinas, and somewhere up north, this carrier, AmeriHealth Caritas, AmeriHealth Caritas, this carrier, we're one of two organizations that will have this. What we're hearing is, well, we know they're not in the marketplace right now. They're going to be coming in for 2023, and they are supposed to dominate and take market share wherever they're going to be. So your organization out there, if you're not with us, if you're with another organization, um, I don't know the name of the other organization that you want to tell us, but our organization, we're one of two that will have this. So another big plus for us, you want to get contracted, get with David. He will get you completely set up with us. All right. If you're with another organization and you don't have access to that and you just want this one, we can still help you. Just get with David, okay? Get with him and he will get you completely set up with contracting, all right? So I believe it's going to be in Florida. Let's double check here. Let's go to the Carolinas. Um, oh, yep, I was right. So South Carolina is where there will be. Um, North Carolina. Well, it looks like they're already in North Carolina. And then, was it? Uh, no, not there. Not there, thinking, thinking, if I can click it. Well, I don't need to click it, let's go here. Aha, Delaware, there you go, in Delaware. Okay, in fact, we got two new companies in Delaware, Aetna and AmeriHealth Caritas. So if you're in one of those states, guys, another plug for us, you get our contracting. Again, get with David, hit him up, and he'll get you set up, okay? so. Like I said, guys, and if you're in one of these aqua states, we've got carriers there, okay? California, we've got these carriers set up there. Um, you know, now, you're probably, you're like, in Connecticut, only one carrier. Guys, that's all we've got. Typically, if there's other carriers, 
here is what we see. You have to be a captive agent, which means you work for that company, you're an employee to sell it, or they're not paying commissions. So if this is all we got, you know, that's 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 what it is. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but that's the way we'll roll with contracting. Okay. So in some states, we're only gonna have one carrier, and you know, you just gotta that's all we've got. Now, if you're in a gray state. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't help you. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, again, we, we just don't have the ability to contract people in those gray states. And I don't know the reasoning behind it. Uh, I think it's more of a money issue. It's a there's no commissions type of stuff. So if you're in one of those states, you know, nothing to stop you guys from getting a non-resident license and then getting set up to sell. Nothing to stop you there, guys. You know, you, you well, I, I'm licensed in about eight different states and I'm selling all over. I predominantly work in Texas. I will tell you, Texas sucks. Don't come to Texas. I'm kidding. Texas is really good. Uh, but this is a, this, there's, there's, there's so much to go around. Okay. So um, that's what I've got there. Okay. So contracting, guys, very, very important that you get all the carriers. Here's another reason. You're going to be like, no, you know what? Um, I was speaking with an agent. like, I'm just going to get two. I'm like, okay, that's fine with me, but I'm recommending all of them. And so I said, why do you want to get two? Well, I just want to study them. I want to get to know them very well. Very good reasoning. But here's what happens, guys. From one year to the next, you're going to have, you know, we, we don't know who is going to be the best price product. ACA is a price sensitive product. Low income is our target. Low income individuals is our target market. So I will show with share with you. I'm not gonna give you the carrier names. So I don't want to get involved in any issues there. But I wrote over a thousand policies with one carrier in 2021. They came in, they were the lowest price product. I mean, there was a big margin between them and everybody else. Okay. So a lot of my insurance were like, you know, the, the other carriers, their rates went up and these insurers were just like, no, I'm, we're not going to pay that. Move me somewhere else. I'm like, all right, you know, I don't care where they go. Uh, we, we make the same, almost the same amount of money. So I would, I moved them all over to this one carrier. Okay. Over a thousand new households. I don't know how many heads, you know, maybe 1500, 1700 heads, but about a thousand new accounts with this one carrier. That was 2021. 2022 came around. This one carrier, they, because they took so much market share, they had a ton of claims. Um, you know, whatever they had to hire more people, more expenses. You know, whatever it was. Well, in 2022, their rates went sky high. I moved. Now I only have about 300 with that carrier. I moved them over to another carrier in 2022. Well, what if that one carrier is not in your portfolio because you decided not to contract with all of them again you're just you, I, th I, th I don't think you're setting yourself up for success so make sure that you get all of the carriers okay uh that would be my recommendation next recommendation on carriers oh let me tell you the other reason why you, you want all the carriers so not only is it a, 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 an issue with with price but when you're quoting there may be some doctors and some medications that these insureds don't want to change from. Okay. They may want to stick with this doctor. A lot of my under 65, they don't care. Uh, no, I just moved to the company. I want to save some money. They'll find a new doc. A lot of the younger people aren't tied to a doctor like these senior market is. Um, but if they are, then you're going to have to search the network. Okay. So again, if you only have a couple, and you're, you're, you're limiting your, your ability to sell the other carriers uh, um, based on that doctor, that network search. Same thing goes for the medications, okay? Uh, each of these carriers has a formulary list. So if they're taking a med that they're just not gonna want to change, then what if your two carriers doesn't have it, but the, uh, the other ones do and, and you didn't get contracted with them? Now you can always come back and recontract. So that's not gonna be an issue. 
You can come back and recontract, but what a pain in the butt. And do you want to do that during the open enrollment? Okay, again, it's going to take several weeks for that uh, to go into place. Is your insured going to sit there and wait for you? That's the other question to ask. They may decide to go somewhere else. So from a business point of view, I would suggest probably don't do it. Just get them all. Okay. It's a matter of click, click. Uh, we use Assurance Bay uh, platform to, to, uh, to get you appointed with the carriers. It's not that hard. You might as well knock them out. Okay. Um, the other two carriers in the ACA market that I would suggest that you get, because the ACA policies that we're selling do not cover dental. And you guys are probably thinking, yeah, they do. They do. They cover pediatric dental, pediatric vision. Some of them do have dental built into them. I'm going to talk to you about why you shouldn't get it. Okay. Um, but the pediatric dental, crappy. It's a checkup. Pediatric vision, um, what it will do is it will cover the exam and a pair of glasses. Okay. Um, so that's okay for the kids. I would suggest that you have a standalone dental and vision product. Okay, so this is the carrier that I'm going to recommend. Okay, it's called Emeritus. Okay, uh, when I get into the dental and vision portion, it'll pop up here in a minute. When I get into the uh, dental and vision portion, um, I would, I, I'm going to get very, very detailed into the Emeritus product. Okay, but I would suggest that you get a contract with them. Now, you can sell dental with whomever you want, Humana, Delta Dental, Dental Select, United Concordia. You know, it doesn't matter. I like these guys. They pay well, um, super easy to enroll. You get this, your own unique PURL. Um, you can just blast it out there and have people sign up. I, I think it's a great tool to have or, or a great product to offer. And the reason I like pushing is my own personal dentist, based on his feedback, loves emeritus. They get paid quick and well. So that's a good thing also for the dentist. Uh, and, and he's like, yeah, we love emeritus. So I'm like, you know what? Let's rock and roll. Uh, you can sell it to the under 65 market, and you can also sell it to the over 65 market. Okay. Uh, and they do offer dental and vision. You can purchase them as a package or standalone. Okay. So that's the second uh, other type of carrier that I would recommend that you get set up with. The third one is going to be National General, which has now partnered up or they got bought out by Allstate. Okay. So I'm going to suggest that you get them. And when I get into this section, you'll find out why. Okay. They have a lot of products to offer. They are not selling ACA products, okay? This is going to be, we're going to utilize this product as a supplement to the ACA, not in lieu of, okay, as a supplement. So we'll get into that when we get into the ancillary sections, okay? So again, contracting guys, you want to get, all the carriers that are available in your state. So let's go to Georgia. You know, you got all these carriers, get them all. Okay. They're all paying commission. So you don't have to worry about these carriers. Okay. And then get Emeritus and then also go out there and get Allstate or, or National General, which is uh, now getting rebranded to Allstate Health Solutions. Okay. All right. Um, I don't see David on here, so I don't know if we have any chats. Um, I'm going to see if we can get or any questions. Let's see if we can get some questions here, and uh, we'll see if we can get him uh, uh, answer any questions from you guys. So I'm just going and going and going. I need some questions. I need a little break. Okay. All right. So we'll see here. Let me move on to my next section. All right, this is the beautiful thing, guys, that we're going to get into now. All right, so let's spend some time on the fact that there is no 
money in ACA. All right. Again, um, no money in ACA. So why the heck are you on this on this uh, YouTube live? All right. So again, do not forget. Go to David's site. Go sign up for his email uh, um, and get these freebies. Okay. Super important. You're going to need them. All right. Let's get into some compensation. Get that pulled up here. All right, guys, here's one thing I'm going to share with you guys. All right. Give me one minute. I'm pulling this up as we speak. All right, one minute here. I'm going to ask you guys out there for a favor, okay? Um, I have, I'm going to share this right now. I have a YouTube channel. Now, I'm nowhere near like David. David is 31,000 subscribers, huge. Um, but I would love a little bit of love from you guys. Go subscribe to my channel, okay? My channel when I put videos out there or any YouTube shorts, which are one minute videos, these are all geared to helping you agents. Okay. Whether you're an ACA agent or a Medicare agent, um, I'm always posting content out there that I think is going to help you. The majority of the time, it's questions that our agents are asking me. Okay. So, um, and so they're asking me, you guys out there are probably being at, are probably having the same kind of questions. So here is here are some of the things. So you'll notice here uh, a CRM that I'm recommending that I use. Okay, how to check your NPN to make sure you're ready to receive commissions. I did a video on certification. Which, uh, uh, what ancillary carriers should I contract with? What carriers do I contract with? Chronic plans for Medicare, you know, what, what qualifies as a chronic plan? So guys, these are, these are, every video out here is geared towards helping you become a better agent out there. So go in there, do me a favor, guys. I'd like to get this thing up there to 2000. Get in there, subscribe to my channel, and, uh, and then hit the little uh, all video or, or so that you, whatever, it, there's a, subscribe and I can't think of it, but if you click on it, it, you'll get notices on when I post videos out there. So the one video I want to share with you guys, okay, is this one. And you guys are probably going to think, no way. This is where we're about to get into the compensation section here. And you're probably thinking there is no way. Okay, I have two videos. First of all, is this one. I'm not going to play it, okay? But this video right here, how to be financially free. Guys, I will share with you. Just built a brand new home, beautiful home. Not going to share dollars, but um, because of ACA, I'm in one of those positions where I don't have a mortgage. <laughs> no mortgage. And this is no little house. It's a dream home that we built two years ago on the top of a hill. You see there, I'm overlooking this beautiful, uh, uh, this is the, my, my front, um, but there's my letter. Hey, you are paid in full, okay? I was able to pay off my mortgage, guys, okay? I am, I am not kidding in all this. Let's see here. I don't even have a picture of this beautiful home that we just built, but um, all because of ACA money. Okay. So I sat with my wife. I'm like, hey, we're buying stuff. We're, we're, we're um, just spending money because it's just coming in. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just buckle down? Help me take these commissions and I'm going to dump them into a different account. And let's just see what happens. I didn't even know, realize how much we were making. Well, you know what? We just decided let's just plug this money into an account and paid off the house in less than two years. 
Okay, beautiful. But look at this other video right here. This one right here would be a great one for you to watch. How to make $100,000 in 45 days. You're probably thinking that's, there's no way. It's, it's off. There's just, there's just, you know, it's not possible. Okay. This is, I will show you guys, which I'm going to share with you guys here in a little while on compensation. But if you want to go watch this one, this is how I'm, it's a six minute video, how I made a hundred grand, more than a hundred. This is how you guys can make a hundred thousand dollars in 45 days. So do me a favor, guys, go hit my channel up and we get back to it so you can find it. I uh, couldn't think of a better name. You know, again, I'm just an agent like you all. Okay. I've been doing this for many, many years. Um, you know, I, I just called it Think Medicare, Think ACA. So go on there, find us and help me get this thing up there, guys. I, I would appreciate the love. And then also hit me up, guys. Hit me up with Luis. I would love, uh, you know, here are some questions and I would, I love shooting videos. I'll get in there, shoot some videos on any questions that you guys may have. All right. So let's get into compensation. Oh, because again, you know, the rumor is there's no money in ACA. Um, I would tell people, I told my colleagues, you don't want to do it. It's awful. There's no money in it. Okay. Just give them to me. I'll write them. I'm going to do you a favor, although I really wasn't. And I'll just give you 50 bucks. They're like, all right, give me a gift card. No big deal. I was just giving away gift cards to my other agent friends who did not want to get into the market because the rumor was there was no money in ACA. Okay. No money. So uh, let's get in here and I'm going to share with you the money. And then I'm going to share with you the bonuses. And then I'm going to give you some marital advice. Really? <laughs> no. But yes, I am. Be prepared. All right, let's get in here and I want to share a whiteboard. All right, guys, I got to write with my mouse. So bear with me here on, on this. Okay, so the way we get paid, when it started, guys, some carriers were paying a dollar amount. Some carriers were paying a percentage of the premium. I believe there's still one carrier that pays a percentage of the premium. It's a regional carrier here in Texas, but the majority of them pay on a per member, per head basis, okay? They call it P, you know what? Let's see if I can do it with my finger. I do have a touch screen. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, a little bit better. You know what? Let's see if this will work. Oh, beautiful. I got a pen with a little rubber thing here. Okay, so we get paid PM, PM. That is per member, per month. All right. Now, the, the, the amount that we get paid, we used to only get paid up to a maximum of five heads. So if you had mom, dad with seven kids, you only got paid on a, a total of five. Most carriers have removed that. So however many people you enroll, you're going to be receiving a commission for each one. Dave, there he is. Howdy, can you hear me? Man, I do. I need a little, like a little two minute break. I'm going to get some water, but I want to answer some questions, Dave. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. You okay, want to do, one minute. do the I'm questions gonna... now? You need to go... No, no, I'm just going to go tell my guy to bring me some water. Hold on here. Okay, sure. Perfect. Okay, so I'll... Uh... I'll filibuster here like the best of politicians. Have you guys enjoyed uh, Luis's training so far? Uh, three cheers if you have. Perfect. That was not that long. That was fat. That was like two seconds. Well, I just told my guy, give me some water. I may have to go to the restroom in a little while. <laughs> okay. I'm on my third cup of coffee. I, I work, you know, it's almost 11. I've been up since five. I had a, uh, uh, yeah, work out this morning. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, thank you. So let's uh, let's get some chat here uh, going. Uh, so we got questions from quite a while back. So let's hit some questions up. Do we want to cover the family glitch issue right now, Luis? No, but that. you know what? That is a, whoever asked that great question. Um, I'm going to make a note here. Yeah, we're going to hit on it later, right? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm making a note here. I am making a note. I will tackle that question. Yeah, you know it is. It hasn't gone away. 
So let's Very let's good. move through these quickly. There's a bunch here. So is there a deadline to certify? There's not a deadline, right? Nope, nope. But you definitely want to get certified before you start selling. Right. Yes. Yes. Do uh, is this going to be taped? You know it is. That's my business. So just come back, and <laughs> click the same link you're on right now here, guys. You can watch it later. Take notes. We're not pulling it off of YouTube. It's uh, we're doing it live. Yes, but it's recorded for your future viewing pleasure. Uh, let's see here. Can you please send me the papers to join your agency? Shoot me a message, Beatrice, uh, daviddufour.com forward slash contact. Uh, I'll send you our startup link. And if anybody else who's interested in selling ACA, just go to daviddufour.com forward slash contact. I'll let you know what to do. Um, please Dave, along we, the way, go ahead. Dave, can we just make one thing, guys? Sure. This is just a, a, an admin thing. Guys, I cannot contract you. Okay. I get hit on quite a bit. The reason I want to contract, don't hit me up for contracting. You got to go to Dave. Dave will hook you up. Go ahead. Sorry, David. Checks in the mail, Luis. Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, can you please send me the, okay, we did that one. Please along the way, tell us how we get leads, various sources. We're going to talk about that later, right? So yes, we are. And uh, let's see here. Uh, how long does it take to hear back from covered California? I registered, but haven't heard. It's been a week. It's California. I mean- snail is what I would figure. What do you think, Luis? Oh, I don't even, I don't, you know what? I just got licensed over there because I have a client that moved there, but it's awful guys. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Like is, there, is, is this something realistic for a new agent to sell or is it better to get experience first and another insurance? No, do it. This is the easiest thing to sell. So yes, you, you know, don't wait for experience guys. By the time you're done today, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be like, really, this is all I need to know to sell. It's that easy guys. Yeah. And, and I don't think Luis, you even talked about some of the bonus opportunities that's coming shortly, right? Yes. I'm about to jump into commissions and then I'm going to tackle bonuses. Yeah. That's, that's what makes it really good. Um, ask Luis's wife. <laughs> hey, there's a marital advice. I told you guys I was going to share. Yeah. Yes. I am giving away free marital advice and that has right. to do exactly with what it's real easy. Just do what she says. Basically that's what it summarizes as. Yeah, so pretty much. All right. Um, yeah. The one thing I'll say, I'll just add my perspective I, and I kind of, I said, I disagree with Luis. I just kind of look at this. I want to make sure you guys know it you're getting into with ACA, it's a residual based product. It doesn't pay an advance, right? It's not like final expense or life insurance, like a lot of you are used to, where you get a big upfront payment. This is slow money. This is build money. This is a lot of money, but it takes time to build. Um, but we're, we're going to talk about ICRA, a fantastic strategy to help scale this, uh, to not only sell ACA plans, but also life insurance. We're going to get to that a little bit later. So that, that makes this very viable to do as a standalone product. Um, and mass can I can only sell to small businesses? Can I sell in other states for individual plans? Absolutely right. You can sell over the phone. Hundred percent. You can. Most of my business is telesales, and if you want to sell outside of your resident state, all you got to do is get a non-resident license and then get contracts in those states. Right. Okay. Just because you have a contract in this state does not automatically mean you got the green light in the other states. You have to add those other states to your contracting so that you can be able to set up. So uh, uh, the, 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 we'll get the commissions, my boys, in a minute. Um, returning agents do have to pass the exam again, correct, Luis? I think you probably addressed that already. Super easy, guys. Fit, there's no exam. I think you just, I, I, I did it in, in August. There's no exam. You're just going to click, 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 and go through it, and you're done. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. If you do like uh, Donna, uh, if you put in, if you go to Google and put in NPN agent number lookup, you will find the site that you can put your personal information in to see your licensing details. I'm going to give it to you here, Dave. And uh, I, I did share it right now in the, in the video. Um, yeah, gonna, throw, it, I'll, I'll throw it to me. Here. I'll throw it in the chat. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, I'm doing that right now. Are we sharing the ACA map yet? I I, I show have, that I um I have not shared it. I, I was showing okay. them the map, but I have not shared it. So here's the um what was this link you gave me again? I this is the link for them to enter their NPN to make sure oh, okay. that they're green that they're good to go to receive commissions. All righty. This is where the carriers go 
to make sure that you're, you're, you know, they're going to double check and make sure that you're set up here so that they can pay you. Are we supposed to get our own appointments? You can get them through us, right? So it's just sure. like any other carriers you work with. There's an agency middleman. You got to work with them to get the appointments. So that's how it would work. Just reach out to us, davidufour.com for more details. Just contact us if you're questioning exactly how to do things. If you're still confused. Um, if if I've completed FFM training and the NPN is not on a website, what do we do? Just kind of wait for it to refresh. It, it, are they saying it's not on there? Correct. And they've done yeah. everything right. It's there's like a three to five day lag. Okay. okay. So give it some time. If you're like two weeks and it's not popping up, something is going on. Right. So right, right. Need, yeah, that's not a good thing. All right. Getting through this, moving through it. Have you uh have you uh, shared your YouTube channel yet? I did. I did. I was like, give me some love, guys. Right. I noticed you, your subs count's pretty good. It's over a thousand now. I think it was like I what, need... like 300 in the last month. That's pretty sick, man. It's good, man. It's the David Duford effect. <laughs> yes. The um, Midas yeah. touch. There you go. The David <laughs> Duford effect. Are all your ACA sales done by phone or in person? I mean, it's, it's a mix of both. You can really do both, right, Luis? Um, you can. Um, I have a storefront. And uh, right. I, I litter my yard on my front with signs, with uh, with yard signs. I have flags. Uh, I have Obamacare enrollment center. And I get some walk-ins. It's not bad. But the majority of my sales is coming. Wait, it, is it? Is, do you put in Texas? Do you put yard set signs that say Obamacare or Trump care? No, Obamacare. No, <laughs> you like you, having clients. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. I, I have, we haven't quite bought on to Trump care or Biden care. Uh, most, most of the insureds are, are still Obamacare. Right. So I, I do, I haven't migrated to Trump care or uh, no. It's, I, guys, I, it's, this is, this is not political. We're just having a joke here. Don't get triggered. Yes. Don't flip out. We're just having a little fun. Okay. Relax. It's Obamacare really in most of our prospects eyes. You know, that's just, yes. that's how it started. That's how it's become kind of, you know, uh, in our yeah, minds. Okay. And speaking of that, David, you know, you, if you, in our insurance lingo, we use the word ACA, right? Yes. In, in the consumer world, the ACA, what, what are you talking about? Exactly. They, they why we call that. this Obamacare sales training, right? Because, right. you know, that's what we're selling, but even new, you new agents may not have known the difference there. I mean, I'm kind of surprised by that, but that's just because there is that difference. So that's what we just use, call it different things, but it's the same thing. Right. All right, let's keep going here. Thank you for the cheers, everybody. Um, smart book. How do people get your smart book? People who have their appointments through us get it, right? I mean, that's yes. for free. Yeah, if, you have, right? okay. if you have the appointment to us, we've got a platform where we do training and support, and we have it in there. Uh, I am going to get into the smart book uh, portion as a as a you, it's a great resource. In fact, look, it's right here, guys. You gotta have it. So if you're not with us, I'm gonna share the link, David. And yeah, you... throw it in the chat. I'll throw it in our, your chat, our chat, and I'll throw it in their chat. Okay, pulling it up right now. It's fifty bucks, guys. Uh, if you're not with us, um, you know it's. I, I use it. You know, this is what I tell people on here, David. You know, why? Do you, what? You know, is it necessary? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm a pilot. Okay, I fly little planes, a single engine. Okay, I haven't flown in years. It's too expensive now. Um, but um, if you go, you're on a commercial flight, you're going through the front door, glance at the cockpit. Okay, and if these guys are sitting there, these guys are probably ex military, probably two to 5,000 hours military time. Uh, and, and they sit there and uh, you'll see them, they have a checkbook, that, a checklist. OK, and they're going through and they're, they're just you know, they probably already know it, but they go through a checklist before they fly. Um, they're going through a checklist when they're in the air and they're going through a checklist before they land. OK, so it's just the way it is. All right. That's what this is, guys. It is a, a resource for you uh, and, and you you'll use it daily. So I just shared the link. David will yep. share it with you. It's Here's the, the good thing, guys. It's a one-time buy only. You buy it. I update it every year. I just updated it for 2023. So it's current. And then okay. last night, I do have a Medicare smart book. Okay, same thing. I know this is ACA, but if you want to get a Medicare smart book, I, I have a bundle where you can get them both. 
But uh, last night, yesterday, I believe the day before, CMS approved all the Medicare numbers. So I just updated the book with that. Cool. Thank you. So um, Jared's asking, is your work at a push-pull split? No, he does CrossFit. Boo. CrossFit. CrossFit. Yes. We, need, we need to introduce you to starting strength, uh, Mr. Ripito. You know, my back, David, I can't lift like you. I've seen, I've seen your videos, man. You, you, you got way too many, uh, uh, what do you, what, uh, weights on that bar. Fat rolls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been on that dirty bulk the last since coronavirus started. So I, I put on a little bit of weight for those of you, but I'm down 20 pounds though. I'm kind of, I'm losing it slow, but surely. So, you know, All I'm right. a tennis player, Dave, and weight right. doesn't do us good on the court. We got to be quick. That's and, true. That's true. You know, I, for me, and on the tennis court, it's about quickness and uh, and stamina. And so, yeah, all I try to do when I do my CrossFit, it's funny. I tell people, I don't go do guy weights. I look at what the girls are doing, and I do what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you determine the household income for families? Uh, do they have to pull out tax returns? Can you briefly describe that? I'm sure you're going to have some in-depth. I will. Briefly, here's what I'll do, guys, is I ask. Part of my intake form is, hey, Dave, what's your, what, do you, what do you think you're going to make this year? If I'm talking about 2023 plans, Dave, what are you, what are you going to make next year? I, I, I let them tell me. Now, if they're sitting there fumbling, like, I don't know, um, usually I would tell them, well, what do you make in 2022? Do you think it'll be the same amount? We can use the previous year as a guide. Uh, if they're self-employed, they're a real estate agent, insurance agent on commissions, and they don't know, well, how are we going to know? Right. You have to give us a number. Okay. And then there's there's some things that will happen if they're off. And we'll talk about that in the income section of the course. So a couple, uh, moving through a couple here, getting more questions, getting to the end here. Uh, yes, you can do just ACA with us, y'all. You don't have to do all of your carriers. Of course, we'd love to have them all. But if your sole purpose of working with us is the partner and learn from Luis to employ an ACA sales and marketing strategy. All we need is your ACA business to do it. Uh, so for those of you who are with other organizations, maybe you have a good relationship there or you don't want to disturb things, but you want to do ACA, 100% fine just to do business with us on the ACA side. What else do uh, we do, Dave? Uh, final expense, Medicare. Hello, Medicare. Luis trains a lot on that, of course, and, mm -hmm. and some annuities too. Right. Is there a way to build passive income if you have an agency and have other agents where the carriers pay you off of what they write? 100 percent. Yeah, you can. Uh, I mean, that's what Luis does. Right. I mean, you want to briefly talk about that with what your setup is? Yeah, we we'll do. This is uh, we refer to overrides or with down. Yeah, kind of like what you've got going on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. How can you override? What's the opportunity in, in building an agency, recruiting agents to work? Yes. ACA? So we do have that ability with this organization. So we've got the ability for you to recruit agents, put them under your downline, and you decide what spread you want between them and you, okay? So you have that. The other thing that you can do, if you're building up your own internal agency with employees, I have two in my office, kind of like LOA. Uh, what does LOA stand for? I can never remember that. Licensed only agent or line go. of authority, line of authority. Okay, so they get set up. They all they have to do, all they have to be is two things, guys. They have to be licensed and they have to be certified. That's it. As long as those two things happen, what you do is you set them up under your agency. They have their own login to their own quoting platform. They enroll there and they don't have to get contracts, but they're going to use your NPN so that you as the agency owner or principal can receive the commissions and the bonuses, and then you pay them out however you want to pay them out. But that's for an internal. If you're recruiting external agents to be under your downline, completely different. You don't want to do that with those guys because those are independent people. You, We can set you up that way, and you decide on what kind of override you're going to do that. All right, moving through these questions here. Um. We'll get that, uh, Veronica, your ICR question. We'll we'll kind of sort through that as we get into the ICR se section later. So just stay tuned for that. Um, with Health Sherpa, do we actually do the enrollment for the client or they have to do something in the system? Yeah, how does that work briefly? No, no, Health Sherpa, real briefly, we'll get into that. I'll show you guys how to okay. pull and enroll. But no, you do it all, guys. 
what what made healthcare that well or or Obamacare awful at the beginning was we didn't have any tools like Health Sherpa to help us. We had to enroll on a freaking government site, healthcare.gov. Okay. That site at the very beginning was not, they didn't have the, they weren't prepared to handle the volume. So literally, you'd be in the middle of an app and your screen would time out. Okay. And you'd lose everything. Or you would get a screen that would say, please hold. And you would be on there just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I guess when enough people got off, your turn would come in and then you'd have access. So I was doing enrollments at night. Okay. And they would take about an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, now with Sherpa, Health Sherpa, you never go to healthcare.gov. And you're like, well, isn't that where you have to enroll? Yes. Health Sherpa talks to healthcare.gov while you're doing everything in real time. So it eliminates you having to go over there. So you, you quote on Health Sherpa, you enroll on Health Sherpa, and then you manage your accounts on Health Sherpa for your insurance. So it's a one-stop platform and it costs a ton of money, but we're going to give it to you for free. So um, you want to talk AOR changes briefly? Oh. So Schaefer says, what do you do to combat the freaking AR changes? I mean, I, I, I'll tell you what my opinion is, first of all. So first of all, what is an AOR change? An AOR change is when agent of record, that's the terminology for it. And you have the capability to go in and switch out the broker who's assigned to that particular case um, without rewriting the policy. Luis, stop, stop at me if I'm wrong with anything okay. I'm saying. One thing I'll add before Luis provides his perspective, why do AORs happen? Why do prosp your clients? willingly switch to another agent. It's very simple. It's because you haven't made yourself known as their agent. What most likely is happening when in health insurance, your person is switched to another agent is because you haven't stayed in contact with them. You have bought into the call center approach to selling this stuff or the transactional approach, and you've not bothered to create a relationship with them long-term. And so what happens is if you just treat this business as transactional, this is the this is the problem with agents who come in from life sales, who just make a sale and move on. Like it's this is not how you do this in health insurance. And what you'll have happen is you'll have your people replaced and somebody else will come in and pick them up. So the real solution is, A, it's going to happen on some level, but B, the real way that you minimize, minimize it as much as possible is, is don't treat this as a transactional business, create relationships People want agents. You need to let them know you're there to help them. And, and anyway, this business is residual that you're about to get into with ACA. So you got to keep them for life to make it up and make it uh, lucrative. So you should start laying the groundwork. What do you, what do you say to that, Luis? 100%. So it's the nature of the beast. You cannot combat it. Okay. But you can minimize it. As David said, build that relationship. Okay. That's number one. Number two. You have to coach your insurance. Don't give your name and date of birth out there. Okay. You know, don't be going on, a, on, on, you know, on wherever, you know, leads, uh, uh, ads. If, if an, another agent gets their email, I'm sorry, their name and their date of birth, that's all that's required. They can pull up an account. They can view all the sensitive data and they can change the agent of record. Now it, you, you are, as an agent, attesting that you have gotten the permission. All right. Now they are cracking down, but not that much of a crackdown. But they are. If you're, if an agent is just doing this without uh, their permission, you know, you and the insurer need to get involved. File a complaint with healthcare.gov. They'll research it. But I don't know of any consequences. The way I view it, it's a cost of doing business, David. Right. Yeah. You know, you how do you combat it? You just write more policies, and you're losing. I mean, if you, I, I when I lose them, I have one horror story, David, and this is what I would tell you, agents: if you're going to do this, and of course, not doing it where you just get a name and date of birth and you just do it because you want to acquire the client. If you if you talk to an insured and they're like, "Yes, I don't know where I'm at. I did it on my own, or some agent enrolled me," but you're talking to that insured, they've given you the permission to do the AOR. I'd get it in writing. You're going to go to their account. I will show you guys how to do it. You go to their account, but you must update the entire application. The horror story that I have is I had an agent do that to one of my insurance. This lady was going through cancer. 
Okay. We found her a plan. It wasn't the cheapest one, but it included her oncologist and where she was getting her treatments. Okay. So and she was fine with the price. She, everything was set. She was, be, she was being treated. All of a sudden I get a call from her, Luis, they're not paying my bills. They're saying I'm not covered. I'm like, what? I didn't make a change. I go in there and I realize another agent went in, switched her to a less expensive plan. Okay. Without her consent, the oncologist was not covered anymore. And you'll notice that when wow. these plants, the, they're HMOs. So there's no out of network co coverages. She lost a facility where she was getting covered at, uh, they, they weren't in network either. And so doing my research, I found out the agent, me and her called the agent. And the guy was like, whatever. He says, you, you gave me your information. She's like, no, I didn't. And uh, come to talking to her down the road, she might have on Facebook somewhere given that information out. And they changed her account without her authorization. Wow. And, you know, we did file the complaint. I don't know what happened. Uh, we got it fixed where they reversed it. But if you don't have the insured's consent, you should not be doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing it, you want to be with that insured because there's, you're going to have to answer. You're going to have to re-answer some questions. One of the problems that I see with this, David, is kids. Okay, if their income is low enough, sometimes the kids will get kicked off the chip. Okay, well, if the previous app, they hit the questions on the additional questions where they were denied chip and they entered the, the, uh, the date of denial. Well, if it's more than 60 days, it doesn't count. Now you're updating this app. If the dates don't fall in within the required, those kids are going to get kicked off the chip. You know, that's the one common thing that I see. And then you just jacked up the account just so that you become the agent of record. So if you're going to do it, do it right. Get permission and, and yeah, fill out the intake form because you're going to want everybody's data. And then get, make sure you're talking to that insured. Have them, have them on the phone or in person and just get it done the right way. So a couple of things in, in the chat, we're asking about the, uh, if you could put the link to the smart book. Yes. Um, is it the Simply Health Insurance? Think if yes. one? Yes, okay. that's Let me. One. I may not have posted that right. Okay, so it's posted in the chat for those of you who are looking for the smart book. I just posted it in the chat and we're almost done here. Let me see if there's anything else. And I don't think I mentioned this, but maybe okay. I did. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm over 50 now. Um, guys, every year that I update, once you get it, I'm just going to keep updating. You just go back in there and pull it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I think that's all for questions for now. So if I missed your question, I apologize. Um, we're going to um, have more of these Q and A's here. So today, so there are plenty of opportunity for questions. Just repost them as we start to ask the questions again. Um, Luis, uh, we're at twelve thirteen. Do you want to keep going? Take a break. Let Let's go forty five more minutes. I, let's cover the entire comp and bonus. Okay, and then we'll take maybe uh, fifteen twenty. I'll get a quick bite, and uh, as they say in the military, taste it later. Yeah. Okay. So I will, you know, get that in there quickly, and then we can revisit because it's 11 15 my time and the person that asked me about the family glitch i got it here guys i'm not going to miss that question i will tackle that family glitch one more thing guys for those of you coming in late we've got a lot of freebies that we're giving away uh as a way to kind of uh inform and educate you that you can use on your aca sales visits like income charts um other stuff louise can mention it but if you sure. want to go download that it's at daviddufor.com forward slash aca now Again, I'll put it in the chat. It's uh, davidduford.com forward slash A-C-A-N-O-W. Just go there, download it. If you can't download it because it won't load up, sometimes this little green pop-up doesn't show up. Just go to davidduford.com, hit the contact uh, box, and just send me a message. Um, but this will come right to your email, and then you can get the stuff right away. So, Luis, I'm going to turn this over to you. I'll be back closer to one, so about 40 minutes from now, and then... Yeah. We'll start Q&A again if there's any, and then we'll take a break after that. That'll be the plan. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys, let's go to my whiteboard again. Okay, so we were in the middle of this per member per month. So David mentioned that this money here is slow money. And it is slow money, but it's real money. And you're like, well, aren't advanced commissions real money? Well, they are, but it's not yours. Okay. With ACA or with advanced commissions, guys, 
you're just sitting there like, please don't cancel. Oh my God, please don't cancel. Well, what happens if they cancel is you're going to get a charge back. You're going to have to pay a portion of that back. Okay. Well, in the ACA world, you get that check, go below it, spend it, save it. Okay. It's your money. We do not get advanced commissions in the ACA world. Okay. So going back to this thing, we get paid per member per month. All right. So I'm going to use an example of a household of four, mom, dad, and two kids. All right. And also the number that I'm going to use guys, don't hold me to it. In some States, some carriers, it's, it could be less, could, but it's definitely going to be more, okay? Um, it gets higher, but I am going to use this number. Come on, really? Okay, I just have to write bigger, sorry. Okay, I'm going to use this number right here, $20 per member per head. And I'm doing this just for the sake of it's easy math, okay? So $20, $20 per member per month. I go right, mom, dad, and two kids, all right? All right, so I am making $80. You're like, really? That's not a lot of money. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, remember, guys, we're going to get paid this all year long. So I'm going to go and I'm going to annualize this. Oh, I wish my pen was working better. Okay. Now look at this number, $960 for this sale. You're like, well, that's not too bad. Guys, when you do this enrollment, there's 960 bucks. This thing probably took you, I'm gonna say that if you're slow, 20 minutes, okay? You, you probably did some pre-work, you did some uh, ex quoting, you gathered the data, you check the providers, you check the formulary, you did some pre-work on here. Uh, so maybe total you spent 30 minutes on this thing, okay? 30 minutes to go make $960. Please tell me, let's just, let's just round it up. Okay, let's go to one hour. Somebody, and I wish I could see the chat, but I can't, but maybe David will do it when he comes back up here. What other job? Can you go make 960 an hour? I would like to know. Not that I want to do it because I, as far as I know, and as far as the capability that I have up here, I can't, there's nothing I could do. Maybe I could be a doctor or a surgeon, um, but where can I go get a simple insurance license, do a, a, a couple of hour certification, get some contracts, minimal investment into a business, and make $960 an hour. Find it, prove, prove it to me guys. What can you go do to make that kind of money? And we're not done here, okay? We are nowhere near being done, okay? So start doing some math. This is one family. You wanna make 100K, just this, go find you 100 families, guys. That's all you gotta find. Now, the video that I was sharing with you guys earlier, One minute, I'm gonna pull this up here. All right, here we go. Sorry, this this uh this video that I had here, this hundred thousand. Where is this baby? Come on. Um, hundred thousand. Oh, uh, right here, hundred thousand dollars in 45 days. Guys, when I shot that, we only had 45 days in open enrollment. We now have an extra month, 31 days, I think. So whatever, we have 76 days to make this 100K because it got extended with this new administration. So you got more time to make this 100,000 or you got extra days to make more than 100,000. All right, a lot of opportunity. Again, here's a plug, guys. Please, please do me a favor. Go on here, subscribe to my channel. Okay, it's growing. Uh, thank you for those that are subscribing. Um, but do me a favor, go on here and just click away, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting lots of good stuff for you guys, okay? 
Everything is geared towards making you a better agent. I'm answering agent questions. I'm putting tools out there that I think are going to make you more efficient. And, um, you, you know, also I, I visit with carriers and get their take on stuff. Uh, I am going to start doing agent interviews. Okay. So I'm going to start putting some agent, uh, uh, some, some power hitters in this industry. I'm going to start adding them to this, to the, to my collection of videos that I will have for you. Okay. All right. So back to my board. Okay. So you now have 76 days to enroll to make this. All right. So you start doing your math guys, start thinking up here, Hey, where can I uh, make this kind of money? Okay. You know, where, or where can I get in front of people? I'm going to get to the marketing section down the road. All right. So this is not over guys. All right. This is just one portion of my cell. Okay. Now I do know that these plans, I don't like to purchase the den on the vision inside of the health plan. And I'll share with you guys why. Okay. So I like to go and sell my own dental and vision plans. So for this family, the dental portion will run me about $120. I'm, this pen's not working like it was. Okay, $120 premium approximately for the dental. Okay, for the vision, I'm going to go with just easy math. For the family, probably about $40 for the vision. Okay, I'm at $160. And I'm going to just tell you guys that, and this is a, a guess. You know what? I'm going to go a little bit lower. If it's higher, it's better. I don't like to overestimate. Let's just say that your commission is 25%. Okay. So for this deal, guys, you're making monthly $40 a month. Okay. We're going to annualize that for 12 months. And you're going to come out making. $480 commission for this one deal here. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Okay. So again, this is one family right here. And you're probably thinking, is, is it is it over? Oh, not even close. Okay. The next thing that I will have that I will offer, and I told you guys earlier, this is the contract that you need to get. And David can help you with this. You want to get the national general contract. With this contract, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to offer either an accident, which is referred to the AME, the accident medical expense, or, or not or, or you want to upgrade this to the AME and you want to add the sickness rider to it. Okay, what this will do is you all, and I'll, you, when I get to the quoting part, you'll see that there's going to be an out of pocket that these insureds are responsible for. Okay, what I do is I take that out of pocket and I tell them, hey, I can help you with this out of pocket. If you incur the out of pocket because of an accident, this accident will re this accident plan will reimburse you. If you incur the out-of-pocket because of a sickness and you're hospitalized, this sickness will pay you to reimburse you, to give you those funds to meet that out-of-pocket. So I supplement the ACA plan with this. Um, when we take a break, I cannot think of what the commission level is. Um, I'll have to pull it up here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. I can never forget what the commission is. I just love my checks that come in. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Give me one minute and I'm going to find out what those commission levels are. Let's see here. It is loading. Oh, man. It just gives me tears. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right, I'm clicking through. Give me one minute, guys. All 
I'm sure you so some of you guys are going to want it. So I'm just typing away. I'm, I'm creating something right now. Okay, here we go. So commission levels approximately are going to be Here we go. Okay, uh, and this is a guess, guys. I just went in here and was looking at it. Um, they're going to be approximately. This is an approximate, guys. Okay, about thirty percent. Okay, when I go in here and I run quotes, we'll add this to it. We'll figure out what a family is going to cost, and then we'll we'll I will jump into this. But guys, there's a ton of opportunity to make. So let's just now, now I've taken this thing and I'm at almost fifteen hundred dollars off one family. Well, now the math on how many people I need to enroll to make 100,000 has decreased, okay? Again, a ton of money. And I haven't even touched bonus yet, okay? I have not touched the bonus, all right? So I'm hoping there's some thumbs up on this thing. There's a lot of money to be made, okay? So I will tackle this. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'll come back and tackle that. All right, so beautiful thing there. Beautiful things on commissions. All right, now I'm going to get into the bonuses, and then I'm going to give you guys some marrow advice. David stole some of my thunder there. Okay, I'm pulling this up as we speak. Hold on here. All right, these carriers, when they started, they were not paying bonuses. The commissions for new business and renewals were different. Right now, commissions for new business and renewals are the same. Okay. All right, perfect. I've got the bonuses up here. Okay. So they 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 are the same guys. Um, so they've if it's getting better every year. I keep getting better and better commissions. Now, this is what I understand right now. This is the carriers. None of them want to give me the details to 2023 yet. Okay. I anticipate sometime in October, for sure, late October, we'll all have the numbers, but um they'll probably do a sneak peek here pretty quick and let us know what they're thinking they're gonna pay all right so we're using last year's bonus number so check this out and i know you guys are just like you just can't wait for this marital advice okay oh let me make sure i'm sharing the right no i'm not sharing i caught myself okay guys so this is the etna bonus structure it was okay all right. And we're going to use a number of 100 enrollments. OK, now they don't talk about an entire household. You know, you, let's say we're talking, go back to this family, mom, dad and two kids. That's not one. That's four. OK, so with Aetna, if you had 50 or more members enrolled, 50 or more heads, you earn seventy five dollars. So if you go in there and you write. Let's uh, you know. There's, if, if you're any good guys, you're probably right approximately 400 hits, okay? That, that's kind of, you know, nothing, I, I, very doable. At 400 hits, assuming they were all with Edna, your bonus, you're like, can you redo that again? Yes, look, 400 times 75, Thirty thousand dollars, guys. If you go write a hundred families of four, okay, on top of, on top of your commissions that you're gonna make all year long, you are gonna get a bonus with Edna, okay? Thirty grand, man, some serious bonuses, and better. Look at this one, guys. All right, $100 per member. So I don't even have to do calculations there. I'm pretty smart. At 400 heads times 100, that's $40,000 bonus. Okay, let's go to Blue Cross. Blue Cross, now I have a huge book with them. Their commissions are great, but they don't pay per head. They pay per 
they call it a contract so that mom, dad, and, and two kids would be considered one contract. Okay, so there's this kind of, you know, not like anything that was wow, uh, but it, but still a bonus is a bonus. Okay, Bright Health was the worst in terms of bonus. Okay, the worst. Friday, mm, they're pretty good. Look at Friday's bonuses. Okay, remember, we're going with 400 heads. If you enrolled 400 heads with Friday, 400 times 50. 20K, not bad guys, $20,000 bonus with Friday with these 400 heads. Molina, not too bad. They were at $55 a head, but Molina did something a little different. Not only did they pay a bonus based on new members, but they paid on renewal members. Not bad. So if you have 400 heads with Molina, 400 times 55, you made 22,000. But if you had a book left over of 300, you got a $9,000 bonus. Not chump change, Grace. It's great, okay? Uh, super, super good on that one. Oscar. Oscar did the same thing. Oscar's bonus was pretty good. With Oscar, they paid you $100 based on the number of members that you have, new and existing. So if you have 400 heads with Oscar, well, there it is, $140,000 bonus from Oscar. Serious, serious bucks there. Look at United, guys. Man, did we get some crazy commissions with United. Look at this baby. If you have more than 150 heads, 400 heads times 150. Go find me a business where you can earn that much money in bonuses. 60,000. You guys should be like, why well, haven't I been doing this for years? Why haven't I? Probably because I've been sharing the rumor there's no money and I've been telling agents, just give it to me, I'll do it. Guys, this is nuts. All right, so let's go back to my whiteboard here. And we'll go down here and we're going to add, you know, just on this one account. And let's assume it's not United. Let's assume it's the, the one of the $100 ones. You would make an additional, because there's four heads, you would make an additional $400 in bonus money. All right. If some of you guys aren't like with your mouth wide open, like, you you got to be kidding me! Um, you're it, this is crazy, guys. Serious serious amounts of money. Thank you. Okay, um, this this in this world this thing is this nuts. Will, will you take her out? Man? Um, serious amount of money. Okay, so this is uh, wow. Now you all ready for the mirror, guys? Okay, you're like all right. So. For you agents, here's the marital advice. All right. Yeah, I know you've just been dying. You're like, God, you know I was going to get this. You know, do I have to pay me? Yeah, you have to pay me for this marital advice. Don't tell your spouse about the bonus. All right. I had big plans. I was going to buy a boat. I love fishing. I was going to buy myself a boat. Okay. Um, I was going to be in the coast fishing on my new boat. I didn't even care if I caught fish, but I was going to be on my new boat enjoying the fresh air. Um, but no, I told my wife about the bonus. We have a, a forerunner. We have three kids. Yeah, you know, it's a little tight. The kids are getting older. But still, the forerunner was awesome. Okay, no problems. Toyota, those things last forever. Well, all of a sudden, as soon as I told her what we were going to approximately make, magically, I don't know how women can do this. It's you women. The check engine light came on. Hmm. The tires weren't working well. All these things magically started happening to this, to this forerunner when she knew this bonus was going to come in. Now we rode over 600 heads with one carrier, new business. She's like, 
yeah, this thing's breaking down. It's awful. It's uh, yeah, we, we need another vehicle. Yeah. I mean, let me, let me show you what she did. Hold on here. Kind of funny. Yeah, here we go, guys. I'm going to share this with you. You're like, what did, what did she do? She went, and this was last year. No, this no, it was this year. So super, super hard to go find a vehicle. I just pulled it up. Yeah, she went and got her this 2021 blacked out, freaking awesome Escalade. Look at the price. Ah, chump change. You're going to get that in bonus. You're going to be all right. Yes. My marital advice to you guys is don't share the bonus information with your spouse because they will spend it for you. So if your plans are to get your own vehicle, your own boat, or maybe you're going to go out there and do your own thing, man, they, the what? It's in the, my, my phone is a key. Yeah, just take it to the car. Yeah, so I had my own plans to do my own thing with this. And uh, yeah. Hey, Steven, it's in the driver's side. Oh, passenger side. Sorry, guys. I got to take my tag dog. Or they're going to take my tag dog out for a walk. So, um, yes, crazy. She spent it. She's like, are you going to get it with a bonus? We'll just pay it off. I'm like, fine. But I love that thing. Oh, it's such a smooth ride. God, it's beautiful. Anyway, that's my one piece of advice. Don't share the bonus with your spouse. Uh, I don't know if David is on here. David, are you close by? If you are, uh, I want to see if there's any, any commission questions. Now, as far as the bonuses are concerned, guys, this is the way it works. They must be on the books for three months. So if you write them, with an effective date of 1-1. One, one. And now this is only for new business, guys. This doesn't count for what we're writing right now. But if it's 1-1 one, one effective, they have to be on the books for January, February, March. Okay, they do their calculations and they pay out the bonuses mid-year. Okay, if it has an effective date of 2-1, they have to be on the books for three months, February, March, April. And then they do their calculations and they pay out. So it's all based on OEP enrollments, new business, okay? So that's kind of not the uh, the catch, but that's the way it works, okay? I'm going to see if I missed anything here on the bonuses and payout. And nope, I sure didn't. But guys, if you're sitting here, you're like, whoa, God, I can't. You haven't missed the boat, guys. ACA is super hot. Um, not a lot of agents are doing it. Um, most of the organizations out there that are contracting agents, their primary focus is on Medicare. That's where the big money is in overrides for an organization. Okay, ACA, there's not a lot of overrides, guys. We make chump change compared to Medicare. So a lot of organizations don't push it, don't want you to do it because for them, there's not a lot of money. We don't care, guys. Yeah, we'll take the little bit that we make. Not a problem, but we use it as a tool. The tool that we use it for, I will share at the end, okay? You're going to make a ton of money while you're writing them, while they're in your, in, your, in your book of business. But but they are also going to be, um, uh, uh, you're going to be able to, plant these people that you're that you're writing right now on ACA are seeds that are planted that eventually are going to turn into something that you're going to love if you're doing Medicare. Okay. All right. Let's move on. I hope you guys are excited about Medicare. Hope, hope, hope. Okay. All right. I've already discussed contracting. All right. Let's get into ACA, the intro into ACA. All right. I need one minute. Not even a minute. Honey, when you get done. 
I'm going to have about a 20 minute lunch. So I'm going to get my wife to pick me up some, uh, some, some food. Okay. So let's get into ACA. All right. So what is ACA? Let me get my little presentation here for you guys. And Okay, so ACA guys, so let me tell you, it's called the, it's the Affordable Care Act, okay? It's a law, it's all it is guys. It is just a law, all right? Now, a lot of, there's nicknames to this law, Obamacare, Trump Care, Biden Care. They're just nicknames, but I promise you, and you guys try to prove me wrong, but you will not see an insured out there anywhere in the US that has an ACA card or an Obamacare card, a Trump care card, or a Biden care card. There is, you won't find one. Okay. Again, why? Because it's just a law. There's carriers who are abiding by that law and offering coverage. So our insurers are going to be getting an insurance card from those carriers, but it's not going to, it's not an Obamacare card. Okay. So some people, this is a politically hot topic. Yeah, again, we're selling insurance. The law is the law. Okay, so these are the three nicknames. And of course, the most popular one is Obamacare. Okay. Um, here are a couple of things we're going to get into, guys. This is why, again, you should be doing this. Okay, you're on this YouTube live for a reason. You want to get all the details. Okay, ACA plans, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to quote. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to enroll. We already know about the commissions. They're earned, which means real, real money. Spend them. We, you, you already learned about the bonuses for new enrollments during the open enrollment. Prospects are everywhere. One minute, guys. You get me lunch, please? I'm going to have about a 20-minute break. Can you bring me time? One of the four, I don't care which one. Okay, prospects are everywhere, guys. So, you know, we'll, we'll talk about a glitch. There's a little glitch out there with stuff, but they're everywhere. And then we already know that the certification, which I already covered, it's free and it's not like Medicare. Medicare is a beast, okay? Well, the ACA, it is not. It, you, you'll get it done within an hour. And then the recertification for returning agents, Man, 10 minutes and you're done. All right. All right. So let's get into Hell Sherpa. All right. You'll see here part of my presentation, guys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this enrollment tool. All right, I'm gonna pull up this one here. Give me a minute, and I'm gonna sign in to Hell Sherpa. All right, this is my wife's account. She's licensed everywhere, and we use her stuff for different things. But Health Sherpa is our enrollment tool of choice. Okay, there are some other ones. I don't even know the names of the other ones. You can go to healthcare.gov and do enrollments there. I would discourage it. Okay, but I would stick with health sherpa okay you can go get an account all right there it's free guys i was joking about it costing a ton of money uh it's it's free go set yourself up an account we're going to talk about a couple of things that you have to get set up before we get into the uh the questioning but you can hop in here and uh this 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 platform here will will communicate if you have it set up correctly this platform will communicate with healthcare.gov on the background. So I'm going to get into the setup of Health Sherpa. Again, just go to healthsherpa.com and register as an agent with them. It's free and you're rocking. Okay. Um, so let's go to setup. Now, they will not let you open an account if you are not licensed and certified. Okay, so you, you're going to get hung up if you don't have those two already done. So let's go into 
settings. Okay, so a couple of things on the settings, guys. So on the settings, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have your information here. Okay, your name, your NPN number, and your FFM username. I'm like, what is the username? If you read right here, guys, it is the same login information that you used on portal.cms.gov. We're like, well, what is portal.cms.gov? That is the site that you use to get certified. Okay, the very same username. Okay, it is a must. Okay, you have to set that up. Now you will notice here that I've integrated this thing and it's linked. It's already linked um, to healthcare.gov and I've already enabled EDE. I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute. Okay, um, she's joined my agency, which is Simply Health Insurance Agency. You don't need to do anything, guys. You guys just do your thing, okay? Um, also make sure that you have these two clicked on. I think by default they are, I think. But if they're not, make sure that they're turned on. Two things are gonna happen here, okay? You're gonna receive an email on any document status changes, all right? Let's see what the learn more pops up. So that right here, as an AC agent, uh, you, you know that your work doesn't end once you complete your client's application. Sometimes you have to upload documents. Um, some of these documents are needed to be uploaded because there is a data match issue. Okay, that means that something is not clicking, guys. The social is wrong. The date of birth is wrong. Something is not right. So you're having to submit some documents, okay? Uh, the, some, <clears throat> some of the most common documents would be social security, um, uh, certificate of, cert uh, of naturalization, uh, certificate of citizenship. Um, you know, that you may have to submit those. Um, if you're dealing with a resident alien and you didn't enter all the information that's on their green card, you have to submit the back in front of the card. Um, sometimes you'll have to submit income documents. You're like, oh, this, this is crazy. This is way too much. I will go over all that with you. It is super, super easy. Okay. Um, or you may have to prove that you have a viable special election that you you're that you're utilizing. Okay. Uh, maybe loss of coverage. Good thing is that right now. You don't have to provide documents, or usually you don't for loss of coverage. But there are some other steps that you may that you may have um, elected to use that you may have to submit proof of or verification of that SCP. Okay, so you you'll see stuff like this one. Um, you'll get an email that says for, you, for this insured it was completed. That means it's good. Sometimes you'll get one where it, insufficient. Sometimes what you loaded in here, um, it's what you loaded in here is not sufficient. So you need to be notified of that. All right. So that right there, guys, is this top one here. This one is a must for the insureds that need to submit documents. They get an automatic document. Uh, they get an automatic email from health sherpa on your behalf notifying them 15 days five days and one day before the deadline okay so they get that email letting them know hey mr insured your deadline is this deadline we need these documents if you don't submit them you could either have your insurance canceled? Or oh, in fact, look, that's the way it looks. Hello, client. This is a reminder that in order to secure your coverage, you need to submit the following documents. So it tells you what they need to submit and the deadline. If you don't submit these by the deadline, you may lose your subsidy. The subsidy is the extra help that they get, or you could potentially lose your coverage entirely. 
okay? And then it sends them this information. Please reach out with these documents right away. They usually will give them to you and then you upload them. Super, super easy. You're going to want this. Here's what normally happens. Okay, I have an insured who is paying 10 bucks a month, uh, but their insurance really is 400. They're being subsidized 390. Okay, um, usually what happens, and let's assume we have to submit a document. When that document is not submitted, after the deadline, they remove the 390, they up the rate to 400, which is their, their true premium, and then they charge the insured the 400 bucks. Then guess what happens? The phone rings. Why did my rate go up? And I'm like, I, 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 I have no um, patience, understanding, or sympathy for these people. It went up because you didn't submit your documents. What documents? I'm like, really? You got three emails. And in addition, healthcare.gov, their internal people also reach out to them. I'm like, man, you, we've notified you, we, three times, 15th day, five days, and one day before your deadline, okay? You got plenty of notifications. Plus, when I enrolled you, I told you you needed to submit these documents, okay? So don't give me this crap of you didn't know. Well, I don't check my email. Well, it's, that's your fault, okay? So it becomes not a, a positive experience with the insured. So you definitely want to follow up and make sure you're collecting the required documents. So as far as the setup, make sure you have these two turned off. Okay, uh, David, if you have any questions, I'm ready. Let's see here. Okay, I'm texting David. Let's see if he pops in here for some questions. All right. Now, the other thing you're going to want to set up on the marketing side, just so you know, you will have your own P-U-R-L, personalized URL, whatever that is. You'll get that. You can use that on social media, send it out. Your clients, your prospects can enroll, and it'll embed your NPN so you get paid. You can put your, your insurance information here. You can upload a logo. Um, and then if you're really, really smart, uh, you can put a Google code, uh, you can do Google Analytics with some kind of pixel. Obviously, there's nothing there because I don't know what that is. Okay, but if you're really internet savvy, I guess, I don't know what the word to use. Uh, you can do Google Analytics. Okay, once you've done the settings here and the marketing here, you're going to go to this gear sprocket, click on the gear and choose carriers. Okay, this is the must, guys. You're gonna choose your states, and then you're going to choose the carriers that you're appointed with. Okay, um, make sure that you choose only the carriers that you're appointed with, because we don't want your insurance enrolling in plans that you're not gonna get paid on. Okay, simple enough. David, I am ready to rock and roll some questions. Am I on? I'm on, hey, 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 I'm back. All right, let's do it. So. Going to scroll on back here. Uh, Peter, what is School? That is a platform uh, that we use to host our training on. Uh, Sam Ovens, if you know who that is, he's a YouTuber, uh, like his stuff. But that's the platform we use. We love it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Better than Dropbox, right, Luis? <laughs> yeah, or, or Group Me. We, we, uh, we're right. migrating huh. to School. I'm loving it. All right, so let's go here. Uh, can you give us the enrollment periods and potentials? Did you cover that? I think November I 1st. No, go I'll ahead. Yeah, it. real quick. I'll, I'll do it right now. The biggest enrollment period is OEP, open enrollment. It starts November the 1st, and it will close January the 15th. That's the only enrollment period we have, guys. There is no other ones like in Medicare. Now, we do have special enrollments. The biggest special enrollment that we have and as far as I know, it's only good for the remainder of 2022 is a low income SCP. If they meet in the email or the website that you go to download the freebies, I give you an income chart. If they are within a limit, they will automatically get an SCP, which we're calling it the low income SCP. Other than that, you have to use regular special <clears throat> elections. 
And uh, question, da, 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 Frank says, does the client get hit hard on taxes during tax season if they have an ACA plan? No, no, they don't get hit hard. <clears throat> Where they get hit is if the income that you entered onto the application is different than the actual income that's on their tax return. And it's like a little seesaw. If they were off, if their income that you used was too low, Wait, I'm going to show say this right. So you put in 20,000, but they finish at 30,000. Well, they finish higher. They should have not gotten that much help. So they're going to have to pay some of that back in the form of a tax liability or vice versa. If the, you put 20, but they finished at 18, well, they were $2,000 short. They're going to get a credit on their tax return. Yeah, so the best you're making a best guess of what the income is going to be. Yeah, basically. and then and then I told my insurance, hey guys, if you have a significant income change, now significant to you, significant to me is what do you, uh, it's uh, obje- a subjective. Okay, um, you know, ten percent, ten percent change in your income. Let me know right away. Otherwise, you're gonna you might feel some pain at the tax tax time. My blue collar client says, Ken, will be hard put to spend 120 months for dental and vision. Is there a way to control that cost, maybe reduce benefits, that kind of thing? No, there isn't. I mean, you can get a plan on, on ACA with dental and vision built into it. The problem is, is the networks are kind of crappy. The benefits are minimal, right. but they're not paying very much for it. And here's what I don't like about it is if they have a gripe against that dental plan, there's no way to cancel it. So you may end up losing mm-hmm. the dental and the medical just because right. the dental, they didn't like it. So that's why I separate it. If you write them a standalone dental and they don't like it, cancel it. You still got the medical. Right. Good point. So yes. So that one person's question is very, very good. If they can't afford it on, you know, and again, they don't have to pay it every month. Um, but of course the benefits get richer with time, but if they can't afford it on the standalone, there are some plans that include dental and vision. Is Amera Healthcare yes. Toss going to be in Florida? Uh, uh, okay, so there's two Amer. There's Amera Health Caritas. Okay, Caritas, that's what we me. were talking about, David. Right. That carrier will be in Florida, 2023. We are one of two organizations that are going to have the exclusive contract to set up agents with. Okay, so they're going to be in Florida, the Carolinas, and Delaware. So if you're in one of those states and you need it, they're supposed to be capturing a ton of market share. So you're going to want to have them get with David. He'll get you set up. Thank you. All right. Do you have those pre-OEP letters that um, Melanie talked about? I don't know if that was mentioned. Do you use a pre-OEP letter? Any kind of like prepping them what's to come, prepared, that kind of thing? No. What you can do on Health Sherpa, Health Sherpa, it's a management tool. So you can go on your Hell Sherpa and hit renew and it will send renewal emails to your entire book. What? We oh, that's it. cool. Nice. Yeah, we do it daily. It's a pain in the butt because you can't really scrub it, but we go hit wow. the, the renew and we just, we just hit them. I want them to call me. I mean, I go nuts during that time of the year. People are like, I already renewed. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I <laughs> stupid Sherpa. Better safe than sorry in this book. Yes. How does ACA and Medicaid work or not work together? They don't work together. Okay. So you have an income guideline. Go get that freebie on David's site. The income guidelines are here. In fact, let me just share it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. DavidDuford.com ACA now, forward slash ACA now to get those guidelines, right, Luis? Yes. Do we'll get those guidelines and we'll share if I can find it. Hold on. Income, income. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to answer Peter's question. If an independent agent, if we're an independent agent, should we have an LLC in case we get sued or does our errors and emissions cover us? Well, well, I don't really know the difference between LLC and errors and emissions, but I do know that if you make errors or have emissions, that's the purpose of that uh, insurance. So um, whether you have LLCs or not, talk to your attorney, your your lawyer um, to see if you need it. But some agents never get it. So. Luis, you ready? You want me to keep filling? Oh, I found it. Yes. Three okay. screens and I'm going crazy looking for my chart. Okay. So okay. I'm going to share here real quick. Hold on. Okay. Here's the, the current income chart. All right. So 
think of this as a hill and you've got a cliff on this side and a cliff on that side, okay? Medicaid, of course, is on this side, the left side of this chart. If an individual or household is to the left of the 100%, they, they are below the federal poverty level and therefore in some states will qualify for Medicaid. If they qualify for Medicaid, they cannot get an ACA plan. Now, in Texas, we did not expand Medicaid. So there is no Medicaid. So the people that are on this side of the cliff are pretty much screwed. It's awful. They can get an ACA plan, but if your income doesn't meet this requirement, you get no help. So what I do personally is I coach. David, you know, you make $11,000, David. You know, hey, you've got to be at 12,880. Let's just run up to 13. David, is there anything that you can do to earn an extra two grand? You've got to finish the year at $13,000. And if you do that, we can it, annotate that and, and, and apply it to 13. You won't have to pay these subsidies back and you can get yourself a great plan. If they flat out tell me it's not possible, then it's a done deal. They're not, they, they, they are obviously are not going to pay the total premium. I mean, it's a, it's a loss case. Um, but if some of them are like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, I can go sell some stuff or I can go work some extra hours or whatever, then I roll with it. But I want to get my insured's input on that one and make sure because I don't want this to come back on me. And so I will right. tell them, hey, if they can hit this number, let's do it. So real quick on this chart. So just to clarify, this is for special election periods through the year and everything that's in white are people you can switch to another plan. Is that correct? No, no. So oh, okay. this one, the low income SCP that is working right now, they have to fall between the hundred and the 150% mark. Okay. So if I got mom, dad, and two kids and they don't have a plan right now, or they have one and it's awful. If they make 35,000, I can get them, they, they get a low income SCP because they're gotcha. between the 26 and the 39. So it gotcha. has to be within the 100 to the 150. Now, the rest of these numbers are here only for the sake that as they work their way to the right, when you enroll them, their subsidy levels are going to get decreased. Right. Gotcha. Their CSRs. Now, in Earlier of 2020 of this year, we had the American Rescue Plan enact. Okay, when that came into 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 fruition, what happened was the subsidies that our insurers were getting got richer. Also, they extended this from 400 to 600 percent. So this meant that people with higher incomes got more help, and people that were in here got more help. Big, big win. Okay, now that was supposed to be, that was supposed to go away the end of this year. So all of us agents were like, what's going to happen? This is going to be crazy. Your rates are going to skyrocket next year. Well, the Inflation Reduction Act, which hasn't reduced inflation yet, had some very, very good things for us ACA agents and our ACA insurance. The, the, American Rescue Plan enhancements are going to be extended for three more years. You're like, who cares? Guys, what this means is that this positiveness that we have in the ACA is going to stick with us for three more years. You all have got to get on the like, hey, you, you know, we, we got this is a this is where you just want to build an empire these next three years. OK, it, it, it's 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 a big plus. So, so uh, I'll I'll play devil's advocate here and I'll I'll answer my devil's advocate question. But but wait, Luis, what happens when when this ends? I mean, come on, what government entitlement program has ever ended? Social Security, Medicare, uh when this becomes entrenched as it has, I mean, I'm not you know, never say never, right? But uh let's be honest, like this becomes a bipartisan issue. And uh, I think this will be around. That's my guess. I don't think there's going to be a tightening of the belt personally. So especially if there's votes at risk. What do you think, Luis? I'm, I'm in agreement. It, it's, if it's 
Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is if they change it, well, whoever implements that change is going to lose votes. Right. You know, they, they, they want to be the bad guy? Uh -uh, I don't think so. So I don't think it's going to get, uh, I don't think it's going to go away. I don't think it's going to get any worse. But for sure, we know what we know right now. We got three more years. Right. Next year and two more after that to capitalize and build a huge book of business. That's what we know right now. The other unknown. Okay, I get agents asking me this. Well, what if ACA goes away? Well, if Trump couldn't kill it, I don't think anybody can. Yeah, that there. If there was a point for this to like go away, it would have been then. They had they had several years to do it, guys, and never did it. Never did it. And here's the other thing I'm going to tell you: if it goes away, guys, something's going to replace it. We will just sell whatever that replacement is. Right. So don't worry about it, guys. These are political. Uh, things that you can't control. Just let it be. Right now, we know we got three years to freaking build a huge book of business and amount a mass of money. Uh, are your ACA contracts for independent agents? Sure are, 100%. You're an independent agent? You are 100%. Unless you're an LOA agent and you're signing up a, 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 an employee as your staff. But if your contracts you're getting through us, you're completely independent. I see LOL emojis and barf emojis. Did Ooh, you did you barf. get distracted? Well, no, they're money emojis. Excuse oh, me. Oh, okay. All did right. You, did you get distracted or something? People are yelling at you. Get back to. I did. Did I? Oh, I know what it was. It was my marital advice. Oh, oh. That's what it was. My wife took my bonus money and got an Escalade. That might. I'm hoping that's what it was. I should. <laughs> Don't share the bonus data with your wife. You got, you got to keep secrets, guys. That's yes. what Louis is trying to say. Yes. He could have had a fishing boat. Come on now. I Look could have been doing this on the boat. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait till uh, this a this OEP is over. <laughs> yeah. Well, believe me, what I told her, that was a one-time bonus. It's not happening next year. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time work to switch a thousand plus clients to a new plan if one you initially put them on is no longer the best? One client? So no, a thousand, the, thousands, well, a thousand plus. So, so what Marshall's saying is like, let's say a carrier leaves a marketplace, right? And like you're, you got a thousand people to flip in, you know, 75 days. How do you do that? Oh, don't sleep. <laughs> I mean, it takes as long as it takes, you know, I mean, I know that's a smart Alec remark, but honestly, you know, it takes whatever amount it takes. When I wrote that thousand with one carrier and then they changed their rates and, I moved, flipped over 700. It takes time. Yeah, I got to talk to the insured. I got to let them know. Here are some options. The good thing is that within the Health Sharpa platform, all the data is saved. You don't have to go re enter the names, the data births, the socials, and all that stuff. All you're doing is next, next, next. It's fairly quick, but it's one of those things. And the not sleeping part, guys, I'm not kidding. This is a, this is a sprint, this is not a marathon. So within these 45 days, which we know now is 76 because we're enrolling from November right. to January the 15th. Guys, I, I, I joke, but I don't joke. This is not a joke. I have a motorhome, okay? It's parked in my office. I store it here, okay? It's hooked up. Uh, I keep it full of water. It's got, a, it's got it's, it's electrical. And sometimes I don't make it home during open enrollment. I'm just like, I get out of here at 11. I'm like, eh, I got clothes in there. It's got an AC. I got... It, it's it's the best dog house ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw this in here. I, I think the nice thing about ACA now is that, and why I think there's an opportunity too, is it's it's a more stable market now. You know, if we were back in 2000, what, 12, 13, when it 14. all started? 14. 14. Yeah, there were, there were plans that came in for a year and then exited. It's the same thing that happened with Medicare Advantage early on. But we've gotten to a point now where things are stable. And that's part of the reason the carriers are paying good commissions because they kind of know what to expect. So I think there's less of that risk personally than uh, there was five to 10 years ago. I'm going to share two things with that. So carriers at the beginning, you're right, David, they got in and they pulled out the next year. I'm like, damn. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was not, it was not a good thing. Carriers are making money now. They figured it out. Okay. Now they want our business. Well, what's the best way to entice an agent to give them business? Oh, yeah. Commissions and bonus. The second thing, there is a thing known as the MLR. Does anybody want to guess what that is? 
David, do you know? My lapse ratio. Okay, you're close enough. It's the <laughs> medical loss ratio. So you got one ah. of them. Okay, so a, they, they, when Obamacare started, they enacted this, uh, this ratio that says, hey, you can only make so much money. Right. If you make too much, you got to send refunds back. Okay, so guys, my, some of my customers were getting checks. I'm like, we're getting a check back? Well, did your insurance cancel? And I was in there searching. I'm like, no, it's still active. I didn't know. Well, what happened was these carriers figured it out. If they make too much of a profit, they got to send some of that money back to the insurance. So my point is the insurance carriers have figured it out. We have more carriers entering the market. The past three, four years, David, I haven't had a carrier exit. Now they do change their plans. They do right. change their rates, but I have not seen a carrier exit in a couple of years. Luis, if you're a new agent, being you who both trains and, and sells ACA and Medicare, if you're to pick one of those products, what would you start off as as a new agent? I honestly, and not because we're doing an ACA course, but I would choose ACA. This is a gateway drug. Okay. This is the, this is the thing that leads to bigger things. Okay. I would say start with ACA. It's easy. License, certification, you need ENO. Okay. You can get it, David, what, three, four hundred dollars a year, I think, yeah. for a new agent. Right. Go get your ENO. I have a training course. You're, you're doing it now, but I've got a course that you can purchase for 200 bucks. That's it. And you can start selling. Okay. This product right here would lead you to other things. Dental and vision, your indemnity products, life insurance. And then if you're around long enough, eventually these people turn into seniors. Eventually they turn 65. Now they already trust you. You can help them with the Medicare. So me personally, a new agent, I would say go ACA all the way. Okay. But can you handle all the other lines? Of course you can. You want to have life contracts set up and David can help you with that. You want to have your Medicare contracts. Okay. We always talk about the spouse in the house. What if you're at an ACA appointment with a 63 year old and their, their spouse is 65? You want to walk away from that business? I don't. If you do call me, I'll write it. Okay. Um, but you're going to want to take care of that spouse. Okay. And vice versa. What if you're on a Medicare appointment, you Medicare agents that are out there. Okay. And you're like, well, I don't know if I should do this. Well, what if you're at that appointment and you're writing Medicare, but the spouse is 63? You're just going to leave her there hanging? No, help her write an ACA for the while and make some money. And then when she turns 65, you can do a Medicare on her. So I think this is this is the gateway drug, the probably the easiest one, the fastest learning curve is ACA. Medicare, it's a little more intensive. Um, a ton of compliance. Okay. There's rules up the yin yang for Medicare. And now we even have to record our calls. <laughs> David, we got to record our calls. We do. I don't think it's a big deal, but again, more and more compliance for these seniors. Um, ACA world, it is a wild, wild west. No compliance. Just do things the right way. So uh, real quick, Health Sherpa, difficult to deal with on the FMO, IMO side. Heard oh, some horror God. stories, says uh, De Davida. It, there were. I have one horror story. When it, when it started at the beginning, somehow, magically, my NPN got left out on a ton of applications. Hmm. Magically. I wish it would have been the reverse and my NPN got added to a bunch of applications. <laughs> yeah, of course that would never happen. No, but what, yeah. So, but I caught it and within about six months it got reconciled and I got a fat check and I didn't tell my wife about it. It was all mine. Okay. Um, Marital advice. But, yeah. I didn't take my own advice on that one, but um, so no horror stories now. I don't see it. All right. Let's get back here to the questions. We got a ton so we'll just, you, you all right on time? I'm good. My wife went to go, go get me lunch, so I'm still good. Okay, good. Let me clear my throat here. Do you have a story to show? Because I got to go potty. Do what now? You have a joke? I got to go potty. Oh, um, yeah. I'll try to see if I can answer some of these questions. Why don't you okay. uh, hit the One head? Minute, I'll, I'll do minute. what I can here. All right. So let's see here. Switch this over. First of all, a reminder, everybody, if you've liked the training so far, if you do me a favor, Hit the thumbs up button, also known as the like button. 
Uh, it should be at the bottom of this video. That helps YouTube's algorithm share what we do to a lot of different audience out there. So really appreciate you doing it. And, and thank you guys for being here. We've had, uh, I think right now, 226 concurrent viewers. I think we peaked out at like 265, 270. That's awesome. So thank you so much, y'all, for being here. I hope you enjoyed the training and are getting some value out of it. There's still a lot left to go. Like I said, I think we'll be here personally for another four hours or so at least. Uh, Luis, Luis is not brief. <laughs> He's detailed. And uh, we'll make sure to hit everybody's questions here and, and, and cover marketing. I think we got to talk about ICRA. We're going to talk about as well, as well as what else Luis has on the docket. Also, just as a reminder, free stuff, davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. Again, davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. Uh, that will get you a lot, all the free stuff that Luis has talked about, the income charts, other useful information as well. So make sure you check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Let's see if I can hit a question here. Uh, Luis is the expert, so uh, we'll do what we can. Can SCPs come at any time of the year? What creates an SCP? So I think Luis will talk about that a little bit more. SCP is a special election period. Uh, these were outside of the norm, where at the end of the year, we call open enrollment, where anybody can switch plan, very much like how Medicare is. Uh, these are special exceptions, if you will. Uh, I believe if Luis was here, he probably confirmed there seems to be a lot more special election period opportunities in ACA than there are with Medicare. Um, for example, the income subsidies uh, based off of the income household income range. Uh, there are other ones as well, like losing group health care at your employer, um, stuff like that. So we'll talk about that. I'm sure Luis has much, much more to come on that. Um, Luis is back. So let's get some questions going here. Um, uh, Luis, do most people think that they are going to pay more by going through an agent versus signing up for themselves online? How much of an issue is that? Yeah, that, in fact, that is, I have a, a, a sheet that I'm going to have sh shared with you on David's little email thing. Yes, right. guys, the one misconception is that if they go through you, they're going to pay more. And guys, the rate is the same. There is no difference in the rate. Same rate, same plans. The only thing that they're doing by getting you is they're getting a professional agent. Right. You're going to guide them on the plans. There's so many mistakes, and I'll share those with you here in a little while. So many mistakes that these insureds make. Uh, so... Yeah, and we got a bunch of questions, so we're gonna move through these real quick and then pick back up. In the family of four commission examples, a twenty dollar per enrollee paid per month or advance. It's paid per month, and again, that payment is for life as long as you keep them on the plan. Yes. AmeriHealth, uh, go ahead. No, you're fine. You're fine. AmeriHealth Caritas is not listed under the health. Uh, email us, Ted. We'll get it listed or figure out how to do it. Are we only enrolling ACA Obamacare clients? What about clients that want non ACA coverage, please? Okay. Off market plans. Okay, so let, I'm gonna tackle the forty dollar, you know, the eighty, uh, the twenty dollar deal. So you're gonna get eighty bucks. You're gonna get that monthly as earned, right. guys. So I annualize it because I'm planning on them to stick for me forever. Why would they want to move? I am the best AC agent in the world. Okay, so they're not gonna go, they're not gonna want to go anywhere. Second thing is if they renew the following year, and again, you have to communicate. David just told you guys. You have to build a relationship. Otherwise, they are going to go somewhere else. Okay. So you take care of that client to make sure they enroll. You still keep getting, making the same amount of money. Okay. If, if for some reason they didn't like the plan and you move them to a different plan, you still get paid. So they're, they're yours as long as they are yours. What about carrier commissions that are captive like FB? Uh, Florida you know that Blue. Means? Florida Blue. I think that's what they're talking about. Oh, that's... Yeah. Outside that's, of what we our realm of activity. That's captive. You have to work for Florida Blue and you're a, you're an employee. What ha So what happens if ACA goes away? Do those carriers still pay residual income? I mean, if they go away, the plans go away, you lose the money. But like I said, I mean, what's the option otherwise? Yeah, it, you know? it, it, it didn't happen in this past administration. And that was really probably the only chance because he ran on that platform i'm going to kill right. obamacare and he they didn't he dismantled it a little bit he took away the, the mandate which right is the penalty that's it and and then he did shorten the enrollment window and then new administration now we got a the, the we got instead of three months we got two and a half months how much you spend on leads and enroll a thousand people um that's a good i have to 
a couple thousand. I mean, I'm buying leads all year long, and, and I'll share this at the end, guys. I, I buy leads all year long, social media leads, okay? And I generate my own, and I'll show you guys, give you some more information on that. Uh, but all the leads that I don't sell, I'm compiling them in my CRM. Well, we're going to pound those guys during open enrollment, okay? Plus, I have a storefront. Plus, I go to the uh, flea market. I mean, I got a ton of stuff. Um, so to put a dollar amount, five percent i mean yeah. i mean uh, i mean it's insignificant compared to the amount of money can you sign up an llc under you if you're an llc or your entity is an llc sure that's fine um i'm in medicare but never done aca you should pick up aca this is rb uh think about the people turning 65 that have younger spouses this is perfect for them if they're losing coverage and those are what future you know medicare clients do and that Medicare person, you already know co-pays, deductibles, co-insurance, out-of-pockets. You already know that. This is this is like a downgrade as far as knowledge for you. So this is this yeah. is just like you're not going to have to go learn new stuff. You already know it. It's just you're dealing with a different customer. I think that's a good point. And for those of you out there who are just selling Medicare, selling life insurance, like what I have discovered in the business, selling life insurance is just kind of a different mentality. It takes premiums. It's kind of a sales pitch. Health insurance is different. Everybody knows they kind of need it, right? There's less resistance towards it. I would argue it might be easier just to cross sell as a second product ACA. You know, it's the same thing you're selling in, in so many respects. It's just now to people under 65 who otherwise wouldn't get, you know, it's a little easier cross sell process. Oh, I think it's a smooth, easy transition. I mean, you just have two hats. Yeah. Depends on who you're talking to. You're talking to over 65, you put on your Medicare hat. Under 65, take that one on and put on your... Uh, your your Obamacare hat. I need to make a prop like that with two hats and then <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Yep. Do you do David, do most self-employed agents without a working spouse with benefits use ACA for their own health care? Does income drive the cost? Yeah, I mean I can speak to my own story. I mean, when I started I had I had uh I, I guess it was before Obamacare was passed. I had some kind of private plan. It was nice and affordable. <laughs> and then Obamacare passed. I had failed out of the business, got a, a, like a United Healthcare plan or Aetna through, Amer uh, I was about to say Meritas, I meant Aramark. And then I went solo. I had, well, remember Cobra? I carried that for like as long as I could. Then when Obamacare started, I'm pretty sure I was subsidized to begin with to a certain extent. But after that second or third year, like I was paying the full thing and it's pretty expensive, but I mean, that's the cost of doing well, you know? Yep. So uh, it is good, what it is. It's a good problem. We're going to get yeah. to the section of Obamacare alternatives. Okay. Cool. I will give you guys some alternatives. It isn't for everybody, um, but yeah, premium is based on income. Newbie question. So we get all the state licenses, especially the dark blue states, then proceed with ACA certs, or would you just our state be enough? Start. Okay, repeat that. Yeah. So okay, this is the process of getting started from Ann. So we get all the state licenses, especially the dark blue states. Right. I guess referring to the map you showed. Yes. And then proceed with ACA certs. Certain yes. Well, if you're doing dark blue, all you need is one cert. Okay, okay one cert which is the one that I shared with you guys, the one where you all are getting the walkthrough, that certification will work on all those dark blue states. And I, I would say, yeah. And the other thing too, maybe part of this question Ann's asking is, how many states should I sell in? I mean, personally, I just sell in one. I mean, there's plenty of people. This is un people under 65, you know? A lot of those people in pretty much every state, you know? So I don't think you need to have 10 states. That's my personal opinion, Luis. Same thing. I mean, I have all these other states and I, Unless I they're in just a state that's really hard or difficult and you want to call into a state where there's more opportunities, like a Texas or Florida, you know, so that may be an exception. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you, Mark. It is a blessing and a lot from FMO uh, and a lot from FMOs do not share this. No, they don't. Um, uh, uh, pro tip. What does it say about us freely giving this information away? We either are complete idiots or Maybe we're the best. Maybe, just maybe, you should think about joining us. Right, Luis? Guys, I'm going to tell you. All right. Ooh, okay. There's a check in the mail. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me get it. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, yes, we're doing this 
freely. Why? I know what's out there. I know what my counterparts are doing, which is pretty much nothing. They're contracting and wishing you the best. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're different guys. You know, and I know when I started with the organization here, I told them, I said, guys, I don't want to be, I don't want ages to be thrown into this pool without knowing how to swim. So the platform that David talked about school, um, what we used in the past, it was all centered around not only training, but support. Okay. I know you guys need help out there. Okay. So there's things that we have done that, and that we are doing, not that we've done just in the, in the past tense, but that we do for our agents. So yeah, guys, we know what we're doing. I want to share this, David, because sometimes these people are thinking, who in the heck is this Luis guy? You know, is he any good? <laughs> you know, yeah, he's, he, you know, you have, you know, they're, they're probably one asking you, underneath you why, why did you choose him? Okay. Um, give me one minute. It's, I have a folder for it. Oh, come on, baby. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys. Um, assuming I can find this thing. My, my screen change. Oh, I know where I do have it. Oh. Sometimes let's look through these quite let's uh yeah go go ahead. I'm gonna find this. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. show you guys because you you know, you've got a lot of people out there, you you know, gurus, coaches, whatever, uh uh you know, come you know, I'll teach you. You know, Raymond this, Scott, we'll talk about leads in a little bit. Just heads up there. Mark's five employers group health versus ACA. Excellent question. We'll we'll be covering that in the echo section. Please stay tuned. Okay, I found it, David. Okay. Yeah. Just pull it up when you're ready. Okay. So I want to share this with you all. Okay. So I don't see it out there and I, and I don't, I know I don't see it there because they don't want to share it because they don't have it. Okay. So a couple of years ago, CMS decided to put, you know, to kind of not, maybe not rank agents, but to recognize agents. Okay. So they came up with three levels. Okay. Um, CMS agent uh, uh elite agent if i could smell uh, qualifications okay all right let's see here okay marketplace circle of champions that's what it's called so what they did is they came up with the with this uh level these levels that they put out there and so the way these levels work is during open enrollment okay they recognize agents with these three different levels. You help people between 20 and 99 enrollments, you get the circle of champions. And then if you help between 100 and 499, you're part of the elite circle of champions. And then if you help more than 500 people, now this is not throughout the year. This is only during open enrollment. You're part of the elite plus. Okay, plus size. All right, check this out, baby. All right, 20, 20, in 2020, when it started, guess what I got? Bam, elite plus. Okay, you're like, all right, well, you had a lucky year, Luis. All right, well, maybe I did. Okay, let's go to 2021. Bring it, baby. Bring it. Elite plus. Man, Luis, you know what? Every scroll can get two nuts. Okay, sure. All right. Well, let's go to 2022. Come on, baby. 2022, Elite Plus again. Okay, well, you're like, 22 hasn't happened yet. This is for enrollments that were done. Right. In 2021, open enrollment season with 2022 effective dates. More than 500. Guys, I average more than 500. I think we were like at 700, somewhere in there. Guys, I'm running a ton of business. I know what the heck I'm doing, okay? What I do works, and that's what we share with you guys. Go find all these other guys. Or, you know, ask them, where, where's your certificate? I guess they could copy this, but you know what? You actually get a little certificate with the proof. Because, man, I could have I downloaded that, David. Well, there's my little certificate that I received directly from CMS. All right, so... You, you, you get a little ad kid and then you're supposed to promote yourself. Awesome. So guys, I know what I'm doing, guys. Okay. Another reason why you might want to consider us and not some other dude or dudette. Some, some other dude. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
let's let's keep going here. Uh, thank you for showing your street cred, as we like. There to you say. go. That's what it is. Street, street cred. cred, right I there. I have man. some. I wish I had some. You need some. Skills. You need to throw some signs with that. You know, I, like I need some dollar signs. signs. <laughs> that's the kind of signs I'm throwing. Yeah. All there right. You go. <laughs> do you have any guys have any information? Do you, have, do, you, do you guys have any information on Native American benefits with ACA plans? Do you anything about that? Yes, there is. I, I, I don't know a lot about it because I don't run into it. But if you run into a Native American, they have a card, okay, um, a card signifying that. And they have year-round enrollment, $0 plans. Uh, yeah, If so no, I don't, unfortunately. But yes, it's, I think it's year-round enrollments, $0 health plans. But they have to pro provide, it's a tribal card. That's what it is. Right. They have to provide proof <clears> of that. Customer is choosing between jobs, ACA or COBRA. What is more effective? Oof. I guess it depends. A lot and of variables there. COBRA is pricey. What COBRA yeah. is, guys, yeah. is you're getting your group plan, but you're paying the full price. Your employer no longer is matching. So if, you, if, you're, if you're going through some treatment, well, obviously you're going to pay the price. You're going through cancer and your doctors are all on that network. You're just going to have to do it. Now, if you're healthy, you're in between coverage, in between two uh, one job and another one, you have two options. You can choose either a short-term plan to fill the gap, assuming you're healthy and you meet the underwriting guidelines, or you can ACA for that time period. The loss of coverage creates an SCP for you to get into a plan. All right. And then if we have uh, from Deborah, if I work in a sales position with select quote, but not a licensed insurance agent, if I become licensed, uh, would I be able to sell ACA? I mean, check with select quote. That's a select quote question, right? You know, I don't want you to, if your plan is to stay there, you know, put your business uh, in uh, a bad situation. Now on uh, our side, we, we don't, don't care. care who your employer is. Um, but David has a good point. Yeah. You want to check with them just to make sure. But on my side, not a big deal at all. On my side, we can get you licensed, contracted, and you're selling. But we don't care. All right. But we oh. do care because we don't want you to lose your job. Right. That Yes. Is there enough time to learn ACA to start selling 11-1? That's why yes. we're doing this thing today. <laughs> all day long. The learning yeah. curve. You, by the end of this day, you're going to know it. Right. Stephen, uh, do we have any other plans in Illinois besides uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield to only pay like uh, a pittance for commission. Yeah. Illinois. We have Aetna is expanding into Illinois. Ambetter, Cigna, Molina, Oscar, and United. What carrier did he mention there, David? Blue Cross. It's not even there. Yeah. So we don't have a contract with them. So I would yeah, we can't, yeah. all, all these other ones. Right. And make some money. All right. Can't, can't keep going through here. Are the vast, uh, are the vast majority of your clients on one particular carrier? How much time does it? Yeah. How does it actually look as far as like, you know, we just showed you what five carriers in Illinois, like, Mm -hmm. What most likely happens? You have 80% with one carrier. What, what does it look like on your end? Yeah. And remember, guys, look at our target market. It's low-income people. So ACA, Obamacare, is typically a price-sensitive product for these insurers. So typically, when you run rates, your first two are very close. So uh, we'll get into rates now and illustrate that. But yeah, you're going to see that a good portion of clients are going to gravitate to your lower income um, categories. I have one that's within 10 bucks. They're, they're right next to each other. And then outside of those two, there's a big separation on the rest of them. So it's going to depend on your area. Thank you, Orlando. Appreciate the nice words. Uh, let's keep going through here. Kind of at the end here, just a few more. Thank you, Donna. How do we get ACA carrier contracted? Um, do you have free training? Yes, free training. Uh, we don't charge anything like that. Uh, we do want your ACA business, of course. That's how we make money. Uh, DavidDuford.com forward slash FAQ. You'll learn more about how to get contracted there and then what next steps to take if you want to move forward. All right. Thank you, Agnes. Thank you, Rubina. Oh, 
Uh, I'm finally licensed on join. I've, I'm on your website several times. Can I skip the group chat and just join? Um, send me a message at davidufour.com forward slash contact. I'll tell you what to do. Can you explain the Health Sherpa lead program? Why don't we consign that to the lead section, Luis? Yeah, that's help on demand. And it's not a lead program, guys. What it is, is that when somebody goes and tries to self-enroll an insured, and they're like, oh, screw this. This is way too hard. And they click the help button. They're going to get routed to an agent that is in their zip code. And you'll get a notice. When you set up your help on demand, you're going to choose method of contact. You'll select text and email. And then you'll get a notice. Hey, you got a lead on healthcare on demand or help on demand. You have 15 minutes to claim it or it goes to the next agent. It's a random thing. Some agents get a couple hundred of these. I got about 50 or so. Of them. Uh, it just depends on the saturation of the agents in that area. Illinois, it's like Missouri or Missouri. Missouri. I always I say Missouri. Illinois. Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> uh, what? What? what um, yeah. Louisville, Louisville, not Louisville, right? Or Louisville. Ooh. Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Almost done here. Uh, can't do Medicaid with ACA. That's right. Correct. How do we move from our current agency to David to Luis? I do not see these care these carriers insurance bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so very important if you're if you're moving to us, there's a different process than through the life side, Eileen. I think you've done some business with me on, but if you go to davidford.com forward slash start, this would be if you're ready to move forward. You'll see a section on there that says ACA. Click that, then follow all the directions there. There's a separate insurance bay that we use to do ACA contract. Which just heads heads up there. So. Um, yeah, do do we have any one on one presentations? If we want to, do we have any like like basic Medicare trainings that we teach? I don't think we do. We're we're um, or unless you're talking about ACA, I, I'm not quite sure there, Raymond. If you could clarify, I mean, you don't need to, guys. This we'll, is so yeah, easy. we'll talk about this. Save the leads questions for later because Luis does a lot of I would call it grassroots marketing. Obviously, some paid stuff. He's excited to share with you guys too that works. So we're we're going to cover those, and it's it's um. It's great because it's not as nearly as regulated as Medicare is when it comes to the marketing side. Um, okay, so Luis, we're at the you're at the end of this. You want you need to take a break. I'm gonna take guys. Give me 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Give me 15. My wife already bought the food. I'm gonna eat it. It's Thai. Oh, I can eat that in five minutes, and I'll be back. <laughs> so a few minutes. Here's what's coming up, guys. In the next hour, okay, we're gonna get into some good stuff. Here's what's coming. I'm gonna show you. Quoting and enrollment with Hell Sherpa. So all you guys are asking, how does it work? I will also show you how I present. So we'll answer that presentation question. We'll do provider search. We'll do formulary search. We'll do comparisons. We're going to do everything Hell Sherpa. While we're doing that, I'm going to share with you what uh, healthcare knowledge you have to have. Okay, you don't have to have a ton of it, but I'm going to share with you what's super super important. So we'll be talking about deductibles, co-pays, co-insurance out of pockets. We're going to talk about the metal plants. Ooh, you're going to want to know metal. Okay. You're going to want to know, not mental, metal, bronze, silver, gold. We're going to talk about those. We'll talk about eligibility letters, subsidies, cost share reductions. And we're going to answer that one guy's question on income. What is considered income? So that will be in the next hour, guys. So we're going to have an action pack. It's, it's, 1240, Dave, what do you think? One o'clock? Um, or sooner, you tell me. Yeah, come back at uh, come back at 155. I'm going to try to keep things moving here and kind of just turn this into an open Q&A. So, so Luis, yeah, pop in. It's 138 my time, so come back at 150, Maybe, no, give me like 10 12, minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. 10 minutes, I'll be back. So a couple of requests here again. First of all, thank you all for being here. We appreciate you kindly. Uh, make sure that you um, like this video. If you haven't done that, just hit the thumbs up button. Again, that helps share this very important content to agents across the nation that need help to sell ACA health insurance. So we really appreciate that. Thanks for all that you who did that. Um, also, make sure if you haven't downloaded our freebies yet, go to davidduford.com forward slash ACA now. Uh, you will have lots of opportunity for some good stuff that you can put to use, including marketing collateral, um, income guidelines that help you find SEPs and apply um, 
subsidies as well. And it's no cost or anything. DavidDuford.com forward slash ACA now. And what I'm going to attempt to do here for the next 15 minutes or so is basically answer questions about anything uh, insurance specific. We usually take, uh, we need breaks, as you guys know, when we're going like, what, two, three, four hours at a time. I usually have some sort of sponsor video. We don't have one this time. Um, so uh, I'm just going to kind of spend this time. So if you guys got questions, uh, I will invite you all to uh, throw those in the chat. They can be about ACA. They can be about anything in insurance specific. Uh, anything you would like to ask, you're welcome to do it. If you guys want to take a break, feel free to just hit the mute button. We'll be back and probably or at least be back in like 15, 10, 15 minutes, let's say. Again, about five to 10 minutes to two Eastern at the live of this. Um, we'll be back. If you're watching the recording of this, just skip forward if you don't want to hear me jammer on. About 10, 15 minutes when you see Luis pop back up. So uh, I'll answer some questions now. How um, is telesales big in the ACA and how is their infrastructure set up? Yes, it is. Um, it, it's it's probably bigger in the telesales space and the face-to-face -face space is what I would figure. Um, I had talked to a group the other day. Uh, their goal is to enroll two or 300,000 during open enrollment, which to me is just incredible, you know, that 75-day period. And it's all call center-based. So there's a ton of that activity in the space. Uh, so I don't see why an individual agent targeting an area can't do just as well. Um, of course, our clients are younger, so they're going to be able to do electronic applications and do that stuff without any sort of issue. So that's a nice thing. Uh, and um, yeah, I just think it's a wonderful opportunity, um, regardless if you're doing face-to-face -face over the phone. Um, what is your ACA contracting link? So if you Again, I always like make people go through the FAQ section and the reason, uh, so before we enroll them, because I want to make sure for anybody enrolls with me and DeFord Insurance Group to work with Luis or myself, depending on what products you're selling, you know exactly what to expect. I don't want you to find out about something that was a problem that you could have found out with. Does that make sense, right? There's a lot of that crap in this business where people are just recruited quickly without really being explained the due diligence issues. So if you go to daviddeford.com forward slash FAQ, you'll be presented with a video and then you'll see some links below that. You'll see the ACA link, just hit that link and then read through that. If everything looks kosher, then just reply back to any emails you get from me uh, or you can just go to daviddeford.com forward slash contact, send me a message, I'll be happy to um, give you the link at that point if you're like, hey, everything looks good. Let's move forward. Um, how do you contract with National General? I think that's through the regular Assurance Bay link, Ted, uh, for the life products. If you can't find it, just shoot me a message. I'll dig it up for you and we'll get it for you. Hey, Tamia, can someone get insurance now before open enrollment? If so, what's the best SCP? They lost a job two years ago. They drive Uber. I'll let, so save that question for the next Q&A section that Luis is going to run, and I'll make sure that he answers that with some depth. Um, if and, and you may need to repost that uh, after Luis goes through the next module for the next hour, hour and a half. So uh, please save that question. That would be for anybody here that has a question ACA that's out of my league and would be a Luis-specific answer. When is the next event in Georgia? Hey, Spencer. Yeah, so next year we're going to have uh, a bunch of events, uh, Elite Agent Summit. We started those this year. We had seven total events in a bunch of cities. The uh, last one we did was in Dallas. These aren't like um, huge events. They're, I would say they're small and intimate, 50, give or take, maybe up to 60, 65 at tops. We do these at Top Golf in different cities across America. We're most likely going to hold four of these next year. Uh, we've uh, firmed up the event for Tampa, Florida in the first or second week of January. Uh, we've got Nashville probably in April or May, and then Houston or possibly San Antonio. Matt Munguia, my partner uh, at 360 Financial Group, wants to do San Antonio. That's where he lives as well as, well as Luis. Uh, so I think we, we should give San Antonio a try, really. So we might do the end of the year in San Antonio. Um, also, we might throw in a Vegas event, uh, probably first or second quarter. Um, it was funny. Our Vegas event was the least attended. Uh, of all events. I don't know why it's Vegas, right? So uh, we'll see though next time, but uh, we'll do, we'll be doing them at Top Golf. It's a one day event. Luis will speak. I will speak. Top producers will speak. We price them very affordably, uh, very reasonable. Uh, and it's a one day event. And uh, everybody who goes absolutely loves it. I think this last event for the survey we've done so far, we scored a five out of five 
uh, perfect score as far as the quality of the event. So um, we survey anonymously after each event so we can figure out ways to improve. And this is anonymous so people can like rip us apart without feeling like they're going to get targeted. And we're still getting really good ratings. So I'm, I'm thankful that we're doing the right and kind of on the right pathway to help. So we'd love to have you there. Um, you don't have to be a part of the Ford Insurance Group to be a part of those. EliteAgentSummit.com is a website. If you want to go there, check it out. I don't have next year's tickets available. Probably should have done it. Uh, but man, there's so much going on. It's hard to keep on top of everything these days. Uh, but we will definitely be doing more. Thanks for asking. If you're certified with one company to sell Medicare Advantage, is it the same certification for ACA? No, it would be. It's two separate certifications for Medicare. You need the uh, AHIP. If you need Medicare AHIP credentialing, daviddufordcom forward slash AHIP. You can go there and get $50 off your credentialing. No catches. You don't have to even join us, but it is available there if you'd like. And then if you want to get the ACA certification, uh, you will get and see how to do that in the onboarding process when you join the Ford Insurance Group. The ACA uh, uh, certification is pretty simple. Uh, went to the blank ACA now and the entered email address and it's just spinning. Yeah, uh, refresh the page. Try again, Stephen. If that still doesn't work, go to daviddufour.com forward slash contact and then just um, message me saying it doesn't. I'll send it to you. Thank you, Orlando. Appreciate it. Um, when are ACA commissions paid? Save that question for Luis. I want to say within a couple of weeks after you write the deal on an as earned basis, of course, but Luis will clarify. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, we'll be down there in Tampa for sure. Yeah, San Antonio. Yeah, I've heard San Antonio is real nice. Top golf there. Yep, yep. Yeah, we've got the one in Tampa booked already. So we're definitely going to come there uh, in January. MRIG, if we're already contracted with Anthem and Cigna to sell Medicare Advantage, will an ACA contract with you affect our current Medicare upline? I believe they will not. The Most carriers treat those as different uh, divisions, the ACA and Medicare. But if you want me to double check, shoot me an email, davidufordcom forward slash contact or reply to any emails you get. We'll check with my contracting team. Julie would know better than I would. Um, that's what her life is all about is getting agents appointed. Uh, some carriers do um, commingle both, but most don't. But if you want us to double check, just in case you may be uh, upsetting some people by putting your ACA business with us, just let me know. Be happy to look. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Narissa. Uh, I can wait for your Vegas event. Okay. <laughs> you can wait for it or you can't. <laughs> Either way, we'll uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm back, Dave. Oh, perfect timing. Look at that. You must have scarfed down that Thai food, man. Well, as they say in the military, hey, taste it later. Right, right, right. Uh, I, I don't know what I ate, but it was so damn good. I'm like, Make oh. hay while the sun shines kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Right. All right. Well, let me turn it over. When do you want to pop back on for Q&A so I can show back up? You know what? I'm my. I'm gonna do hell sure, but maybe another forty five minutes. Come on in. Okay, I'll be back around uh, one thirty your time, and then we'll do some more Q and A, guys. So uh, take it away, Luis. All right, here we go. All right, guys. As promised, let's jump. Let's dive, dive into um, hell Sherpa. Let me, let me make sure I get the right screen. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, so. Again, thank you so much, guys. Those of you that have subscribed, let's see if it's gone up. Uh, it goes up slowly. God, I don't move the needles that much. Really, just one more subscriber? Come on, people. Guys, do me a favor. Help me out. Let's get some more subscribers. Again, I'm always putting out great, great content for you guys uh, just to make you better agents. So do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. You hit it, and then you hit the little bell icon. To get uh, to get notices, and I try to put two to three videos out a week. All right, so help me out here. All right, guys, don't forget to go here to David's site. Get these freebies, guys. We're going to be talking about them here in a few. Uh, we already talked about certification. Uh, I'll talk about my marketing here in the middle. In a little while, we'll talk about uh, ICRA, the eight mistakes. This is going to be something good that you guys can use for marketing. And then, of course, you definitely need to have this income chart. All right, let's get into Hell Sherpa. All right, here we go. All right, guys, let's get into the Hell Sherpa. So we talked about the setup, okay? So it is a must, guys, that you go to your settings. Just a little recap, get this, get this set up the right way. Uh, EDE, I did forget about EDE. Hey, 
once you've done this, guys, you have to enable EDE. Okay, let's um, let's look at that. Okay. EDE. All right, this is what will happen, guys. When you set up your account, you're going to see this, and you'll only see it one time. You don't see it here in mine because, it's, of course, it's already enabled. But make sure you hit the Enable EDE. You're going to have to verify your identity again. EDE stands for Enhanced Direct Enrollment, which means it is going to communicate with healthcare.gov in the background. So you are enter your data again, and then you're going to go through a series of questions. Okay, again, uh, which of the following credit cards do you have? Uh, you took out an auto loan. Who was the lender? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you go through these. You answer it. Hopefully, you, uh, you're successful with this ID proofing, and then you're done. Then the little icon will disappear, and you're done. Um, if you have some issues, well, that's where you're, gonna, you're going to do. That's where you're going to call to get uh, your issues fixed. Um, I have no idea how to fix them, guys. Good luck if you screw up, but hopefully you, sh you shouldn't. It should be easy to do, all right? All right, you enhance your EDE, so you're good there, or you get that enabled. You go to marketing. Um, you see some goodies here that you must enable, okay? Oh, no, no, no. You put the Google thing here if you want to. Upload your logo. Uh, you can change the color scheme. Here's your direct enrollment link. Um, all fine and dandy. Then you go over here to carriers and you pick your carriers that you're appointed with. If there's a carrier you're not, you can create a referral deal with Health Sherpa and you write it and then they, I think they pay you 50 bucks, something like that. All right, let's get into a quote. All right, so when you go to your dashboard, guys, when you are on your main page, you're going to see it go straight to the client view. You're going to have lead view here too where you see all your leads, but here are your clients, okay? You can export this list and go market them. Um, there's a couple of, there's a lot of things you can do with this one, but here are your leads, okay? All right, now you have some drop downs here. You can start doing some, some um, filtering based on the carriers. You can do some filtering based on states. You can do some filtering based on action needed. These are people where something needs to be done and then you can see the dates. Okay, these, so we have 32 people that we've written that something needs to happen. Okay, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, what about the ones that we've submitted documentation but it was insufficient? Luckily, we only have 10. So. These guys have extra time to submit something, but you'll see that I have two here that are up with some problems. Uh-oh, 10-4, not a good thing. All right, um, you can go over here with who needs to pay, which ones are effectuated, which means which ones are paid and good to go, which one's canceled, okay? So who's canceled, all right? Uh, not a lot, got 11 people that have canceled. You know, it's, it's, it's the way it is, guys. You can't help everybody. So a lot of good stuff. All right, let's go back to uh, the top. All right, you've got three buttons up here, okay? When you're running a quote for somebody, you are going to start by clicking on quote. You have three columns here, okay? This is who wants coverage. This is the tax household. And this is the results of what you entered over here. All right, so I'm gonna plug in my zip code. We're just gonna stick with 35 year old female. All right, she's single and she makes $20,000 a year. All right, you'll see now that she's getting some savings, which is the subsidy, which is the APTC, the Advanced Premium Tax Credit. Okay, it's got different names, but this is how much savings she's gonna get every month. The premium will be reduced by this amount. Cost sharing reductions, you, if you see this, what is happening here is the out-of-pocket, the deductibles, the co-pays, the co-insurance, everything 
is shrunk. Everything is lowered. But you'll notice here, this only happens if you are going to quote a silver plan. All right. So you'll notice here. Let's go. Uh, it's just, just, just so you can, I can show you the proof here. Okay. So let's go to expanded bronze. We're just going to do the very, very first plan. You'll notice here, there's no CSR badge here. Premium is awesome, but look at the out of pocket, 8,700. Well, if this person qualifies for cost share reductions, why isn't the out of pocket lowered? Well, that's because this only applies to silver. So I go down here. I'm going to get rid of the expanded bronze. And I'm going to click on silvers. Now you see the badge, guys. Okay. But look what happens when this badge is here on silvers. The out of pockets have been reduced. Okay. So they've dropped. Well, Gold should be better than silver, technically, but not in this world. Where is the badge? The badge is not here anymore. Okay, look at the out-of-pockets again. They, they went up. Well, isn't gold better than silver? It's supposed to be, but it's not. So uh, it is one of those things, guys. Nothing we can do about that. All right? So again, so you know, this first column here is for those that are applying for coverage. So let's say it was uh, mom, dad, and two kids. So I put mom here. I'm going to add dad. And I'm going to go ahead and add two kids. All right, I've added two kids. Okay. Now, if I did not change this income, look what happens, guys. They're on that cliff that I was talking about. You'll notice here, it tells you there's no savings. The income is too low to receive any help in the form of a subsidy. They're out of luck. Now, they're still eligible. Just because they get no subsidies, that does not mean that they can enroll. Okay? If they are on one side of the cliff, all that means is that there's no subsidies. So these two people, mom and dad, are still eligible. But you'll see here that the two kids are not eligible because they are eligible for CHIP or Medicaid. All right. Now, let's get the income up. Let's go to 40000 Things change here. Now, when we go to 40000 guys, look, now there's more savings. There are some CSRs. But look what changed here, guys. They're still showing the kids is not eligible, but what if you talk to mom and dad and they say, you know what? We tried applying for CHIP. We got denied. Okay. I don't care what the reason. I can just click here, click here. And now the two kids have moved up here. Now I'm insuring all four of them and my subsidies went up. Okay. Now what I just did right here, this is only for the quote purposes. You're still going to have to do more than that on the application process. Okay. That's how you quote guys. Okay. Now, when I'm talking to my insured, I know that I've got CSRs here. Okay. So I'm automatically, this is robotic guys. Well, before I even do that, this is who applies. This right here, these household members guys, this is important. This right here, this is the tax household. If they live with grandma and grandpa and another person, that's the aunt or whatever, you're not going to put all those people here unless all of them are on the tax return. That is what's vital. This is where I see agents screw up all the time. This is not the amount of people that want insurance. This is the amount of people that are on that tax return. Okay. Now, does it mean that everybody on that tax return needs to be insured? So let's just say you had these four people here, but for some reason, this person did not want to be on the plan, whatever the reason is. Okay. You can remove this person, but if that person is on there, you'll change this to four. 
Okay, now the, everything's kind of changed somewhat. Different subsidies, okay? Only three people are insured, but they're still a household to four. Okay, so please remember that this right here, this has to do with the tax household. All right, we're gonna move on down here. When you're going through this, guys, you'll notice that you can filter by carriers. If you need an HSA account, you can filter by that. You can filter by metal levels. Okay, uh, catastrophic, I don't think there's any. Uh, I do expanded bronze, silver, and gold. Okay, that's it. Okay, and then you can filter by networks. Okay, you're like, hey, where's PPO? There's no PPOs, guys. There's not a PPO in the uh, health market that I'm aware of. I'm not licensed in all the states. So if you have one, good luck to you. You know, awesome. But in all the states that I sell, they're either HMOs or EPOs. And since I'm here, here's the difference. An HMO is a closed network. Doctors, hospitals, specialists, um, medical providers, whatever. Everybody has to be inside the circle, okay? There is only coverage outside of the circle for emergency care. That's it. And what, nah, there is no what ifs. It's that simple. On an e Now, with most HMOs, you are required to get a referral to see a specialist, okay? An EPO, different name. So HMO is Health Maintenance Organization. EPO, Exclusive Provider Organization. Again, it's a closed network, okay? The difference is you don't need referrals to see specialists, okay? So you, it's kind of your call on that, okay? Some carriers you'll see here when you're going through this, uh, you will see HMO on here. On some of them, you will see EPO. That's how you'll know what is what, okay? So now there are some exceptions to that rule, okay? I know one carrier, so let's go to Oscar. Oscar is an EPO. I'll click on benefits. It'll pull up that summary of benefits for that carrier. And you'll see here, do I need a referral? It'll say no, okay? Let's go pull up an HMO. Here's an HMO, benefits. Do I need a referral? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Here's another HMO. Okay. Benefits. Do I need a referral to see a specialist? No. Really? You just told me that on HMOs, we needed to see, we needed a referral. Usually, okay, usually is the key there. Molina is the only one that I know that does that. Even though it is an HMO, they don't require. So you got to study your summary of benefits. All right, let's keep on rocking here. All right, so you're quoting, you're doing your thing. A couple of things that you can do here with Health Sherpa, okay? So let's say that you're talking to the insured. We know that they're getting some CSRs. So I'm gonna automatically default to silver, okay? And I wanna send this insured a quote, okay? So I can compare five plans. So I'm gonna put this one on there. I'm gonna put this one on there. I'm going to put this one on there, whatever, okay? And then I can hit compare and it puts them side by side. All right. Really quick on this side by side, this estimated all in, no idea how they even start calculating that crap, but it doesn't make any sense. I tell insureds to ignore that. What I talk to my insureds about when I do this is I talk to them about their deductible, their maximum out of pocket. Their co-insurance, which is not illustrated, well, it's kind of illustrated here, but I'll go over that with you. And co-pays for doctor, specialist, and drugs. Okay, I go over all that. Now, 
when I'm talking to my insured, you can do a couple of things. You can send this to the client. You're using Health Sherpa to email this to an insured. I don't like to do that. What I do is I'll put it on here and I will use my snippet tool. Nice little tool. I'll hit new. And what I will do is I will take a snapshot off. Now I will make the screen smaller so that I can fit it all in there and then I'll send this to an insured and then I'll write on this thing. You know, I'll choose that one. I'll put an arrow. You know, let's just say that they were talking about co-pays. I can say, look, this has a $20 copay. You know, I can write on this thing and then I can email this picture to them. Okay, so that's how I do it. But you can use how a Sherpa method here and you can email them this. Okay, it's whatever you prefer. There's a right and a wrong, whichever way. Okay, all right. Let's go back over here. Make sure I covered everything. Okay, so that's how you quote, guys. All right, now it's presentation. One of y'all asked about the presentation. This is what I do. This is how complicated. So when I start talking to my insured, I'm getting a feel of what they want. I may ask them, hey, um, you got a doctor? No, it's not a may. I ask them, you, 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 is there a doctor we need to keep? Any medications we need to keep? And they're like, they say, yes, <clears throat> this is what you can do. You can click here, add doctors. So let's go add a doctor. All right, let's go add, uh, uh, what John, I need to find just a regular fat. Okay, let's go add this duck, okay? And let's go add, uh, all right, so two ducks. I'll get these two doctors added. Okay, then do you take any meds? Sure. Choose a med, then I'll verify you know, which one are they taking and who's taking it. All right, done. Look at what Health Sherpa does. This is, so, this is a newer feature. All right, see this, guys? This is huge. Okay, so it will tell me at a glance whether those doctors are in the network and whether the, the medications are in the formulary. Okay, very, very cool tool. You notice here that these two docs, which is odd, I wonder if I didn't, they may not be in the area. I didn't even check if they were in the area. But you, if they're red, it says does not, does not take plan. Let's go find a doc. Oh no, they're in San Antonio, very, very odd. Well, who knows? It doesn't matter. If they're green guys, oh, here we go, takes this plan. Okay, so that means that with this plan, you'll see these two doctors. A quick and easy way to check the doctors and networks. So instead of having to do it manually, and I'll show you what that is, you can use the Health Sherpa tool to check. So if they were stuck up on these two doctors and this medication is covered, why are you going to go quote everything else? I'm going to send them to Aetna. Hey, Mrs. Mr. John, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I found one plan that has both your doctors and we, we've got your medication covered. And then I will present this plan and we'll rock and roll. That's how I do it. Guys, this is so easy to do. So easy. All right. Um, okay, so we'll move on. Now, once I, let's, let's go to that. We're going to stick with Aetna. Where's Aetna? Okay, so we're going to stick with Aetna. Okay, good. It's a little complicated. So this is this is the knowledge that you have to have. Okay, this is my my opinion. I don't overcomplicate these things. I don't want to. I don't have anything to prove to my insurance. Okay, so this is what I cover. I tell them that their deductible is this number. Mister Smith, your deductible is five hundred bucks. The majority of agents, what I have seen is all the focus is on the deductible. In the real world, guys, the deductible is just part of their money that they could be on the hook for. So you need to also mention that they could be 
that or that they are on the hook for this out of pocket, this 2700. So this is the way it works, guys. First thing I'm going to do so I can get a better understanding of this is I'm going to click on plan details. And I want to find the percentage. So I'm going to scroll down here and you see if it, they're in the hospital, they're going to pay 40% after the deductible. I want to take a mental note. All right, so check it out. Go to my whiteboard. I'm going to clear it. Start from scratch. So I'm going to tell my insured. Uh, hold on. I forgot. It's 500 and 2700 out of pocket. Okay. All right. So I will tell my insured. Oh. Sorry. Okay. So I will tell my insured, look, you have a deductible of $500. You have an out-of-pocket max of $2,700. Okay. Your co-insurance is 40%. All right. This is per person times two. So if you have two people, two people need to meet this. If you have five people in the house, only two people need to meet it. All right, so let's do some math. So Mr. Insured, let's assume that you have a $10,000 bill. And then I'm going to do a $100,000 bill. Okay, this is what happens. You are going to pay the first $500 of that bill, okay? Why? Because that is your deductible. All right, you're gonna have to pay that. You know, it is what it is, okay? That leaves 9,500. This leaves 99,500, okay? Then I tell them, Hey, your coinsurance is 40%. Okay. And they're going to be like, what? I got to pay 40%? Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay. 40% of 9,500 is 3,800. Okay. Forty percent of ninety nine thousand five hundred is thirty nine thousand eight hundred. Okay, these insureds are going to freak. Okay, they're going to be like, "What? I got to pay that? Man, are you serious?" I'm like, "Yep, they're going to have to pay that." All right, this is the way it works, guys. So remember, they've already paid five hundred dollars of. Of, of this bill, because that was your deductible. Their max out of pocket is 2,700, okay? So they've already paid 500 of this 2,700. The deductible is built in here, guys, all right? So it's part of this, 2,700 bucks. Now, they only need to pay an additional of this 38, they only need to pay 2200 of it. That's it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deductible plus the 22, and that's going to give me 2700 which is my maximum out of pocket. The deductible is built in here. Co-pays is built into the here. So not just the deductible. If they've also met some co-pays, they're going to go towards meeting this maximum out of pocket, okay? What about this guy over here? This guy's freaking, okay? $39,000 bill, same scenario. He pays the 500, and then when he pays $2,200 of this 38, of this 39,000, he's met the $2,700 he's done. At that point, he's no longer responsible for any more bills. That is how I explain this. Okay, it is super, super easy. You don't need to explain anything else, guys. Okay, um, 
I will explain. Let's go back, go back right here. I will tell them that with this Aetna plan, they will have copays. If they go see a doctor, they will pay $15. If they see a specialist, they will pay $30. Okay. I do click on this benefits button. It pulls up a summary of benefits that is specific to this plan right here. Okay. I will go over this with my insurance. I will tell them your deductible here is 500. The family is a thousand. What do you mean? Times two. Okay, the out of pocket 2,700 times two is going to be 5,400. I will let them know that they're going to need to get a referral. Okay, on page two, I'll also illustrate. If you look here at this column, you will see no coverage. Okay, for out of network because it's an HMO. All right, primary doc $15, deductible does not apply. Specialist 30 bucks, deductible does not apply. All right, it, any kind of preventative care, no charge. Diagnostic, 40%. Okay, they have to meet the deductible and then the 40%. Okay, cat, uh, PET scans, CAT scans, MRIs, 40%. Okay, drugs, if they are in the preferred generic category, it's no charge. If they are preferred brand name, $25 copay, um, and then if they are non-preferred, 40%. Again, remember the deductible guys are gonna be subject to it. Okay, specialty, 50%. Okay, remember the coinsurance, that applies after the deductible. And it's not a $500 for each one of these. It is total and it's per calendar year. ER, deductible coinsurance. Okay, uh, ambulance. Same thing, urgent care, $30 copay, beautiful. Um, outpatient, $15 copay, deductible does not apply. Okay, inpatient uh, services, this is for mental health, okay? If they're pregnant, the office visits are no charge, but the delivery itself, deductible plus the 40%. But remember, their percentages are always going towards that maximum out of pocket, okay? Here are some other things. Here is his uh, medical equipment here, hospice is here. And then here are the, uh, the, uh, the, the eye exam for somebody under the age of 19, one exam per year. That's it, that's, that's what you get. Okay, they get a pair of glasses, 50% coinsurance, uh, one set of frames. And then over here, the dental, just a checkup. Part of this too, it'll tell you that, you know, it says they're generally generally means it's not covered guys all right no abortion no bariatric no cosmetic no dental care for adult and child okay uh no infertility treatment no long-term care no emergency care outside of the u.s no routine eye care uh no foot care no weight loss coverage they will cover a little bit of acupuncture they will cover a little bit uh 35 visits for chiropractic care uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech uh, therapy, that's in here. Hearing aids, okay, um, and then private duty nurse. All right, so all this, what I do in my normal practice is I will download this and I will shoot them an email. If they're physically here in my office, what I would do is I'll print it and give it to them. All right, pretty easy thing to do, guys. All right, all right, so you should be doing that. All right, so I do this. This is as far as health care knowledge, that's all you need, guys. My opinion do not overextend yourself by plain claims adjuster. If they ask you, is this covered? Is that covered? What I do is like, I can't really tell you. I mean, obviously, they go to the hospital. Um, yes. You know, if I have a heart attack, yes. If I have, uh, COVID, yes, okay, um, but usually what I, will, what I will tell them is I'll, you know, I, I don't have any authority to say yes or no, that's just my opinion, but why don't you just get your card once you get enrolled, um, you know, these coverages are all mandated by the government, they have to follow certain rules because they're playing in the ACA game, and, uh, 
you know, I, I, I can't confirm nor deny. Just stick with that. Okay. Um, I give them the benefits of summaries. I will send them this. And I just, I don't play the what if game with these guys. They will what if you to death. Okay. Uh, I have some experience with this already. And I, 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 I just, I just know, Hey, I don't worry about it. And like, Hey, if you have, you know, uh, some the, the one question I get, look, my knee hurts or, you know, maybe it was, a. uh, uh I think it was in the knee or hip, shoulder, whatever. It was hurt during an athletic event. Will it cover? Like, I, I think so. But you know what? Best thing is, is get with the claims department of your plan. Talk to them. And they'll let you know. Okay. I do think if you are injured in the process of committing a crime, not going to cover. I don't know. I just tell me, you know what? Just call the carrier. They'll tell you all right, so we're rocking. Guys, um, that's all that I worry about. That is it. I don't do anything more than that. Okay? Um, that's how I quote. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you an enrollment. And then we'll get into the subsidies and CSRs. But you already know that, guys. I'm not going to even mess with that. Subsidies are these savings. Okay? And then CSRs. You know that if a client qualifies for them, these are just reductions in their expenses, and they're only applicable to silver plans. That's it. Just silver plans and nothing else. All right, let's do an enrollment. So let's say that I'm going to enroll this person in the Aetna plan. I'll hit Add to Cart. I'm going to confirm it, and I'm going to start an application. All right. When you see this, guys, the first thing that it wants to do, it wants to see if there's an existing application. So you will enter the name of the insurer, the last name, date of birth, the state, you receive permission, and you search, okay? When you search, if nothing pops up, you're gonna start. If something pops up uh, for the current year, you can click on it and update it. That's how you become the agent of record, one of the ways. All right, we'll do this and we'll assume nothing pops up. All right, give me one minute. I'm going to pop up the folder because I don't want to do an actual enrollment. All right, here we go. Enrollment time. All right, baby, let's do this. So I picked a plan with my insured. And what I did is I took some screenshots, okay? And I've already blacked out or grayed out whatever the sensitive data. So let's assume, I'm gonna make this smaller. And there should be a little button down here that I can click on. Okay, we'll just do it from here. Right, there we go. Uh, sorry. Okay. I wish I could do something better for you. Okay. But I, but I got to click on these, this thing down here. And my little toolbar won't let me do it. Yeah, it won't let me do it. All right. So let's assume that my insured is going to want this plan. So I select it. Then what happens? Again, there you, you see it again. I'm going to start the application. I'm going to go here to start application. I'm going to enter their data. Now, this is what happens when I find an application. It will pop up. Their information will pop up here and in the year. I have two choices. I can apply using that information. It'll bring it all in and then I can it'll embed my NPN so I get paid. Or I can start a new application. If there's already one for the current year, they recommend that you use that one and just update it. Okay. Then you're gonna start answering some questions, okay? You gotta click these two, otherwise you can't proceed. Okay, privacy and the use of your, of your information. So um, I don't ever read this to them, I don't have time. Uh, but technically here is they understand that uh, I agree to have my information used and retrieved from data sources for this application. When you enter this data guys, and it's backdooring to healthcare.gov, uh, healthcare.gov is linked to a bunch of three-letter agencies. 
So it's going to gather stuff from IRS, uh, Homeland Security, who knows what. But it's going to, in real time, it's going to gather that data. I understand that I'm required to provide true answers and that I'm going to be asked to provide additional information, including proof of my eligibility for a special enrollment if I qualify. If I don't, I may face penalties and include the risk of losing my coverage. All right, click, click, and you hit continue. Next screen. Okay, next screen. On here, the one person, is this person applying for coverage? Yes. They don't have to. Let's just say it was mom, dad, two kids, and dad is right here, but dad doesn't want to, but mom does. You can put no on dad. So the primary insured is going to be up here. Do you want to see if you're eligible for savings? Yes, I do. Okay. And then down here, this is usually blank. We, we go back to that quote where it was mom, dad, and two kids. You're going to have to go in here and add people. So you, you even though when you, I quote it for, why isn't it bringing over for? It's not going to bring it over, guys. So you're going to have to add the spouse and you're going to have to add the two kids. It's very easy. It'll, it'll ask you for their name, uh, their date of birth, and their relationship, spouse, kid, whatever. And then you add them. So we're going to add one parent here. We're going to add the spouse and three kids. Now, when you, you'll see here in this scenario, well, why is this clicked? In this scenario, these three kids were on chip. So I'm not going to insure the kids. Okay, it'll jack it up. You have, you'll create a tax problem for these people. So I'm only insuring this person and this person. Okay, I'll hit continue. All right, now you're gonna get into the information where you're gonna to have to enter their social. You're gonna choose if, they, uh, uh, um, if they're tobacco users. If they are not, if they're a US citizen, you'll click yes. If they're not a US citizen, you'll click no. You'll click on yes, I have an eligible immigration status. And then you will go to the next section where you'll choose the status there, the different uh, cards or the different immigrant eligible statuses. And then you're going to have to enter this information. For you guys that deal with the green card, uh, I do a lot of this in Texas. Okay, this is a pro tip here. All right. Okay, so here is a here is a sample green card. All right. When you get the green card from an insured, you'll notice, oh. You have to enter some data. You have to enter the A number. It's a little hard to see, but the A number is this USCI, whatever that is. It is this number. You will type that A number in. You will type in the expiration date of the card. And then the back of the card, it's right here on the, go to the right side of the screen, guys. These three letters, with the remaining numbers, okay? Back of the card, the three letters with the remaining numbers, you're going to enter that. You're gonna enter the, 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 the front of the card, the number goes here. The back of the card, the number goes here. So in that sample, it was L-I-N. There's an M-S-C and there's an I-O-E. I don't know what they stand for, but just put the, the, the three letters and the numbers here and then the expiration date. I know some of y'all are thinking, but it says optional. Do I have to enter it? Enter it, guys, because if you don't, you're going to have to submit a picture of the green card. You want to try to eliminate the extra work that you're going to have to do. Okay. All right, you'll hit none down here. You'll proceed to the next one. Um, on this one, there's a, what is this? Hold on here. So you'll go through these questions again. 
uh, okay, so this is this is below. Um, have they lived in the U.S.? Are they currently in jail? Are they an American Indian or Alaska Native? And then all, I typically, guys, if I'm in a hurry, I just hit decline to answer, decline to answer. I don't have time. This is just demographic crap, and I'm going to move on. Next one. Now I get to the income section. I'm going to have to enter income for everybody in that house. If they don't have one, then I'm just going to click next. Okay. So this one individual, they were self-employed. They were an, they were an electrician, and they made thirty three hundred a month. Here is another pro tip, guys. So if they're self-employed, the only option that you have here is monthly. So a lot of times, like oh, I make forty grand. If you go put forty here, and you just don't catch it, it's going to show at the very end that they make four hundred and eighty thousand. Because it's it's the, your only option here when you choose self-employed is monthly. Now, if you choose a job and you're gonna have to enter the employer information, you have the option of choosing. Uh, you, you, you have different options there. All right, so we'll continue here. All right, then you answer a few questions. Okay, extra help. You know, do they have a disability? Uh, do they need help with daily living? Now here, okay, let's remember the, the scenario where the income was a little low. I checked the two buttons on the right side to take the kids and make them eligible, okay? Now what I have to do is I have to answer the questions here. Were any of these people found not eligible? I'm gonna check the button here and I'm gonna check the button for that one person. And then it'll tell me what, when did they get declined? And it has to be a date within the past 90 days. So the two kids, I'll have, I'll have all four of them, mom, dad, and two kids here. No, no, I take it back. I won't have mom and dad. I will only have the kids here. Okay. And so it's going to let me know if they were found ineligible. All right. Do they have existing coverage? No. Um, before you start, uh, do, they, do they have an HRA? Answer those. And we'll continue. Do they have employee sponsor coverage? Okay, guys. Somebody earlier asked me about the family glitch, and I'm going to answer it now. Does the family glitch still apply? The answer is yes. Unfortunately, guys, it still exists. I think there was legislation pending or whatever that they were going to remove it. I don't think that it's been removed. This is what the family glitches. Let's assume mom, dad, and two kids. Okay, dad works at a company that offers employer-sponsored coverage. They have a group plan. Dad enrolls in the plan because the employer pays half of it. But there's sticker shock when they try to enroll the spouse and the kids. Okay, I'm almost done, Dave. Okay. So they go to try to put mom and dad on the plan or, or they, the, the spouse and the kids. And it's like, oh my God, forget it. So if, if, so what they try to do is they don't insure the spouse. They don't insure the kids. They think that they can enroll in an ACA plan and they can. Problem is because of the family glitch issue, which is this question right here. Will any of these people be offered health coverage? It does not say, well, any of these people, are they are any of them enrolled? Are they offered coverage? They are offered, but they elected not to choose it because it's too expensive. Oh, so this is what happens. If you put yes, they get no subsidies. They can still enroll with no subsidies. If you put no, you can proceed. They get subsidies if they qualify. But... At tax time, if they become aware that they had that they were offered coverage and they there's they they get caught, all that help that they got, they're gonna have to pay back in the form of a tax liability. So I ask them, how do you, Mr. Insured, want me to answer this question? I put it on them. I don't make any decision on here because that tax liability is gonna fall on them. Okay. We'll continue with this enrollment. Um, this is qualifying coverage. If they're losing it, 
See, will anyone lose it? And this one is um, recent changes. Okay, one of them, will they lose it? And then this one is they already lost it. So you'll choose the appropriate answer there. You know, did they get married? Did they change their primary pace of living? What's happening here is they're trying to find out, they're trying to come up with an SCP. Okay, you hit next. You know, these are, did they, did they just get released from jail? Did they gain eligible immigration status? Were they adopted? Um, do they have access to a QSERA? When we get to ICRA, guys, this right here is huge. When we get to ICRA, ICRA is right here. There's the word ICRA. You'll see this. Okay. We'll hit continue. You'll get to the finalized section where you will see a, a review of all the, the questions that you've answered. You'll hit agree. You'll hit agree. Oh, went too fast. You hit some more agrees. Then you'll get to this final agree. You hit yes and you hit continue. Uh, agree, agree again. Uh -oh, a lot of agrees. Then you will copy and paste their name in here and you will continue and you will submit. All right. Then you're going to get the eligibility. We're going to take a break and answer questions here. And I will discuss eligibility and I will discuss income and what to do with the eligibility. Dave, let's rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. Thank you so much, Luis. couple of uh, friendly reminders. Make sure you guys hit the like button, the thumbs up button. That helps YouTube share this wonderful training. Luis has been so kind to share with us to more agents on YouTube. So thanks to everybody who's hit that like button already. And thanks to you who hasn't yet that will right now. Also, make sure that you go to davidduford.com forward slash ACA now in order to get the freebies that Luis has mentioned, including the um, income chart. Uh, other things that Luis has mentioned, including his vendor that he used for some of his marketing materials. Uh, that is completely free, no catches. Just throw your email in there and you'll get it. So let's go to the chat here and hit up some questions. So guys, if you asked some questions earlier and happen to miss them, uh, ask them now, because I'm going to go right through this list. And then once we're done here, Luis, I assume we're just going to keep the process moving forward, correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, great. All right, so <clears throat> let's see where we pick up at here. What type of service work does an agent need to do with a book of business, say about a, a 500 ACA clients? Very little. Um, the initial work that you may need to do is eligibility. We haven't talked about yet. That's what we're going to pick up. Uh, you may have to submit documents. Just let your insurance know, follow up with them. And then the only other type of uh, service work you may need is uh, billing work. Collect the payments. If they have a $0 premium where there's no bill. Awesome. But- if you're running into insurance that have to pay premiums, nature of the beast, you know, sometimes they don't pay. I try when I enroll them, I tell them, give me your account or your credit card. I set them up on auto pay. All I right. Eliminate that. Okay. Try to eliminate as much as I can at the onset. Now, as far as any other work, I love the word HIPAA. I love HIPAA. I throw, I, I throw HIPAA around everywhere. I would love to help you out, David, but because of HIPAA, I can't. HIPAA, you know, I don't have the authorization to help you. But here's what I want you to do. Do me a favor. Take out your card. Which card? Credit card. No, 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 no. Take out your health insurance card. They take it out. Flip it. They go to the back. What am I looking at? There's a customer service number there. Call that number. There's people there that can help you. I can't help you. I can't even call with you. They're going to make me hang up since we don't have the HIPAA authorization. And I'll be damned if I'm going to get a HIPAA authorization. Hell no. I don't want to get into that trap of having to service these people. So other than the initial and billing, very little service work. Great. Let's see here. Uh, for those interested in the book, the smart book, I just posted that in the chat again. Just go find it there. Okay. Um, thinking about selling FE, but should I start with ACA? Why don't we do this kind of like FE versus ACA? You give your reason why an agent should start with ACA, and then I'll give my reason why they start with FE. Go for there, it. There is no reason. They should do both. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say why they shouldn't do that because remember, you're, you're with an insured. It depends on why you're there with them originally. Did, you, did they come and see you because they want right. FE? 
Okay, go after the FE and cross sell the ACA. If they're there for ACA, do the ACA, but offer them life insurance. So I, I don't think it's an I don't think it's an or. I think it should be an and. So I'll take the and we agree to disagree. You know, Luis and I kind of have different perspectives, and Luis is very very good at what he does. I'm of the persuasion that an agent should specialize as a brand new agent. Ultimately, you should be cross selling multiple uh, carriers and products more more products than anything else. But in the beginning, I think it's important to plant your flag as a brand new agent with which direction you want to go. Uh, for me, the pros is final expense. It's quick to get started. There's lots of prospects. Um, the first year commission advances. It pays decently and it's generally an activity-based business. It does take more in sales. And this is kind of where the cons will come in. It's going to take more salesmanship to sell final expense. You're selling a product to a world-class procrastinator that's waited till their elderly years to buy. Whereas with ACA, everybody needs health insurance. Everybody gets that they need health insurance, right? So it's a less, it's a more accessible product. You'll get more appointments with and have more conversations with. Not There's very few people who are absolutely thrilled about their health insurance. You know, they're always open-minded to looking for more opportunity. And the other thing too, of course, with ACA is that unlike final expense, while it, final expense does pay first year commission very well, ACA is, is definitely the winner far and beyond in the residual game. And as Luis and I both know, in our own respective business models, it's all about the residuals. It's all about making money without necessarily having to go out there to work for it. Yeah, you got to work a lot to get to that point. But when you can walk away, go on a fishing trip, for me, go up to Canada for a month, and then like my business is still intact and it's still paying me, that's a beautiful thing. You can't do that with final expense. So I'm that, and that's why we're talking about this because whether it's short term for you or long term, the residual part of your business, you should specialize in it. You should focus on it. It may be Medicare, it may be ACA, it may be both, but you need to be transitioning your business towards one of those directions because you won't get the kind of freedom, autonomy, and um, ability to have a lifestyle oriented business if you are just stuck in a life insurance business model. Luis, any comments on that? No, I agree with you. I mean, I, I think it all comes down to your capability. If you're new and you're overwhelmed, focus on one. Pick one, guys. Um, if you're, you know, I, I sometimes I don't sleep, guys. I'm too wired. I need stuff. So I, mean, I, I, I want to do it all and then some. Okay. And so I'm always adding, pro I'm always doing more than what I should. I, I need to relax. So it's, it's really, <laughs> a, a, uh, what's the word? I guess it depends on you. Right. right. Depends right. on every individual. Some people can't even handle Medicare and ACA. It's just too much. Right. But some people are like, hey, it's no big deal. So it's a it's a very personal question. Yep. Uh, is there an ACA for dummies book? Yes. It's called the smart book. And in fact, it's down in the chat. If you scroll down, you'll see it. You can buy it from Luis if you work with us to get it. If there, uh, if you have a client that is moving from New York to South Carolina, Luis, and they have insurance through the New York state market. In aqua color, will they pop up on the FFM? Okay, let me go check here. So let me share a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so they're moving from where, David? New York. Okay. Higher to the weather. So they're in New York. Okay. And then where are they moving to? South Carolina. Yep. So when they move to South Carolina, okay, when you go in there and you quote them, they're not going to pop up. When you do the... Uh, when you get to the section where you enter their name and you enter their uh, their date of birth and state, whatever, uh, nothing's going to pop up because New York is not part of the federal exchange. So they're going to show up as virgins. You're, you're going to see nothing there. You're going to click on create new account and you start from scratch. Beautiful. How to contract with us, davidufordcom forward slash FAQ. Just go there, read through it. Go find the ACA link. If you like what you see, you'll see what to do next. Hey, David, here's my here's my uh, my book for dummies, guys. It's called the Smart Book. It's right here, guys. I update it every year, um, guys. This is beautiful. I have an ACA book. I have a uh, if I can find it. I have a Medicare book. You can get a bundle on them. Um, if you're one of our agents, it's in our it's on our school platform. Okay. Um, and then I even have a course, David, I've got a, a, you know, for those that want 
Uh, you, you know, this is the course that I teach. You're getting a lot of it here. Uh, this is a little slower in depth on demand. Um, you can get it here. Great, thank you. All right. Uh, can you hit the family glitch again, please? We can. Family glitch, guys. Let me get the right screen up. Right here. No. Nope. I had it. Where is it? All right, here we go. Family glitch. Here you go, guys. This question right here is all tied to the family glitch. If the glitch is that because one spouse has group insurance, okay, offered for the spouse that's working for that business, the other spouse and the kids are kind of screwed. They, they're caught in the glitch. So it's not whether they're enrolled, it's whether they're offered health coverage through another person's job like a spouse. So does their spouse has group coverage. Why didn't the other spouse enroll? Because it's too expensive. Now there is a catch, but I've never seen it work. Nine, if the, if the rate, I don't even go into it because I can't even figure it out myself. An accountant, you have to have, a, you have, to have an accountant in mind on this one, but if the income, if the insurance rate is, more expensive than not if oh it's like nine percent nine point six one something like that if it is um if the portion that the employee pays is greater than nine percent of the household income the plan is deemed unaffordable therefore a spouse can get coverage it never works out because the employers pay half i've never seen it work out so this is a glitch, guys. So the glitch is the spouse and the kids can get coverage because the other spouse has coverage at work. They were going to do away with that, but to my knowledge, they have not. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, did the dependents have to be on the two, 2022 return or the 2023 return? Do, do the who? Dependents. Well, they should, if, if you're applying for 2022 insurance, we're talking about the 2022 tax return. Now, let's, just, let's assume that in, uh, in 2021, when they filed, they were single, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Now they're married in 2022. Okay. It's however they're going to file for this tax year in April of 2023. Okay. So whatever their intentions are. So they'll be filing married for 2022. So you can use you can put both of them on a plan. Can agent CRM handle ACA clients as well as the Medicare? Or should I separate the two and use health surface CRM for ACA clients? Good freaking question, man. Is that, who is that mask guy that said that question? That's Mark Gilbert. Hey, Mark, Mark man, freaking good question, amigo. Okay, so health Sherpa is not a CRM. Okay, health Sherpa is a management tool. All health Sherpa is going to do is manage what's in there. And what you're going to be able to send them is what Health Sherpa has set up, like renewals. And then those three emails that it says for documents, not going to be able to do much for them. Agent CRM. Okay, what that is, is that is a complete customer relationship manager. I use it. I use it for my PNC book, my ACA book, my Medicare book. If I even were to sell widgets, I would use it for that. So it doesn't matter. Um, here's the idea. So they brought that up. Um, guys, here's what I do have. Uh, let me pull up. Well, you know, I'm going to do it on the marketing side. But if you want to get agent CRM, guys, I have a referral link. With that referral link, here's what will happen, guys. You get my workflows that I've created for ACA. You get templates that I've already created for ACA. And you get a pipeline that I've already created. So if you want that, David, I'm going to share that link with you. Yeah, toss it in the chat there and I'll put it in. All right, next question. Are there any issues that will come up if we try to enroll an owner or employee at a recreational dispensary here in Colorado? Legal at the state level, but not federal. So to, to, sell, for a friend. to sell at a dispensary? 
Yeah. Uh, to enroll people in a dispensary. Are there any issues that will come up if we try to enroll an owner or employee at a recreational dispensary here in Colorado? No, I, I mean, they're business owners. Uh, right. I don't care what they're selling. You know, they file a tax return. I mean, I know they're a cash only business, but uh, I'm sure they're paying taxes. They're not going to get away without paying taxes. So that income is documented. So it's whatever they show, whatever income they show as an AGI on their tax return. Cindy says, does Lisa's program teach us to enroll consumers for multiple states or is it just for a few states? No, it's, well, what, Hell Sherpa only works in those dark blue states, okay, because those are federal states. If you go to Colorado or California, which are state-based exchanges, the principles that I'm talking about are the same. You just will not be able to use Hell Sherpa. You're going to have to use Colorado's tool or California's tool. Marshall says, how, how decent of quality are these ACA plans? I know historically they've been considered poor. Has that changed? Do people complain and or drop plan because benefits aren't good? They're only poor because of the lack of education that an agent has done or the fact that these insureds enrolled themselves and they had no idea what the heck they got into. That, that's kind of that the metal plans, like going with a silver plan with the subsidy versus bronze, so, that kind of thing. You're going to so talk about me, that. Yeah, yeah, let, let me illustrate that because that's also yeah, a very good, good question. I'll, I'll, while you look that up, I'm, I'm going to tell everybody here too. Um, I've, I've been on a uh, ACA plan since its inception. And, I, and this is just my experience. It's with Blue Cross Blue Shield. But we go to uh, Vanderbilt. My wife has a pacemaker. Uh, she goes regularly up there to get her uh, pacer checked. She's had several surgeries up there with her pacemaker. And um, we've never had a single problem. So, you know, I, I think it's good. All right. Let me illustrate that. This is what happens, guys. The plans are standardized, which means they have to meet the minimum essential benefits. M -E, yeah. No, minimum essential cover. M -E yeah. MEC. All right, so let's look at this plan. An insured enrolls in this plan. You see it, David, right here? We do, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so it's Oscar. Um, so first of all, I know that, you know, I mean, because I know my plans. This plan, this, this carrier only works with two networks, the Baptist system and the Methodist. They don't work with the other hospital systems. So guess what? What if my insured goes to one of those other hospital systems? Well, there's no coverage. Oh, the plan sucks. It's terrible. Well, no, Mr. Insured, you have to be educated. You have to go to in-network hospitals. So again, that's a, that's a knowledge problem. The plan is great, but it's a knowledge problem. Okay, they went outside the network. You could have a group plan, a, a PPO, okay? You, you guys, well, you, I'm not going to say you should know, but in a PPO, you have out-of-network benefits, but at a much higher cost to the insured. Well, same thing there. If you go out of network, you're going to have to pay more. All right. So, but we do know in, in Obamacare, in ACA plans, there is no out-of-network coverage unless it's an emergency. All right. So they decide to have a shoulder surgery done with this hospital system, and it's not in network. Does the plan suck? No, it doesn't. It's just the fact that they're going out of network. Okay. All right. Here's the other deal. David, what if, let's go to this plan right here. They go to a doctor. What's going to happen when they go see that doc? You guys see this right here? Yep. No charge. Beautiful. They don't see the next two words. No charge after the deductible. Well, look at the deductible, guys, 8700 So they go to the doctor that is in network. They're going to have to pay the full cost of that doctor. Does, it, does Is the plan awful? No, it's just that's a plan they chose. Okay, what about medications? What I see people, they chose this plan because of this. They pay nothing. But look, nothing is covered. There's no doctors. <laughs> there's no specialists. There's no drugs. Nothing is covered until after they met the deductible. Well, of course, you're going to think this thing is awful. Again, it's education. They don't know. All right. So again, this is why they need an agent. So choosing the lowest premium plan is not always the best choice. So right. 
these plants are not bad. They're not awful. They've never been awful. Okay, the issue is they have to stick to the network. And they may even come back and say, but I didn't cover my medications. Well, okay, it's because you probably chose a medication that wasn't in the formulary. Okay, and every plan has a medication for every condition. Okay, sometimes you may find four medications for one condition. Only two of them are going to be in there or three of them, you know, who knows? But there is a medication for every condition out there that we covered by every plan. All right, last question here, then let's move uh, forward. Can or should the sales and business focus change based off of the seasonal opportunities? Of course, my answer is absolutely. Uh, as open enrollment begins, I think that's where all of your focus should be. It's the best time of year to sell. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Luis is going to talk about ICRA. I think that's a great year-round strategy you can do outside of open enrollment. Yep, yep, yep. Right now, guys, you guys should be putting on your little shorts for sprinting, your tights. Remember, this is a sprint, guys. You should be getting ready for the sprint that starts in one month, November the 1st. So certification, guys, if you're on the sidelines, uh, let me think about this. Guys, make a decision. Get in the game if you want to get in the game because you're going to miss out on one crazy enrollment season this year. All right. Any questions, David? I think that's good for now. Oh, actually, real quick here. Are there any advertisement restrictions like compliance issues for ACA? You can door knock. You can chase people down. You can put stickers on their windshields. Um, you know, if you have a retail store, you can chase the uh, customers down the aisles. Zero restrictions other than you want to be ethical and do the right thing. Right. It's not like Medicare. On Medicare, you got to set bait out and let them bite on the hook and then you reel them in. With Medicare, I'm sorry, with ACA, you can throw a grenade in the water and bam, there you go. So answer is no restrictions. Perfect. So let's move on. So again, uh, for those of you jumping in now, the reminder for our freebies that we're giving away specifically for ACA, Luis will mention those as we go along. DavidDeFord.com forward slash ACA now. No catch, no obligation. Just put your email in. You'll get lots of free stuff to help you sell more ACA. Uh, Luis, where are we going now in our uh, training? Well, we are, uh, as usual, I'm always running behind, but I'm going to giddy up on this thing because from here, I'm going to go into intake. I'm going to start talking about dental and vision, the NanGen product, bundling, and then ICRA. So you want to do maybe 40 minutes, come back. We're rocking and rolling. All right. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll pop back on and you're no break for you. You're going to just keep going right now, right? I'm good. I'm All good. right. So I'll pop back on about a quarter till. It's about 40, Perfect. 50 minutes from now. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, so when you get done with the enrollment, after you submit it, what's going to happen is you're going to get an eligibility and you're going to open it up. This is what the eligibility looks like. Guys, this is not real. Okay, I made all these numbers up. You can kind of see the different fonts. Okay, so with this scenario, okay, here is what's going to happen. Okay. When you look at this, they've changed it. This is the latest eligibility. What you're going to see, so we are enrolling three people here, okay? Um, these three people are here and you kind of see some dots. Here is their subsidy level. Here is their income level, okay, that we used. And you will see here that in, the, in this section where it says action steps, you'll see here that it says, submit documents to confirm household income. So th th there's stuff that needs to be done. Service work, do it initially, okay? You're probably wondering, well, how, how do I submit this? Or, or you know, what do I need to submit? You're gonna go to the next page. Okay, maybe the next page. Okay, so here is how they can do it. The preferred method is for them to give them to you and you upload them. That's a preferred method. They can mail it by snail mail. It's going to get lost. Okay. So I always tell them, email it to me. The other thing that they can do is I have them take a picture with their phone and I have them text me that. Everybody can do that. 
I mean, everybody, guys, I don't know how to do that. Really, with COVID, everybody knows how to do texting and emailing and Zooming and all that crap. They just may not want you. Okay. So get a picture, get their phone, the document, and have them send it to you. Yeah, that's the way it sounds. I wish I had a better picture sound. All right, let's get to what household income. Check it out, guys. So we'll tell you here. This is what you need to send in. Not all of it, but these are the options. You can send in your tax return, a W-2 or 1099, a pay stub. If you're self-employed, you can send in a letter, okay? Um, you can send in your social security statement, your unemployment benefits letter, okay? Um, these are some other documents. I've never done these before, but you can. Documents to confirm. Uh, oh, I take that back. Uh, I've done the 1040. The K-1s are partnership returns, your personal return. Um, you know, what I do here typically is I do a letter for self-employed. Okay. Documents to confirm unearned income. So an annuity statement, uh, pension statements. You know, you, you win a prize or award, uh, interest, whatever. They're statements for this, guys. Uh, so you can submit those as proof. All right. So how do you submit it once you get it? So let me pull up. Hey, one minute here. I'm going to get one of my insureds. All right. Okay. Give me, I am going to do one thing here real quick, guys, because I got a lot of sensitive data and I don't want to share it. Okay. Let me just gray or color this out. All right, guys. I'm just. Getting rid of a lot of this PII. Okay. All right. Okay. Give me one minute. I got one, and we have to do two of them. Okay. Sorry. All right, this is the second one. I'm getting there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to do this so that I can show you all how I do this. Sorry, I'm trying to. Wish I knew how to take a print screen of my screen without doing. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to. Okay, I'll just illustrate it. Okay, give me one minute. I have it ready. All right. Okay, yes. So I pulled up one of my insureds. And you'll see that this insured needs to submit income and citizenship. Okay, here are the dates that I need to do it by, or 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 what's you know say completed or insufficient. It's telling me here action needed, which means I need to do it. Then I have the deadlines. All right. So then what I will do is I will click on verify. I click there. Then we go here. When it takes me to the next screen. So I'm going to verify income for this individual. What I will do here is you click this drop down. It'll give you a list of all the documents that are eligible. I was trying to get that screenshot, but I couldn't do it. You will get all those documents. You pick the, the, the appropriate one. Then you click select file. Remember, they sent it to you. 
you're thinking, well, what if they, they went and they texted it to you? Well, you take it and you email it to yourself and then you get your email, you take it from your email, you place it on your desktop and then you load it, you hit select file, you go find that document and you hit upload. Then the status will change to pending and you'll just sit there and you'll wait. It takes sometimes a couple of weeks for somebody to review it and then hopefully you get the complete. That means that you're good to go. All right, that's how you upload it. Okay, I'm sure there's no questions. No, you got questions, just ask away, guys. Okay, I am moving on. Okay, income. All right, guys. All right, so I did share with you guys that I do have a smart book, okay? Um, I have a lot of stuff in this smart book, guys. Uh, you know, I always ask, hey, you know, we're not charging you for this. You're getting everything. Buy the smart book. Help a brother out. Okay. But the smart book, guys, um, I have a lot of stuff in here. I use it every day. I got the income chart. I've got a bunch of stuff in here. But I also have in the book what is considered income. So I'm going to go pull it up for y'all and show you. All right, so I do have the latest one updated. Come on, taking a little time. Okay, here we go. So I have a worksheet that will help you out a little bit with, with income, but here it is, guys. What is considered income? So I have everything here of what's considered taxable income and not taxable income, all right? I also tell insureds, hey, go to um your tax return from last year go to line item number 11 all right they pull up the tax return okay you want them to go to line number 11, the adjusted gross income, and you want them to tell you what number is here, okay? If they're self-employed, you know, the Schedule C, it, the, the, the gross minus all the expenses, whatever, all that's been taken into account. This is the number. It's supposed to be MAGI. MAGI, there's some other factors. We rarely run into it. I just use this number, okay? Uh, never had any issues with it. We just go by that number. Okay. So that's what you'll do there. Okay. But as far as what's considered income, you know, whatever's considered taxable income, you know, if they're mowing grass and, you know, it's a side gig and they're not claiming it, well, it's not income. Now they could claim it. Okay. But it's not considered income unless it's being claimed. All right. Um, in my smart book, guys. I also have all the special elections that count for ACA, but then I also have, I don't want to give away my entire smart book, but I do have these, uh, remember we talked about the green card and what numbers to use? Well, I've got these in here for you too, all right? Again, a lot of stuff that you'll use out there, and even if you don't use it, when you're sitting with a prospect, you can just drop this in front of their you know, the conversation and they can glance on it. Oh, you do ACA. Oh, you do Medicare. Hmm. Door openers, guys, door openers. Okay. Again, where can you go get it, guys? Um, here is the link. David has posted it on there. Simply health insurance dot think dot com. Um, Ivan's done some really good. This is the kid in my office. This guy generates a ton of leads. He's he's kind of a, I mean, he's young and he's running a lot of business, okay? A um, couple of things I sell, you know, I, I do have my course, guys. Um, it's similar to this, a little more intense, a little more uh, uh, slower, um, and it's on demand. And I tell people, it's a cost of one head. You're going to, your ROI is going to be humongous. I should be charging a million dollars for this thing, or at least a hundred thousand. One 
head and you've already made more than that. When you buy this course, you'll also get the smart book. So you don't need to do both. But if you just want one of them, you go here. If you want both of them, it's 89 bucks. Um, I did have this one guy do this. You can get both books. But if you would like to have an entire hour of my time, guys, I'm not cheap, okay? Um, but you want to discuss business plan. You wanted me to get in depth with what I'm doing. Uh, you want to? You want me to show you how I use my smart books uh, in a presentation? Whatever you want. You want a private session with me, okay? Um, and also, if you want, you know, other, any do other documents that I have, guys, you can book a private. We're rocking. I will give it to you, okay? Um, Twenty-two years in the business, guys. I got a lot of junk up here. All right, let's continue. All right. All right, the intake sheet. The intake sheet is huge, guys. My intake sheet. One minute. All right. So before I talk to any of my prospects, you know, I, I will have a conversation, but I email them this intake sheet. All right. And share this with you. I did give it to you guys as one of the freebies. All right. All right. Here's the intake sheet, guys. All right. This intake sheet, here's what you will do. All right. Um, I send it to them and I tell them, hey, guys, fill this out. I need everybody that's on your tax return. I need all their data. No, if I don't want to fill it out, I'll go somewhere else. Okay. I have too much um, on my plate. Most people, when they're dealing with me, I've already set the stage that I am the authority figure. I know what I'm talking about, okay? So I need this, otherwise you're wasting my time. So I will tell them to write their names here. Uh, applicant, spouse, children. Well, I have five kids. Where does the fifth one go? You can stick them down here, okay? I need date of births and socials. I need to know if they're US citizens or not. I'm in South Texas, guys. There's a lot of people here who are permanent residents. I need to know that, okay? If they are on Medicaid or CHIP, I want to know too. I ask for their driver's license. You guys don't have to. Uh, I get it because I have a PNC shop also. I sell auto and home. So I want to gather this data too. Phone number, home address, and county. Guys, there's some zip codes that are in multiple counties. I need to know what county they live on because these plans are county specific. I need their email. I need their 2021 income only as a reference, but I need to know what, what they estimate their income is gonna be for 2022. And not just them, but the entire household. I need employer information. And then I need their docs and meds here, okay? So this is my intake form. Not much to it, guys. But if I get this complete, I can do an enrollment. Once I quote them, I'm done, guys. Okay, I have everything I need here to enroll. All right, we are moving on. So remember, we talked about the dental and vision and bundling. So let's say that I get with one of my insurers. All right. All right. I get with one of my insureds. I don't want to go there. All right. I get with one of my insureds. I go run a quote. Okay. This is Sales Skills 101, guys. All right, so let's, just, let's just say that they agree to jump on this United Healthcare plan for 375. I am not going to tell them 375. I'm gonna say, whoa there, baby. Don't go anywhere, hold on. As I'm doing this, remember this is a 35 year old female. While I'm doing this three hour plan, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go quote them dental and vision, okay? All 
All right. So I'm rocking. You know, all this is being done. She wants dental. She wants vision. It's just her. Here we go. With the Meritus guys, you have three plans. You have good, better, best. Preventative only plan. Okay. Small deductible, small benefit. This is more of a preventative. Preventative is covered at 100%. Okay. This is good. Remember, good, better, best. Okay. This one here, good plan, small deductible, benefits up to two grand. Okay. Uh, it covers preventative, basic, and major. It's also got child orthodontia. Now, the one thing that I like about these plans, guys, is that you'll see all three of them have preventative plus. What this means is that whatever amount of money is used for the preventative care, it is not removed from the maximum benefit. Okay, that's what that means. You use this one down here. This one's more for the senior market, but it doesn't have to be. There is no orthodontia, but they do add a hearing benefit. All right, this is the way these dental plans work. All right, dental is broken down into three categories, okay? Your preventative, and you'll see that in this, I think we're doing the middle plan. You will see here that it is a 100% day one. I enroll today, they start tomorrow, okay? They will get two cleanings, two exams, two fluoride treatments of their under 16, sealants and bite wings, all right? Two a year per person, rocking, 100% coverage. Small stuff, which is called basic or type two, or big stuff, major type three. Tomorrow, they will cover 65% of the bill. After the year is up, they will cover 80% of that bill. This is your small stuff, okay? Your big stuff, okay? Insureds don't understand basic and major. They will understand small stuff, big stuff. Big stuff like crowns, root canals, dentures, bridges, implants. Here, the first year, 20%. After the first year, 50 They're like, oh, man, this sucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check this out. What if they have to have a crown tomorrow? It's only going to pay 20%. Ah, remember, they're paying $38. Check this out. All right. All right, so they go get a crown. I just got one, the one I had broke. $1,600 for the crown, okay? If they enroll in this plan and assuming that the doctor is in this PPO dental plan, the crown no longer is 1,600. This doctor has already negotiated a rate, you know, the, 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 in order for the, the doctor or the dentist to be part of the PPO, he's already agreed to a set fee, okay? 1,200 bucks for the crown. The insured already saved $400. That's almost the entire annual premium for the plan, okay? So you're thinking, well, that's awful. No, that's really good. Remember, he just got the plan to, a day ago. Then on top of that, this the, the, the carrier is going to pay 20%. This is the insurance carrier. Uh, I should have changed this. Oh, come on. Where's my pen? Really? Oh, there we go. The the insured is going to pay. Ah, uh, here I go again. 80%. Man, 80% of that. So let me do my math. So the insured pays 960. Okay. So just because he enrolled in this plan. 
Okay, this is the 20% of that. Okay, he automatically saved $640 as opposed to being on the hook for $1,600. Yes, he had to pay $960, but he had no insurance. He enrolled in the plan and automatically this, he went from $1,600 to $960. Bucks. That's not bad for paying one month of $38. Now, if he waits after a year, Instead of this being 80-20, it becomes 50-50. All right? So you think 20% is not bad, and you, you got to remember about the, the, the fee schedule. All right? The, 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 what the dentist has already agreed to charge based on, that, on him being in that network. All right. The other deal to look at. Okay, is that you'll notice that the first year, even though this plan said up to 2000, the first year it's 1000, and then after the year is up, it goes up to 2000, and then it stays at 2000 per person for the remainder of the year. Okay, all right, I think that that's easy enough, guys. All right, um, this one over here, very similar. Okay, the numbers are a little bit different, but the concept is the same. But over here, they started 2000 and then after the year's up, they go to 2500 Okay, I think it's beautiful. All right, let's go to the vision. Let's assume this insured selects that plan. Now we go to vision. Vision, you've got good and better, okay? Difference here is that with this $10 plan, the network is the IMED network, very, very good network but they can only get a pair of glasses every two years or, or, or a context. This one over here, that's about $6 more. It utilizes the VSP network. And now they can get a pair of glasses context frames every year, okay? Um, you can click on details here and you can get some more information, all right? So let's assume they choose the $10 plan. Perfect, they go to review and purchase. I'm at 49 bucks. Guys, literally, when I hit enroll, I am minutes away from completing this. Now, the next thing that I'll do, okay, so I'm done with the dental and the vision. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to National General. This lady is, where is she? Okay, she's right here. Okay, she, I think she's 30. Five years old. Okay, so 2022 minus 35. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to quote an individual. Oh, come on. Really? I'm going to log out. Maybe I need to log back in. Let's see. Really? Oh, give me one minute, guys. Oh, all right. Hold on here. David, are you around, David? I think he's going to come. I still might be a little too early. Man. All right. Let's see here. What do I need to do? Clear cookies. Hold on. Uh, all right. I'm clearing cookies. Give me one minute. Sorry, guys. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe... I'm going to try in. Okay, cookies are cleared. All right, let's see here. I'm going to try incognito. Let me see if this works. Obviously, I can log in. Okay, oh, I'm, oh shoot. I got to get a code. Hold on, guys. Hey, send me a code. Okay, I think I figured it out. It needed a code. Hold on here. Zero four one three seven zero. Oh yeah, baby, I'm in. All right, I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so I am in. I'm quoting. So I'm going to go here.
All right, I'm gonna go run a quote for this 35 year old woman. Woman, okay, female, 1987. Okay, I say she's a non smoker, no prior, and I'm gonna start her. All right, show plants. All right, here we go. Okay, so remember when I showed my income illustration, I did AME and sickness. So when I log in here to National General, which is becoming Allstate, I'm gonna to go to see all plans. I'm gonna let these load up here. I'm gonna to go to accident. Then I'm gonna scroll down. So remember guys, her out of pocket was Her out of pocket was nineteen hundred dollars. Okay, looking at the quote here. Uh, okay, nineteen hundred dollars, guys. So remember, Jack Post twenty five. Her maximum out of pocket is nineteen hundred. Here's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I can go nineteen hundred. The least expensive. Option is the AME for $2,500, $13. What this does, if I click here and it pulls up the brochure, what it's going to show on the AME, it pays covered expenses. It re it's a reimbursement. There is a deductible in the first year of 250, then 150, then it disappears and goes away. No waiting period, it starts right away. It will reimburse them up to whatever dollar amount you choose. So we know that she has an out-of-pocket of 1900. I will offer her this. And I will tell this 35-year-old woman, look, if you're in an accident, okay, car accident, you're putting up Christmas lights and you fall down, uh, you're playing tennis and you break an ankle, uh, whatever it may be, you got kids and your kids break an arm on the monkey bars, whatever it is, okay? $2,500 reimbursement. So you 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 break your arm. So you go to the ER. ER is, is super expensive, but let's just say it's $1,000. And then you have a couple of follow-up visits and you're at 1,200. Okay. Even though this thing says 25, on the accident, it's only going to reimburse up to 2,500, but only reimburse your actual expenses. That's it. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. So it only reimburses up to the 2500 That's it. Okay. So I'll tell it. I'll have 13 in mind. Then what I will do is I will up it one level and I will do the accident with a sickness. Okay. What does the sickness do? The sickness, no deductible. There's a 30-day wait. Pre-existing conditions apply. But this will pay a lump sum benefit on your first covered day of a hospital admission. It doesn't matter what you're in for. If you're in the hospital for 24 hours, it will pay out whatever the amount is. You're probably thinking, but her out of pocket was 1900. We're going to write her a check for 2500. What does she do with that extra $600? Party money. Hey, oh, whatever it may be, guys, she keeps some money. We don't care. This is a benefit. This is paid directly to the insured. All right. Now, you just don't have to offer this. You can go an additional step and you can offer the accident, the sickness, along with CHS, cancer, heart attack, and stroke. So right here, if they're diagnosed with a cancer or they have a heart attack and stroke, they get a payout. Okay. So not a bad deal, but the premium does go up. We're at 28, now we're 34. Okay, not a bad deal, guys. Not a bad deal. Now let's go back to the insured. Um, how do I go back here? Let's see. There's a way. Let's go look at a family. I think I'm gonna have to redo, let's see here. 
Yep, I'm going to have to redo. Okay, new proposal. Oh, well, let's go back and do. No, there it is. Come on. All right, I think I'm going to just close it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to a different one. I want to, this is what I'm going to try to illustrate. So let's assume that it is the mom and dad with two kids. And they, let's assume it's 1900. Okay, so let's go in here and let's add mom, dad. There's a spouse, child, child. They have a male, female, one, one. One one nineteen eighty seven. We have one one nineteen eighty five. We have one one two thousand and ten. And we have one one twenty fifteen. All right. All right. Yeah, let's go run plants, rocking. All right, check it out. Check it out, yes. So now let's just say we have a household of four. I insured four people, same out of pocket, 1900. You guys already know that it's times two for a household. Okay, only two people need to meet it. Okay, we go to accident. All right, let's go here, guys. Look at that. The accident plan for a family of four, you were thinking it's going to be 13 times four. No, guys. I don't know what the math is, but look at four people, $18. Okay. On the sickness, the accident with the sickness, I think this one was $28. Well, you would have thought, well, there's four people, 28 times four, you know, 112. No, 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 no. 50 bucks. Or this one was $34. Look at that for the family of four, 58. And I believe, okay, I don't know the actual math, but let's just assume 30% commission. So now we go on here and let's do the 50. Let's do this. Let's say this is the one that I sell a lot of 50.24 times 12 times 0.3. My math is way off. 50 times 12 times 0.3, 180 bucks. Again, it's not chump change, guys. You can make, uh, uh, you know, you're, we're, we're for, you, you, you sold a family of four annually. Remember, let's, go, let's now go do some math, okay? So, well, I'm not gonna illustrate the math. Remember, a family of four is 916 annual commissions. You do the dental and the vision for the family of four. You make a chunk of change here. Then you go do this, this uh, sickness, the accident uh, and sickness. Now you're at, you know, another two hundred dollars. Um, guys, you're you're talking almost seven sixteen seventeen hundred dollars in commission from one deal. Guys, some very very serious money to be made here. Okay. Um, now, how do I bundle this? Okay, this is not that hard, guys. This is how I bundle. When I talk to my insureds. I don't give them the total, the, the individual prices for everything. I put it all into one price. Mrs. Smith, okay, uh, your rate, let's say that it was the dental and vision, I think it was $48. Okay, so we know her, her health care was $3 in change. We know that her dental and vision by herself was 38 or whatever, $45. And then when I ran this for her, this was 28. So I'm at a total of 76 bucks. So I'm gonna tell her, Mrs. Jones, I've put a package together that most guys, people are like cattle, safety in the herd. Nobody wants to be that one cow, that one little fish in that little pot of fish, because that one little fish is gonna get eaten. The cow's gonna get tore up by the coyotes, okay? So what happens here is the safety in the herd. Most people 
purchase this. I have a package that I put together for you, Mrs. Jones. It's about $76, okay? This package includes your medical, your dental, your vision. And then what I've put together is this package uh, on the supplemental that if you're in an accident, it will reimburse you up to $2,500. So you make money on an accident. And if you're hospitalized, it's going to write you a check for $2,500. I can do more. I can do $5,000. Okay, I can do 7,500. I can do 10,000. I can go as high as 17,500. Okay, rates a little high, but I can do whatever you like. For $76, I can get you squared away. Do you want to set this up with a credit card or do you want to set this up with a checking account? What did I just do? David, I think you're back. Can you just tell me what I just did, David? Are you there? Let's see if he's there. I think, I don't know if this text was uh, from earlier, probably from earlier. I don't think he's there. But what did I just do, guys? Did I just ask if they wanted this? I just created the assumptive close. Sell skills 101. I didn't go to business school, guys. I got my degree in the military and uh, in education. Okay. The assumptive close. I'm not a DA. <laughs> you all know what that is. Okay. So I made that a close. I, I assumed that they wanted it. Do you want to pay with a credit card or do you want to pay with a checking account? Uh, I need your routing number and account number. First one to talk loses. <laughs> and that's it. I sit back and I'm like, I'm not going to lose. Now, if they tell me I can't, I can't afford that. I thought it was going to be a little bit cheaper. W why did you think that was cheaper? That's that's pretty damn cheap. Well, I don't want dental and vision. Mm, okay, we get rid of the dental and vision. I went from seventy six to thirty bucks. All right, let's get the dental and vision out of here. I'm at thirty bucks for this package. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's do it. Bam! Give them what they want, guys. But don't offer the $3 plan. Don't offer these things broken up because you'll lose them. They're going to focus on that first plan that you give them and then you're out. Easiest way I can do it. That's how I bundle. Also, you want to take this a step further. Remember, we're dealing with under 65 insureds, mom, dad, two kids. Throw in a term, life term quote. 20 year, 150,000, 250,000, pretty darn cheap for people in their 30s and 40s. What can they say? No, I don't want it. I already got it. Most of them will say, I got it at work. It's usually a smoke screen. I got it at work. That is awesome. But did you know that if you leave your work, you're not going to take that with you? Oh, I can't. No, you can't. Very rarely can you take your workplace coverage because it's tied into your group coverage. I already know that. No, I'm not going to argue with them, but I'm going to tell them I've been around the block. I'm, I am a professional. Okay. I've been doing this for 22 years now. I think 23 now, but 22. Yeah, it is 23. Damn, I'm getting old. I know. No, it's not going to happen. But I will tell you this. Let's assume you do take it. I will promise you. I will guarantee you. I will, I will even give you my attack dog. Come here. Come on. Okay, I will promise you that if you die and you have your workplace coverage and you have my coverage, your spouse will not complain. I've never had a spouse complain that they had too much life insurance. Never. I will guarantee you. I will even double it if she complains that it, this was way too much money. I should have never gotten this death benefit. Now, you have a lot of insurance. You may have to sleep with one eye open. All right. I'm worth more dead than alive. So, uh, but still, um, never had somebody complain that they had too much life insurance. So, you can just tell them, hey, you know, it's awesome that you have workplace insurance. Very few people do. You're one of the lucky ones. But you definitely need to have one outside. So, look, I put this. This is a great plan. It's a 20-year term. It's locked in for 20 years and you have little ones. 
Okay, you've got to consider some extra coverage for, you know, in case something happens to you since you're the primary breadwinner. So for 250,000, here's your rate. Let's do this. Come on, man. Don't be so cheap. Take care of your kids. Leave them a ton of money. Change their family tree. Take care of their college education. Pay off the mortgage. Leave your spouse with a couple of years of income. Okay. Some of you new people, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wonder, have you ever heard of DIME? D-I-M-E. When you throw out a, you know, 250000 to somebody, they're like, whoa, that's way too much insurance. Insurance. Dime them. Okay. I wish David was here so we can get some live questions, but what does dime stand for? D-I-M-E. So when I get with an insured, I ask them, okay, how much debt do you have? Excluding your mortgage, credit cards, auto loans, the bookie. Give me everything. Okay. I owe 50,000. One car, some credit cards, whatever. Okay, great. Not jot down the 50K. Okay. I. What do y'all think I is? Income. How much do you make? I make 40,000. Let's replace three years of your income. 40 times three is 120. Okay, I'm at 170 grand. M. M stands for mortgage. Okay. Let's pay your house off. Why not leave your spouse and your kids with a paid off mortgage? Beautiful. How much is your house worth? 200,000. That's what I owe. Perfect. 200,000. Okay. Now E, what do you think E stands for? Education. You got two kids. Okay. Why don't we leave 50K for each one? Okay. Why not? You want to do more? Great. Maybe they want to go to a more expensive school. I don't even think 50,000 will cover a four-year education anymore. I don't know, but let's leave them 50K. So times two, that's a hundred. Guys, I'm already at 470,000. You can sell that. You want to sell somebody a half million dollar policy and they think that's too much money? Well, all of a sudden it's not. That, I, that's completely off topic, but that's how you sell higher limits of insurance. So you can add that to your cross-selling, the medical, the dental, the vision, the, the accident with the sickness or the cancer, heart attack and stroke and throw in life insurance. Why not? And if your wife sells cookies, throw in some cookies there for sale too. Why not? What do you, what do you have to worry about? All right, David, you close by. Let's see if you're here. I am ready to move on to the ACA alternatives. Okay. We'll Time see for questions. You. Okay. Let's do it, man. All right, give me one second. <clears throat> Next section, while David's getting ready, guys, we will jump into the ACA alternatives because ACA isn't for everybody. You know what? No, 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 no. No, yeah, we will. We'll do that one, and then we'll do ICRA, and then we'll finish off with marketing. All right, so while David's getting ready, guys, um, ACA alternatives. ACA isn't for everybody, guys. Every now and then you'll have somebody who we can do an alternative product that will be next. Let's get some of these questions answered, Dave. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to take this gum out of my mouth first. All right. Second of all, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't, if you've enjoyed this training, of course, we must solicit you for your Love and affection. We appreciate it kindly. It gets this uh, content out there to people who absolutely need it because you know it doesn't exist. Uh, otherwise, uh, make sure that you also request um, our freebies that Luis has mentioned. And we've mentioned earlier at davidford.com forward slash ACA now. That will get you a bunch of free information. No catch, no cost or anything like that. And um, oh, I had an email from Susan. Uh, we're going to reshare the uh, smart book link. So let me throw that in the chat. Give me one second here. Not too many questions at this point. People are starting to hit that mid afternoon, you know, drag. So oh, don't tell me I'm putting them to sleep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure not. It's just it's tough, man. It's a lot, lot of information here. People, people are used to getting high on the Kool Aid, doing jumping jacks, and you know, uh, gawking at somebody's plane. I mean, man, it's different when you actually learn something that gets results. It's incredible. I know. All right. Like, oh. 
Okay, so Beatrice, I'm de- I'm ready to enroll on your agency, but I'm stuck. Can you please contact me? Yeah, email me. Um, I will send you the link where you go, and then and when you get there, you guys got to follow and read the directions that are on the page. And then when you are, if you get stuck in that process, then email me. Tell me where you're actually stuck at, because I don't. That's it is. There's several steps along the contracting way. Then I can be of more specific help to you. And either I'm going to help you get unstuck or I'm going to help get Julie to help you get unstuck. So um, long story short, just reply back where you're stuck at. Any of the emails you get, I'll read them and then we'll help you out. Okay. Uh, what contracts are available in Wisconsin? Are we up in Wisconsin? Uh, let's find out here. Yep. Two contracts. Yeah, I remember it's a little thinner than other other states. All right. On average, how long does it take for a new agent to complete an enrollment form start to finish? And is it all done in one calendar day? Start to finish, assuming you have the intake form and you're actually processing, 10 minutes. Depends on how we, you're this kind of guy or you're that kind of guy. <laughs> yep. You're the, it's going to take you longer if you're doing this crap. Okay. Can you, um, real quick, this is from GB. Did you send me that intake form? I, you know what? Hold on here. Let me yeah. See re, why don't you resend it to me just in case? And then um, I'll just put it back on that link that people have requested. So we may have just gotten, may have, I may have just missed it. So. Uh, you know what? It's not here, David. I'm going to send we, it to you right now. We can throw it in, right? So, yeah, so guys, yeah. if you notice the intake form's not there, I'll put it in after I get done here, and then you'll have it. It'll be in the same link that everything else is in. Yep. I'll shoot you an email right now, David. Yeah, thank you. All right. Where are the freebies? Hey, Growing in Faith, daviddeford.com forward slash ACA now, and you'll get them. Uh, I'm able to get out of my ACA contracts that I have now with another FMO to sign with you guys. Um, is there a blackout on ACA releases? Yeah, releases? There, there is. But if you get a release, that's a whole other ball game, guys. So you ask your, your upline, you know, ask for a release. And sometimes I can't type and talk. But yeah, ask for a release, guys. And they, they, if you get a release, I think we can, re, we can do it, but you're going to have to get that release. Right. And there's no notice of intents in ACA either, just in case you guys are wondering, right, Luis? There's no notice of intent. No, like, you know, no, there's not. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Is the Allstate accident and sickness insurance only for ACA enrollees? No, no. In fact, oh, and I just closed that window, but no. The 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 Allstate, which is it's been rebranded, David. It was National General. It just got bought out, and they rebranded it to the Allstate product. So it's the right. same thing. But um, you know, you 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 can do short term on there. They've got dental and vision. They got cancer. They got a whole suite of products. Right. But they do not do ACA plants. So it's a supplemental. Right. Hundred percent. Uh, let's see. Lorraine likes the training. Thank you very much. We like it too. Yeah. She um, likes me. She likes me or my training. Uh, I the both. <laughs> How could they not like you? Bruce? I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it too late to get certified? No. No. To sell marketplace insurance? No. Now remember, just word of the wise here. We're out here doing this time wise, so we can facilitate that because there's still time. Now, if you watch this recording later. Maybe a different story, but right now it's like the time to start getting ready. So you're 100% fine. Now, how do you get certified? Um, you know, uh, let me um, figure that out. We had sent out a certification uh, pop up form here. I'll kind of do this in a second and then I'll share it. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll put the cert, you know, that let's do that. I'll also put the certification process in the freebies that we sent out. Okay. So I'll add that along with the intake form. So it's a slide shared, Luis, that's what you shared me, the, the FFM process. Yes, yes, that is correct. One for new agents and one. We might, actually, it's already in there. It's already in there. You put it in there. That's right. So yeah, it's already in there. Just open it up. Uh, California Diversified Insurance Services, davidford.com forward slash ACA now. Look for that guideline to do it and bada bing, bada boom. Uh, best states to work in, Luis. Oh, me. I, I, this is me, my personal opinion. 
the worst state to get into is my state. <laughs> yeah, stay, I was thinking the same thing. Tennessee is terrible too. Yeah, terrible. Stay away from Texas. Look at that. It's orange. Okay, it's not even blue. Okay, it's this weird color. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Any, they're all good guys. Um, my only uh, opinion is that I, I like easy. And right. with the one certification, you can sell in all the blue ones. Right. Now, New Mexico is an odd one because it's part of the federal, but they also have some, some training you have to do there. Um, I'm like, ah, forget it. I'm not going to even sell there. Um, but most of these other states with one certification, you're good to go. Um, I, I don't have an opinion. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm set up for all of these states right here, guys. And 90% of my sales are here. Right. I got enough business in my own state. Hey, Luis, I know I asked you about help on demand in the comments of your video. The 50 leads you got, was that from just Texas or all the state you're licensed in? No, because when you set up help on demand, it's based on your zip code. You're only getting local leads. So those people oh, wow. that I have enrolled in the 50, they're like a mile radius from my office. California Diversified Insurance Services, best training. Thank you very much for the nice words. Don, I have current ACA contracts. Do I have to renew the contract appointment for 2023 or do they roll over automatically? Contracts renew, but you do have to go get recertified. Right. And that's in, Don, the uh, little freebie stuff, davidufordcom forward slash ACA now. So look for it there to do that. Mark says or asks, will the packet include the ability to contract with the list of carriers? that Luis recommended with a packet. No, but here's what I would, when you go and this guy does the, what again, I mean, if you want a contract, you just reach out to me. I'm going to keep it. Oh simple. yeah. Yeah. When David will send you, when you go through the assurance link Bay, whatever thing to get set up and you choose the state then all the carriers will populate for that one state. Right. If you want this map, I'd be glad to share it with you. I'm going to share it with you, David. And if they, they want this map that I've been sharing, Yeah, throw that in the chat. I got it right there you, for sir. you right now, man. There you go. Send the chat. Thank you kindly. All right. All right. And maps with ACA carriers in the chat. Brent, the soothing sounds of Luis Moreno. I have that nice voice. I should be singing. <laughs> Once I get a mic, guys. You wouldn't believe how many times David's like, you know, you're done. Yeah, I got to get that old hook out and the cane and pull you <laughs> off stage. But. You need to get a remote clicker, turn, it, turn off the mic. <laughs> right. That's all right. When it's when it, when you're hot, you're hot. You got to let you roll. So nobody complains if you run a little late. So it's not bad. That is true. All right. Uh, I asked Julie about it this morning. Haven't heard back yet. Let it, Clarify that, Mark, if you don't mind. If there's any issues, just email me directly. Um, Julie's very much worked uh, to the bone right now with all these contracts going on, ACA and Medicare. Okay. Uh, Luis, that's it for now. That's it. Wow. Okay, guys, ask more questions. I love questions, okay? Plus, it helps me out with my talking. <laughs> I'm getting sore here, but we got about an hour left, so we're going to do some uh, quickie stuff here. So let's jump in, and we're going to jump right in. Luis, where do you want, when do you want me to come back? You know what, Dave? We, I, we have about an hour total. I've okay. got to hit ACA alternatives, okay. APRA, and marketing. So why don't we do it's uh, uh, 10 minutes or uh, maybe 40 minutes, and we okay. can finalize with questions. Yep. So end, end with Q&A there, and then we're wrapping up for the day, right? Perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. All right. I will be back at, I guess that would be 430? Yeah, 430, perfect. 435, my perfect. time. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, guys, let's get into the alternatives. So the alternatives for ACA, in order of my order, we'll just call it my order on this one. You have short-term short -term medical plans. The one carrier that I like to use is United Healthcare. The other one that I could recommend to you guys is Pivot, okay? Um, Get with David, he can set you up with both of those, okay? Nobody, 
I've never had an insured tell me, uh, oh, I've heard of Pivot. Okay, that's the only problem that I have. But Pivot is very, very good. I use it quite a bit, okay? Uh, United Healthcare, of course, everybody's heard of it. Um, let's get into United Healthcare with a quick quote, okay? All right, so one of our listeners, viewers here had a question of like, what about a... Um, you know, this in between jobs. Okay, so let's get in here. If I can, all right, I'm just going to run a little quickie on here. So you can do short term. Um, you, you, United has a ton of different plans, but I usually go to the Elite just because it's super easy. Uh, I can add the healthiest is you, and I can add this ProGuard. Okay, this is what I do, guys. Okay, remember those three, okay? This is my normal go-to when we're talking about. It. So on the elite, the reason I like the elite. Now, you're like, ah, that's pretty good. Well, look at the deductible, 15,000. Let's go to 5,000, something that's a little manageable. Five grand, 256. I go to the elite because it's 100% co-insurance. Super easy to understand. In the short-term medical world, outside of ACA, let's say that you choose something that is not the elite. Now I'm confusing you guys. Okay, I'll get to that here in a minute. So with this plan, five grand, 100%, the co-insurance is zero. They don't pay any more than the five grand. It's 100% afterwards up to $2 million. Okay, the issue with short term is that, look at this. This is a six month plan for 256. When I extend this to anything more than six months, seven months, rate increases. All right, 12 months is not a full year. It's one day short of a year. Okay, stupid rules, but it is what it is. Okay, you'll see here how it doesn't go for the full year. Okay, it's 12 months minus one day. Okay, but it's a major medical, guys. Okay, it doesn't cover doctors. It's got a little bit of prescription. It's It does cover urgent care, so that's a cool thing. All right, in fact, all the short-term plans with United cover urgent care. Okay, but they have to qualify, qualify medically. No pre-existing coverage will be covered. Okay, all right. The ProGuard. Very similar here. What it does is it as an accidental. So if it's an accident, it'll reimburse them for that 5,000, just like we were doing with National General. And then you can add a critical illness. So they're diagnosed with a specific critical illness. Okay, I, I got to pull the brochure up, but cancer, there's a list of critical illnesses. It will lump sum them a dollar amount, whatever you choose. It's got an accident on death benefit. Uh, let's go see here on the uh, uh, the benefits. I think this is going to pull. No, sure didn't. Let's go see critical illnesses. Here we go. Heart attack, stroke, invasive cancer, coma, paralysis, major organ tissue failure, third degree burns, in stage renal, loss of hearing, speech, or vision. Uh, so there it is. Reduced benefits for those uh, non-invasive cancers or a benign brain tumor, okay? Heart analysis, again, a reduced benefit, okay? Not bad, you can throw that in there and then you can do telehealth, 20 bucks. Now, if you're insuring mom, dad, and a couple of kids here, they're all healthy, $20 is for the whole family. It's a flat fee, not per person, per total. What this does is this gives them that, that 24 hour, seven day access to a doctor on call, teledoc and they can prescribe meds. But there's no medical, there's no prescription coverage on the short term. I know that. So you have to set them up with uh, good RX, single care, uh, cost plus drugs that belongs to Mark Cuban. You set them up with an alternative, uh, these discount plans. It's all you can do. All right, I'm gonna go back here. Here we go. Sorry. All right. Let's go back. And remember, this is this is what you have to deal with. I'm going to choose this value plan. 
okay? This is what happens in the short-term health world. So remember that on the ACA world, the deductible was built into the maximum out-of-pocket. In the short-term world, that is not the case. In the short-term world, they will pay the 5,000. They would do a 70-30 split, 70 the carrier, 30 the insured. The insured will spend an additional 10 grand on top of the 5,000. So their worst case scenario is 15 grand. You have to know that, guys. It's a key selling point for sure. Not, not a positive, but you must know that. You cannot tell them that this five grand is built into this 10,000 here. Okay, you set yourself up for failure there. Okay, that's short term. Pivot is same thing, except with pivot, guys, here's what happens. So let's plug in some data here. You know, the crazy thing about Pivot, guys, is they have a ton of different plans, but I use them a lot for my college age kids that are not on mom and dad's plan, and they need a plan because they don't want to pay for the $2,000 a semester school insurance, okay? So I will hop in here, and uh, well, this rate is higher because I chose an older person, but it, let's just say I chose an 18-year-old, I can get a plan for about 100 bucks, okay? And it's a pretty decent plan. But these guys have different plans. You have a lot of options here. You can select different deductibles, different coinsurances, different out-of-pockets, and you have the ability to choose different benefit or, or policy coverage amounts, okay? I did choose the 364 days, but if you go to the 180, and let's say they apply every six months, then the rate drops, okay? so. Uh, very, very similar to United. There is no network. The United does use utilize their choice PPO network. So it's a great option. Um, but those are your two short-term medical options. Okay, no if, if, ands, or buts. All right, before I forget, guys, I've only gotten six people to like my channel. Either you guys already like my channel or, uh, or you all don't like me. Come on, guys, go subscribe. I know you want to be better agents. I'm posting all kinds of stuff on here. Go subscribe to my channel. Come on. I want to get this thing at least to 1,100 people. So I need 94 of you guys to go on here. I don't know how many are on here, but 94 of y'all. Come on. Give me some love, people. All right. Okay, short term. So those are the two short term carriers that I use. United, um, I use uh, Pivot, National General, which is now Allstate, also has um, a short term, but it's kind of pricey. I've never used it, okay? Also, the other thing, guys, uh, I, some, some of you all have asked, uh, I do sell a course. I do sell the books. If you would, guys, I've got an ACA book. I do have a Medicare book. I have a combo uh, uh, for the two books. I do have a bundle where you can get the two books. And if you want an hour of my time to discuss whatever, you want to learn some cool dance moves. I can dance to the 80s like you wouldn't believe. I mean, it is on. It is me and you for an hour. If you want to do the bundle, you know, whatever, guys. I will, you know, it'll be your hour, your topics, whatever you want to discuss. 22 years in the business. You want a game plan for ACA. You want a game plan for Medicare. You want to talk about my presentation. The last one I did was a couple of days ago. And the guy bought my smart books. And he was like, Luis, can you help me? Now, he's not with my organization. He gets that free when he's not with my organization because I teach. But what he wanted was uh, he wanted, uh, hey, I got this book. How do I present? What are the words that you use? So we went through an entire presentation. Okay, so kind of your call, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then, of course, I sell these the, the on-demand course, okay? I get a little more in-depth, um, but you get my entire course on here. I dive down to ICRA quite a bit. Um, you know, it's $199. You sell one head, and you already made your money back, and then some. All right.
let's get going here. Okay, so let's do a little bit of ikra. All right, all right, let me catch my breath. All right, let's get some ikra. Hold on, let me pull my ikra folder. All right, so what is ikra? Give me a minute here. All right, so David mentioned that if you want to scale your sales, okay, get with David. We're going to, we, we've had these guys, in fact, on my channel, I have some uh, meetings that I've done with, uh, with the ICRA folks. Um, if you get here with, uh, with, okay, I'm not sharing yet. No, done. Oh, here we go. Okay. So ICRA guys is not insurance. ICRA, think of ICRA as a 401k. Okay. Um, the, it's a 401k of health insurance. So if you're out there in the business world, you're dealing with employers, with employees, employers, if they're 50 and over with employees, they must either pay or play. They pay penalties or they play the game and they offer health insurance, group insurance. Under 50, they don't have to, okay? Now, under 50, if they want to offer group insurance, well, they have that option. But group insurance, guys, is not cheap, Employers have to match 50% of the employee only premium. So I have a 10 man group that we enrolled yesterday. Okay. The average rate for the employee only premium was about $450. The employer has to match half of that, 225. 225 times 10 employees, that's $2,500 a month, is what this employer is having to pay. Okay, it's not cheap. A lot of times it may not even be in their budget. So with ICRA, guys, ICRA is the alternative to group insurance. Okay, so what it does, it allows an employer to set up an ICRA. Now, next bin is a TPH, a third party administrator. They go in there and they will set up the ICRA. Think of an ICRA as an umbrella. When, when, when this ICRA is implemented, it will allow the employer to contribute pre-tax funds towards the employee's health insurance. 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. Now, the employees can make a decision. They can decide whether they want to use those funds for their insurance, or if they want to use subsidies, they cannot double dip. So once an ICRA is implemented, right here, look at this question right here, guys. Well, you may not be seeing it. Hold on. Here's part of the enrollment. When there is an ICRA implemented, okay, it creates ICRA, Individual Coverage Health Reimbursement Arrangement, ICRA. Once it's created, it creates a special enrollment for every employee. When that is created, okay, we have a special enrollment. You as the agent can go in there and for every employee, you can do an ACA plan for them. They can, there is no family glitch because there's not a group insurance. The, in a, the spouse or the kids are not offered insurance. You can ACA the kids. You can ACA the whole family. And depending on their household income, they may qualify for subsidies. If they do, they choose whichever they want. They get to choose the subsidies, or they choose the employer match, whatever the employer wants to give them, okay? So they, they choose the subsidies because it's more, 
Well, the employer doesn't have to pay the 50 bucks. The employer wins, okay? Employer also wins because he implemented an ICRA and he brought you in as the agent to offer insurance. It's a win-win. The insurance win because they get an ACA plan with subsidies. They get to cover everybody. Now they get to choose a plan that is specific to them. The other plus, if they leave the employer, they take the plan with them. It's not tied to the employer. It's their own personal plan. So ICRA is it's a great deal. Um, the dollars that the employer contributes are pre-tax, which means the employer writes them off. If the employee chooses to utilize that money, the employees do not have to pay taxes on that. Okay, so it's a win-win, all right? It is an alternative to group insurance. Okay, so um, here's what we're, let's see here. There's one thing I want to show. Also, when you set up an ICRA, guys, an ICRA is set up, all right? Um, the employer can discriminate. I know that's a bad word, but the employer can discriminate. What I'm trying to do is find how he can discriminate. Hold on here. And these ICRA forms are shared with you guys. Give me a minute. Let me find the discrimination. So they can discriminate based on class of employees. Come on. No, not there. I may not have it here. Okay, let's see here. Nope, I don't have it. But uh, just to give you an idea, maybe it's here. No, it's not going to be here. Son of a gun. Okay, not here. Okay, I'll just tell you. The type of employee um, uh, classes that you can discriminate, full-time, part-time, seasonal, a geographic uh, hourly versus salary. So let's say you have a 10 man uh, uh, a 10 man group. You have one manager and nine employees. The managers on the salary, the employees are hourly. You can say the manager is going to get 500 a month. The employees get a hundred a month. You can discriminate perfectly fine. Now, if you have two people on the salary, well, both of them are going to get the 500. You can't discriminate within an employee class. You can't say, well, this manager gets 500, that's on a salary, and that manager that is on a salary gets a different amount. But if that manager is at a different location, then you can, because you can discriminate based on location. Okay, so they're seasonal, temp, uh, part-time, full-time, hourly, salary. There's 13 employee classes. Uh, I just don't have it here. Next, Ben, is just one of many TPAs that a person can use, that an agent can use. We've been doing some seminars. We're going to be hosting another one. Get with David. Let him know you want to hook up. We're going to, I have on my, my YouTube. Okay, another reason why you subscribe to my channel. And uh, next, Ben, will help you set up a a ICRA for an employer, then you go in there as the agent and you sell ACA plants. That is as complicated as this is. There's not more to this. Okay, we'll leave it at that. All right, guys, marketing. Okay, we're getting towards the end of this. David is coming on in 15 minutes and I want to talk about marketing. How do you get leads for ACA? I'm going to share with you how I get leads from ACA. Couple of things you can do, guys. All right. Come on, baby. All right. So David mentioned that we do some grassroots marketing. I, I'm all over, guys. I have partnerships that I've created with dental offices and doctor's offices. Okay. Um, I have my colleagues. Remember, I was the guy spraying the rumor there was no money in ACA. 
well, a lot of these guys still believe me. And they just call me and said, Luis, can you take care of this client? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll send you 50 bucks later. You know, we'll go have drinks and I'll buy your drinks. Uh, they just want me to take care of their clients. I get a lot of referrals like that. But a good source of, of leads that I get besides the small little chunk that I get from help, help on demand is, aha, uh -huh. you guys see this? Wondering, what are you looking at? This right here, guys, is a flea market. Who hangs out at flea markets? Low-income people usually, okay? Some people, you know, yeah, there's some high-income people, whatever. But the majority of the people in the flea market are low-income people. So, guys, super cool thing. Look, look at all these goodies, all right? So, I'm out here, a, a, one of the carriers gave me some goodies and uh you know we uh giving you know, these people love giveaways and you're like there's no way you're enrolling uh we pulled a couple hundred enrollments here guys okay now this is the beginning you kind of see it's no probably november it's not that cold uh up here or down here in san antonio um but uh usually i will take two or three of my staff and we'll, we'll do an enrollments on the spot if not, you know, you don't see this, but there is my smart book there. Uh, I've got a, uh, I've got my uh, laptop. I have my desk, my iPad. I've got intake forms and we, we are, we are ready to go. Now you're probably are thinking, man, I really love that tablecloth or how do I get that sign? Uh -huh. Give me one, un minuto, por favor. Okay. Part of the freebies that you got, guys, is I shared with you. Come on. Where's my share button? Oh, here we go. Okay. Is I have this. Okay. Uh, I have a lady here locally. She ships all around the country. Um, I told her she had the green light to utilize the materials that I have already paid for uh, on, uh, she charged me a, uh, they, they'll charge you like a creation fee or whatever. That's another way for them to make money. Uh, but when they go create something for you, uh, I've already paid for that, okay? So there's my signs, there's my tablecloth. It is reversible, Obamacare on this side, on the other side, it's Medicare. I use these stand-up banners. OK, uh, I use these. Here are my yard signs that I use, um, you know, my business cards. OK, so these are the same business cards that I use. Uh, there are the A-frames. You can order all kinds of goodies for her from her. She'll ship all around the country. She's got magnet buttons. Uh, this is who I've used for years. Um, you know, she's pretty good. OK, so. Uh, you can look her up here. There's her website. You can use the little QR code thing here to uh, get with her. And I believe uh, there's her email, right? Uh, is it? Yeah, there's her email. So you can hit her up, let her know that you're coming from me and, uh, you know, she'll know what to do. You, you can get whatever you want, guys. So beautiful thing there. Okay, I'm going to share another picture of something else that I do. Come on, where is it? I thought that I had that son of a gun. Okay. I don't have it ready. Maybe it's in another folder. Hold on, guys. So I'm coming. Hmm, man. I, I also am at a retail store. I had a picture of my retail. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is not mine, but this is a. Uh, uh, this is a, another insured. So she has a Medicare booth, but look at she took my cards. No, not my card. She took my sample. So she's selling health insurance. There's health, ACA, life insurance. So she's at a. It looks like it's a maybe a community center. So I think that was pretty cool. 
oh, there's my booth. There are my people. So there, I'm at a local grocery store here and uh, I'm taking the picture. I take a couple of people here and then, it, yes, it is a Medicare type deal, but we're ACA and all day long where we're here. Okay, let's see if I got some other ones. Uh, no, I think that's all I got. I'm sorry. I wish I had some more pictures to share with you, but I do not. Okay. So anyway, that's what I do, guys. Um, you, know, you can take advantage of that. Now, the biggest thing that I do is I do social media advertising. Okay. I run a lot of Facebook ads. Okay. I also use the heck out of my CRM. So here's what I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. It is a pitch, but you guys, you got to do something. Okay. Uh, you, you don't think that you're going to put up signs and people are going to walk in. You got to do something for ACA. I think social media is huge. So a couple of things I'm going to share with you. All right. Number one, guys. Um, I use agent CRM as my primary tool. Okay. This is a marketing tool. All of my social media leads automatically come into here. Okay. Use my link. David should have shared this with you. But if you decide to enroll with Agent CRM, you just got to tell them I'm coming from Luis Moreno. Give them my name. I had a meeting yesterday with Alex, the owner of Agent CRM. And uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to send myself a code so I can get in. Give me a minute here. There it is. Okay. Five one eight four one two. Okay, so um, it is a great tool, guys. This thing, this agent CRM thing, um, it's the same price whether you use my link or not. But when you use my link, I'm going to give you some goodies, guys. Yes, I get a little referral fee. Hey, we're all in business, okay? Um, but you get a lot of tools with this thing, okay? Uh, and the rate is going up. It's forty seven bucks right now, guys. Okay, uh, tomorrow. It's going up to $99, okay? They're raising the rate. They're not going to be like everybody else. But this thing is a email tool. It's a texting tool. Um, it is a smart CRM. It does a lot of things, automated things. It's a pipeline. Uh, it's a dialer. You can build a website or funnel pages. Uh, it's got a mobile app. It includes Zapier. Um, they come loaded with a lot of different funnels and campaigns already. Um, look at some of the big boys that are using it already. Okay. And this is what I love about these guys. You see this right here, guys. Um, they have Zoom calls, 7 a.m., 2 p.m. Pacific. You hop in on one of their calls and they will help you. I'm on here all the time because I'm always trying to figure something out or I get a new idea. So I'm always on here. Uh, you know, hey, here's my issue. They they remote into my computer and they Fix, fix or do whatever I ask them to. Awesome, guys. Okay. Once you're in here, guys, okay, there's a lot of things you can do. But here is what I'm going to share with you. The biggest thing is when you go run social media at leads, what do you do with them? Okay. So here is what I do with them. Let's see here. Give me one minute. All right. First of all, I want to share this with y'all, okay? You may not see it, but uh, let me unshare and reshare. Okay, so the, the this has already been sent to them, but I'm sharing, saving this. They have the instructions. When you drop my name or you use my link, they're going to give you the opportunities, which is the pipeline, my ACA pipeline. You're going to get my ACA workflow. And then you're going to get these templates. And if I create other things that I think are going to work, I will give all that to you guys. Okay. So you do not have to recreate the wheel. All right. Now, check out my workflow. Okay. So this is something that I've built. It, uh, all my leads use this workflow. 
And I'm going to give it to you guys. All you got to do is tweak it out. Okay. When somebody goes to my ads that I'm running on Facebook and they submit their info, I I give them a tag for marketing purposes. I assign them to a user. I send myself an email and I send my, my team an email and a text message and I create an opportunity. All that is done. I get a text message that says, Luis, you just got a lead. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find one. We've gotten several. Um, you, can, you can crank this up as much as you want. Uh, let's see here. All right, don't be calling my lead, guys. <laughs> if I can open it up. Come on, really? Ah, it's not responding. Okay, here we go. Not sure if you see this. I'm going to reshare, but I got this lead came in um, today at 1.38. So I get an email that says, hey, it went to me and to Ivan, who works here in my office. Hey, guys, we just got a, we got a lead from Facebook. Ashley, here's her email and here's her phone number. Okay. She went on here and and I this this we got a notification that, that was by email. We also got by text. So we could be out and about and I get this text, I can call immediately. Okay. Then what it does, guys, it sends them out a text message immediately with this information as soon as it populates. Hey, so and so, thank you for requesting a quote. La la la. It sends them an email. Okay. I included a picture of my office and my team here so they know that I'm real. I give a 10-minute window because that's the time that we're going to be calling. All this is happening instantaneously. It's immediate. Then what I do is I do some a series of 10 text messages, and they're all different. 10 text messages, 10 emails over the course of 15 days. I'm going to give that to you. You just guys have got to tweak it out. Next thing. Okay, opportunities. This is a pipeline. Okay. I've created this. When a lead comes in, it automatically comes into my pipeline. It sits here. There's actually this lead that just came in. Okay, we obviously haven't obtained any information. Uh, we haven't sent any quotes yet. But when we do, we can grab her and move her to different places. We haven't done that yet. Okay. Um, there's different things I can do here. I can assign a dollar value to her. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do. But this is a visual of what is happening to these leads. This right here, guys, I share with you. The other thing that I can do, my, uh, you, I also, a, a contact is also automatically created. There she is. Okay. I can email her. Uh, I don't want to share too much here, but I can send her some templated emails. Okay. Those are the other emails that I have on there. I can text her from this CRM. I can do all kinds of things from this CRM, guys. It is a beautiful tool. If you get it today, it's 47. Use my affiliate link. Guys, it's here. All right. David will also post it. Again, you're getting all the tools, you're getting their support. They have a library where you can do uh, your own training at your own pace. Um, you know, if, if for $47, even if for $97, it is a heck of a tool. Now, the next thing, well, I want to learn how to do Facebook. Like, how do I do that? The, I, I've been doing it for years, but I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Can't even spell insurance. So uh, the lady who helped me out, ah, I can get in here for me. There she is. Okay. So guys, we have, oh, hold on guys. I can't get to the right screen. So the lady who did my, my training, okay. Let me see if I can, who, who created my course or not created my course, who did all of the training for me, what she did, let's see if this works, okay. So she helped me create a course, okay? It is not cheap, guys, all right? But 
you are going to generate your own leads. Okay. In this course, guys, I, I, I take part of it. Okay. I help her out. She is going to train you completely. This is Shauna right here. She is going to train you a hundred percent. That's what she does for a living. She knows nothing about insurance. She is going to train you. She's going to take you step by step from Facebook to creating your business page to setting up your ad manager to running, setting up all the parameters, your audience and everything that needs to be done so you can run ads. Okay. And then um, we have sample ads that we utilize, but we don't want to all use the same ad because it's going to drive up all of our cost. We have shared with you, or she will share with you a folder with other ads that are out there that are running. Some that I have uh, snapped pictures of. She'll show you how to spy on other people's ads so that you can gather inspiration so that you can um, create your own specific ad for yourself. Now, so she does this 100%. This is all her show, okay? Then what she does, okay? Then what she does is uh, I have a portion of this. I am going to teach you, okay? Look at some of the cost of the leads that she's been generating. Me personally, my lead cost for an ad, for leads, I spend 50 bucks a day. And I don't spend the entire 50, but that's my budget. And I'm getting leads between four to seven dollars. Before her, my lead cost was between 10 to 18, depending on what I was doing, depending on the time of the year. I was, uh, it was, it was uh, pretty pricey. Okay. So um, it, it was tough. So if you want to, you can get with her. You can, I'm going to, I'm going to share with David this link and he can share it with you guys. Okay. Uh, she'll share it. You can, you, you can get this done and she's going to show you how to generate leads. Now, does it matter what you're selling guys? We're gearing this for ACA. You want to run Medicare. You, you are, you're going to have the tools so that you can run Medicare. You'll have the tools so you can run auto. If you want to do auto insurance, home insurance, life insurance. Um, but we are gearing this for ACA guys. You've got to get yourself in front of a ton of people. Guys, you hit the enroll now and you'll get, it's $9.97. You're like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Think of it, guys. Okay, think of this. Okay, this $9.97, all you need is you need four heads. That's it. You need to write four heads to make that. So you need one good lead and you've broken even on this cell. So you will make your money back, all right? The other deal that we are going to have as part of this is I'm, I did an entire uh, uh, agent CRM training on here. So I give you all these tools so that you get the same automations, you get the same instant uh, uh, internal notification. So you, you have access to um, this tool, this agent CRM. You still have to go and purchase it, but you will be able to use my tools so that you can start generating a ton of leads, but also have the ability to use agent CRM to market or to work for you. So you're not working smarter uh, and uh, you're working smarter and not harder. So uh, guys, it, it is, she's broken this thing down beautifully. Uh, she calls it insurance click to close. Guys, I'm telling you right now, I'm generating leads between four to $7. If I do my math, Okay, which I've done. I'm always about numbers. I at, at, I'm going to go ten dollars. Okay, I'm going to go the high end. If I'm generating ten dollar leads and I'm making an average commission, remember the low number, twenty bucks, twenty, one head times twelve. I mean two hundred forty bucks, guys. I have to close, and if my lead cost is ten bucks, I have to close one out of twenty four leads to break even on my social media marketing. Guys, I close 30 to 40% of my leads. And then plus I'm cross-selling the heck out of them. And that's only one head. What if I enroll mama and daddy and two kids? Well, I just blew this thing out of the water. One out of 24 
to get my return on the investment of my ad course or my ad budget. That is incredible, guys. Now, if you start generating leads in the four to seven dollar range, well, the numbers are going to get bigger. At five dollars, you got to close one in forty-eight leads. Jesus, I mean, it is, it is, it. Oh man. So, guys, you got to find a way to generate social media. We did have a lady who's been running it. Uh, Ashana came. It's not her system, but she came up with this dynamic ads where Facebook chooses the the content and, and, and oh there's more to it way way beyond me but hell if i'm generating four to seven dollar leads guys you know i don't care i'm making money okay i will amp up my lead budget during aep or oep probably in the next couple of weeks i'm going to start upping it to 100 bucks because i want to start raking them in okay um and so if you're wondering how i get the majority of my business that's what i'm doing so, David, I'm ready. I'm good to go. Um, I shared that affiliate link with you for the uh, the uh, the um, social the uh, the Facebook ad course. If you want to share it out there, um, but I'll wait for David to hop in on here. And you know, guys, you, you got to figure out how you're going to market. Um, grassroots is awesome. Get out there and knock on doors. Uh, you can do a lot of sweat equity kind of stuff that just costs you your time and your effort knocking on doctor's doors, dentist doors. Um, you can door, you can go, you know, I've done door to door. I have little door hangers and that put brochures in there. I used to go to apartment complexes back in the day and hang those on apartment complexes. Then I get pe people chasing me. I, I can run pretty fast. Okay. Nobody ever caught me. Um, so you can do all kinds of things like that, but you can't beat the social media ads. For ACA, Medicare, life, they're beautiful. David, we're rocking, man. I covered everything. Okay. Um, oh, the last thing. Oh, dude, don't I do that all the time, right? But there's one more thing. Yes, all the time. Because I, yes. I, I just saw it. Just saw it in my in my outline here. Medicare agents, you guys sometimes fall for this. There is no magical attorney sixty five list. If somebody tells you there is. They're 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 trying to not hoodwinking. What what would be a good term? But I think they're they're trick they're trickery. It's Halloween almost. They're playing tricks on you guys. <laughs> trickery. Okay. There is no turning sixty five list. But if you do ACA, you create your own organic turning sixty five these that are yours. And, and Medicare agents, you guys go crazy over new to Medicare because we're making you business commissions. Oh, yeah. Double the commissions. So, yeah, you want to build a, uh, a database of turning 65 people? Here you go, guys. Do ACA. So we're wrapping it up here, Luis. We are ready to finish it up, take some questions, and then... I'm super ready, man. And all today. All right. On the chat, I did share the, the uh, Facebook ad course if you want to post it out there. Sure. Put it out there, Facebook ad course. Come here, come here. Let me get my my uh, support. Chiquita. Yep. Yeah. Get Chiquita. Sub oh. uh, Luisa's support dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's, she's very vicious. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, Chiquita's that. been waiting. Look at old, old Chiquita there. Oh, yeah. This is, this is uh, the office dog. <laughs> But, you know, it's funny, all the years that I sold face to face, the only dogs that would bite me were that size dog. You know, it's just funny. Oh, she's mean. She's got Look mean. at her. Vicious. <laughs> Last night, she was uh, sleeping with my boy, and I went to go grab her to take her out. And she was like, I'm like, really? You're growling at me? Are you, do you? And I turned the lights on to make sure she knew who she was growling at. No, she did not want to get off my boy's bed. That's good. Good. Dogs are loyal. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I love her having her here. We got a good bit of questions left here and, and we'll kind of guys wrap it up from here. So again, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, please consider doing so. I'm looking at my, uh, my board here at 191. If we can get it to 200, that'd be fantastic. So, so if you like what you've seen today, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down, I mean, whatever. It's fine with both yeah. of us. Right? We'll lift. David, I would love feedback. If I suck, I want to know what did I do wrong? <laughs> 
go find me, go find a better trainer. I want to, I want to go, I want to see my, what my competition. That's right. All right. So let's go ahead and go through the chats here. And then once we get to the bottom of this, we'll be done for today. We are done. It's middle uh, time. Is, is there one carrier over another that you write most of your business with, Luis? My Medicare sales, Humana is like 70% of my book of business. Yes. Once you get rolling and you get all your carriers, you're probably going to gravitate to the lower, the lowest base premium plans in your county. Okay. These plans are county specific. So I'm in San Antonio. Most of my business for 2022 was with Friday and United Healthcare. They're the two lowest plans. Okay. Right. So it's going to, it's going to fluctuate year by year. Right. Right. Okay. Let's keep going. Where do we find the map for the carriers per state? I did post that above. It's the Messer Financial Group one. Just scroll back about an hour ago and look for my post. You'll see it there. Um, okay. Can someone now get insurance outside of open enrollment? Uh, her prospect has been away from her former employee now for two years. She drives Uber and needs insurance. Can I sign her now? If, if so, what type of SCP? I mean, we can here in at least a month from now, worst case, right? Worst case, you write her during the open enrollment with an effective date of 1-1. That's worst case. If she's an Uber driver, Uber driver she's probably not rolling in the dough. Okay. She's probably low income. So use my low income chart. If she's single, she's got to be, well, regardless of how many in the household, she's got to be between the 100 to the 150% window. And if she fits that category, you can SCP her into a plan right now. Awesome. Okay. And we talked about marketing. So I think we, we discussed that. I'm going to do one more. This is a trick. This is an insider trick. All right. All right. I shouldn't be saying this, but oh, well, we're all agents. And, you know, um, this is only on YouTube forever, Luis. So go ahead. Ooh, no, no, no. Betty, I'm not saying it. <laughs> just, just email Luis directly. Yeah, He'll email you. me. There you go. Can I offer the dental vision and, and term life package to clients referred to me from the federal market? Can I email what 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 packet? Do you talk about the summary of benefits, maybe? I think what she's talking about is is referrals from that call in from doing the online health insurance healthcare.gov site. Can you cross sell them? Oh, you can cross sell anything. There is it's not Medicare. So if you want to cross right. you, you know, Medicare, there's guidelines, ACA, cross sell whatever you want. You want to cross sell cookies? Rock and roll. All right, just scrolling through here. Is ICRA available in Colorado? But the answer is yes. I mean, it's available everywhere. Nationwide. Right. It is in Florida, Mark. I was just contacted by Brandon Group for CRM. Is this group connected with you for CRM? Yes, it is. Okay. Yep, they're all over. They're they're great. They're they're it's an insurance-based CRM, guys. So yeah, just if you get something direct from just notify them that. You know, drop my name drop. And then what they'll do is they'll start loading the, the those things that I shared with y'all. The, the templated emails, the workflow, and the pipeline. Is ECRA a good health and, uh, coverage choice for a small business owner that can't afford major coverage? Well, remember, ICRA is not insurance, guys. It is an umbrella. Okay, so if you implement... Now, there is a cost to this umbrella. Okay, so it's not free. But it's not super expensive. There's a initial... I think a couple of hundred dollars to implement it. And there's a per employee, I think like $25 per employee. Then what you as the agent, you're going to go inside that business. Now that they have the ICRA established, they have a 60 day special enrollment window and you're going to do ACA plans for every employee. The employer, small business under 50 can, can offer un, what's the word? It's, um, there's two types of contributions, uh, affordable, unaffordable, affordable contributions, unaffordable. They pick, they just say they want to give them 10 bucks a piece. They can do that. Now you go in there, you do ACA and let's say their subsidies are a hundred dollars or $300, whatever it be. Well, they, obviously they're going to choose the subsidies over the 10 bucks. So yes, for an employer with limited budget, a hell of a deal. And, and for me personally, if you took my, my agency away, my YouTube channel, my business away, and I had to get back into the business and sell insurance, I would be doing small business, using ECRA, 
looking for SCPs on ACA in a scaled up manner. To me, it's like every single business owner is a hot prospect. You don't need you don't need to buy leads. You just need to say a few words about what are you doing for health insurance? You open minded seeing if you can save money. Nine out of 10 are going to say, hell yeah. <laughs> Ask a business owner that that pays payroll and has uh, expenses. They want to hear about this plan. It's brand new. And the beauty of this is that there are a lot of companies that are small businesses that don't have any group health insurance that would love to do it that don't know about this, that you could sell this and scale it one to many. You get in the door to also sell life insurance, dental, dental vision, hearing, just like Luis talking about at a scaled capacity, all without lead costs. And you get the most lucrative prospect, which is the small business owner, the guy or gal that has money, has loans, has an income that's growing, that's improving, that you get to build a relationship with that will also pro provide to be extremely fruitful. To me, ACA and the small business capacity going in is, is the hottest market to be in. That's what I would be doing right now. I'd be putting all of my emphasis on building that up for the next couple of years when everybody realizes how great it is. The beauty of this thing, David, is a ICRA is one year old. Yeah, it's brand new, guys. Brand new. Nobody, I mean, I didn't even hear about it. I had my accountant bring it to my attention. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's business. It's not out there yet. So we are, it's just like, it's budding and it's, oh supposed to take over group insurance because it, it will is, group insurance is stupid it is now it's really stupid it's if you stupid. get you, if you uh, you know my my group renewals are 30 to 40 percent rate increases and these employers are like god what is wrong with them I'm like well let me shop it and even when i shop it i can't get them anything better right so yeah it's nuts guys and you i believe when you lose so and if for some reason the aca change i think you can get back on the group health insurance. There's a special election period. It's all it's all very safe play to do uh, when you talk to employers. And, and one thing I'll mention, a, a, a perfect example, I have a gentleman, Matt, locally here in Chattanooga, uh, Luis. We we, he sold on this. He went from Medicare to ACA. And he is, he's not done as much as I think he could do or should do. But when he took what we were talking about going to small businesses, he literally looked out his office window and he said, OK, I'm going to call on a couple of places. He's closed three deals outside his window. <laughs> and I mean, they're small deals, but they're huge deals in the sense of one was a dentist's office, six or seven employees. Another was a collision center, nine or 10 employees, all of them on ACA plans now, all of them now the agent of record. All of them have spouses and kids. So there's more heads per plan that he's creating lifetime residual income. He is their agent. Somebody asked earlier, well, what about agent of record changes? How hard is it going to be to change? Uh, how much more difficult is it going to be to do that when you are the agent of the company that they work at? This oh, yeah. is the kind of stuff that that improves persistency. Yeah. And, and you kind of eliminate the company. You get their permission. You're right there. Yeah. Let yeah. me go. Let me let me review your plan. And you hop these, in there. These were cold calls, guys. He just walked in and introduced himself. No leads necessary. No expenses. Now, your agents, these viewers are probably going to say, well, I would love a script. Guys, you don't need to script it out. Just walk in. 30 minute, 30 second elevator speech. OK, yeah. this, the, it, it can be as simple as, um, you know, hey, what do you do for your group insurance, your health insurance? And they'll be like, I don't have any. Oh, my God. That's the easiest one. Yeah. What, what, what if I could show you a way to pay? you know, up to 75% less than group health insurance, because that's the objective you'll get at, rejection you'll get after that. As I've looked at it, it's friggin' expensive. You know, right. well, what if there was a way to give your client, your agents or your, your employees quality health insurance at no cost to you or at very little cost, you know, fraction of what group health would be? Would, that, would you be interested just looking at it for 10 minutes? You're probably going <laughs> to say this, follow me. Let's go yeah, right. my they will. That, yeah. That's what I'm telling. That's, that's why I'm kind of going on and on about this, because me being a business owner, you being a business owner, we all know business owners and what they complain about most is health insurance. They know it's important. They don't want to pay it. And um, but they have to because every employer needs benefits to kind of corral their people in so they don't leave. Benefits are an important part of the package to keep employees. Yeah, I, I had a uh, on that story, Dave, I had a uh, uh, catering company. They lost their head chef. That's like losing your main employee yeah. or another business. That paid them less, but they had group health insurance. So the owner, who is the coach of my daughter's team, was like, "Man, you got to help me out. I have a backup chef, and of course, not not as good as the first one. But if I lose this guy, who's going to cook the food?" 
Right. He's right. done. He's like, man, help me. And of course we went in there with a group and he's like, dude, I can't afford this. And this is like, I'm like, well, let's ICRA. Let's go ICRA. We went ICRA and we wrote ACAs and he's contributing and beautiful. Perfect. ICRA is not covered. It's a secondary subsidy program that uses market plate plans, which are good plans, right? Do you have to have the G2 certification to do health Facebook advertising the same way you do with YouTube? No. Okay. Well, I don't even know what G2 is. Yeah, me neither. Maybe Stephen will explain for us. Do yeah. I need permission from carriers to sell ACA at a public location? No. I am captive agent selling Medicare, but ACA is attractive. Signing up with you for ACA, would that be a conflict of interest? Not one bit. Don't, Even if like if you're worried about like, oh, I have United Healthcare for Medicare, the United Healthcare for ACA is a completely different contract. Right. Right. Those hips, hospital indemnity plans don't lie. <laughs> the, they, are we right talking there. Shakira here? I, I don't know. Lie. I like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If I could play some music, I would right now, David. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, don't don't let me lose my uh my monetization now. I know. I won't, <laughs> I won't do it. Speaking of hips, you've seen Anthony write all those hips lately on Medicare. Uh, he he's, is he's crushing it, man. Fire. Man, this guy's making some money. Guys, you you know, hips, these indemnity plans with National General. If you're in the Medicare world, here's another thing, guys. You Medicare agents, if you're not hipping your people, you better get with David. He'll hook yeah. you up with Heartland National and GTL. You need to be offering hips. Watch some of my videos. In fact, we're uploading one that I did yesterday with the uh, vice president of Heartland. We, we did a couple of videos on the hip. Go watch them, guys. Um, you're going to uh, you're gonna love the... Uh, the, the extra money, but the way we round out that hospital indemnity plan to look like a med set. Right. Can I contract with us for ICRA and remain captive with Flo with FL Florida? Um, Since say, I cannot do an intent letter. Uh, I mean, ICRA is not something you contract with on. It's just a, it's just a tool. Uh, you're going to have, if you want our training and support, of course, Virginia, on that, you got to work with us on the ACA side, of course. Yeah, the ICRA guys. Remember, it's it's a it's a benefit that you implement. You need right. a third party administrator because they have tools that help provide all the IRS documents that are required, the monitoring of the funds that the employer could or could not contribute. You know, there's that. that it's like a four hundred one k. So the TPA, which is where we're kind of, you can use whoever you want. Next Bend seems to be really wanting to work with us. You can use them, right. and uh, they implement it. They don't sell insurance. That's the beauty. A lot of these other TPAs, guys, they sell insurance too. Yeah, so careful. Stay away from those. Next bin will not sell, which means it allows you to go in there and uh, do the ACA plans for those employees. David, I had to leave for a bit. How do you get across to folks that they won't pay anymore going through you versus enrolling themselves online? So this would be the objection, object, objection like, I'm just going to roll online so I have to pay you a commission. How do you deal with that? Yeah, you just need to tell them, you know, slap them like it's the same price. You know, let's do this. Go on there, go 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 get a quote on healthcare.gov because that's the only place they can do it. They go to healthcare, let them get the quote there, and then you run a quote. If the parameters are the same, the premium should be the same. Okay, they should. If if the the household is different, if the income is different, of course you're going to have different numbers. But apples to apples, the rates will be the same. Julie says, is there any place to get one-on-one -on -one or classroom training on ACA? This guy with us, <laughs> that's what we do. That's you can do join us to, to sell these products. And of course we have live training, classroom modules, et cetera, to watch. Uh, we've done a Medicare one. If you want to go back and look at that, that was like eight and a half hours long. We went long on that. So uh, check for that. Um can you also use any loss of coverage since January of 2020 to get an SCP? Can you use what again, Jeff? Any loss of coverage since 2020? Mm -mm. It has to be within 60 days. 60 day look back. Okay. 60 day look back. Brent says, Luis is great, but John Grumble is a brilliant trainer. You don't know John Grumble, do you? No, I don't. But I heard my name in there, so that's good. I'll take it all down. Yeah. Definitely better than John. Oh. <laughs> Not hard to do that, though, but yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, we're rolling. It's positive. I, take any, I even take negative comments because you know what? They're going to make me better. 
That's right. Brent, what do you think? John's out there actually making phone calls and working today? Because I haven't heard one peep out of him. It's weird. Yeah, he said he was on the couch and was going to watch this. And maybe I put him to bed. I hope not. No, he's. I don't have my phone. I think he was here. He'd let you know. It's one of those guys. If ACA plans are county specific, could an SCP be created for people displaced by Hurricane Ian? Yes, uh, Ian. Excuse me. They'll 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 blast it out there if there's a special election for disaster. There's a ton of them for Medicare, but for ACA, mm, I haven't seen a disaster SCP. You think there's one coming for with this hurricane for Florida? No, because we're not in enrollment season right now. Now, if this happened for during, Medicare, the oh, oh Medicare probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised for Medicare, but for ACA, no. Right. Okay. Right, because it didn't happen during ACA, which may have ex- yeah, gotcha, perfect. Right. Like with COVID, I think the same thing happened a couple years ago, right? Wasn't there something extended? You know, they 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 extended it, I think, and then they also. If I'm correct, the uh, the site kept going down. Something was happening, so they gave people a couple extra days. It's yeah. rare in the ACA market. Right. Uh, is ECRA limited by number of employees? I mean, just one's all you need, right? Yeah. As long as it's a true group, uh, I think, yeah, you can have a one-man group and you're good. What's qualifier for ICRA? None. You, you know, no, there's nurse. You're an uh, employer. Employer. <laughs> Business, you have to have a business. You can't, you know, yeah, you can't do it on yourself. Right. Let's see here. Uh, who sets up the ECRA, the third party administrator? We help facilitate the process. Do it all. They it's earn their good. money from yeah. the setup fee and the monthly that the employer is going to be paying for each employee. Okay, that's their money. You make money when you sell the ACA plants underneath that ICRA. How do we compete with the agents that are just coming out of the woodwork for the AEP season? Is direct mail just to solve this time of year? I'll, I'll answer that since it's not a ACA question. You exactly the same, Eileen. I mean, uh, you care more. You work harder. You know, it's it. I don't know how other way to say it than you just you be the best agent that you can be for your area. You know, and how that's defined is taking care of your clients, writing the best deal. Yep. And, and, and yeah, yeah, that person has a point, David. They're all going to come out of the woodwork. But guess what? Yeah, you know, they're all going to go back in their home as soon as AEP is over. So you need to stay out there all year long. So G2 is required on YouTube to run health advertising and as a cost for sale. Yeah, we I don't think do you know what G2 is? I'm unfamiliar with it. I'm running Facebook ads. Here's the only deal on Facebook ads, guys. As soon as you start using the words Obamacare, it's I think it's classified as a political topic. So you're going to have to go through one more step of identification. Uh, What I had to do a couple of years ago is I had, it was when uh, the election was going on. And so you had the Russians going in here and doing all kinds of crap. So Facebook cracked down on political stuff and they made you verify that you were in the U S. So I went in there, clicked the button. They, I had to wait a week for a postcard to arrive to my house with a code. And then I entered that code and that proved that I was living in the U.S. And then they cleared it. But that was only during the time when we were having the elections. As of right now, I don't think anybody's had that issue. Can you write ECRA or work with ECRA if not every employee wants it? Yeah. Yes. So if you do ECRA, you, you implement it and then you have 10 employees and two don't want it. Maybe one of the employees is on the other spouse's plan and somewhere else or whatever. It's fine. You don't have to wait to sell ECRA. You can start it right away. ICRA and group insurance do not have enrollment seasons. So you can do group insurance all year long. You can do ICRA, implement the ICRA, and then that ICRA creates an SCP, which lasts 60 days. But you can implement that ICRA in April if you want to. Steven says that can go high numbers with employees, but you will have to have required amount of employees in each class based off of the number of employees. Like if you had 200 employees, you have to have 20 in each class you set up. Mm, don't know. That would be more of a TPA question. I, I stay out of those rules because I'm an insurance agent. I just want to sell insurance. I let the TPA do their thing. When a new lead comes in, what's the fast way to qualify a lead? Pick up the phone and set an appointment. You, you know, I shared my workflow. 
guys, my people are getting, my leads are getting those two text messages through that agent CRM workflow. What I do is we call them, hey, David, this is Luis. You just went on my Facebook ad and requ requested insurance. I'm, let, let's rock and roll. So, David, tell me, what, what are you looking for? And you, and you start the conversation. That's the fastest way. Okay, and you just jump right into the conversation. David, you're probably going to say, well, I want to get some quotes for insurance. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do this. David, get, I need to get some information. I need the basics. before For me to run rates for David, I need to know his zip code. I need to know who wants insurance in his house. I need to know how many people are in his household and tax return. And I need to know his household income. Then I'm going to run stuff. David, by the way, is there a doctor that you, uh, it's super important you've got to keep? And then what about any meds that you, your wife, or your kids are taking? You know, that, that uh, that's necessary that we must. So I'll go plug them in like I showed you guys on Health Sherpa. And then I'll start hunting for a plan. David, I found a plan for you. It's got your docs and it's got your meds. This is a rate. You ready to go? David, you like it? David says, yes. Okay, David, here you go. Um, I've got my intake sheet here. Uh, I need your all socials. Boom. Or I can email it to David and David fills it back out, sends it to me. We're good to go. And uh, you know, I can't write him without socials. I, I can, but I don't want to. I'd rather get all the data. Will the low income subsidy continue in 2023 after open enrollment? Many years to come. Three year extension, guys. The, the American Rescue Plan enhancements to ACA, which were, about, were, which were supposed to end at the end of this year have been extended for three more years because of the Inflation Reduction Act that just passed. So we got three years of this beautiful ACA thing that, that we can offer. Take advantage of it, guys. What marketing would you suggest for ACA and Medicare for this enrollment period? Facebook. Um, Facebook, direct mail for uh, Medicare. 100%. Med, you can also run Facebook ads for Medicare, but you've got to be general. For ACA, you can put whatever you want. Zero dollar health plans, all, you know, whatever. You can, nobody cares on the ACA world. Uh, Medicare, super specific or super generic. Confused about Medicare. Uh, you want to review your plans. Be, you know, nothing specific on Medicare, but direct mail is king when it comes to Medicare. There's an SEP that any loss of coverage since the pandemic started an SEP, um, if they could not enroll due to the hurricane, then yes, most likely. This is Stephen kind of talking about the SEP possibility due to the hurricane. Medicare ACA. I believe ACA. Mm -hmm. Loss of coverage since the pandemic. Well, loss of coverage will create an SEP. You have to have the loss of coverage within 60 days. Whatever it is, whatever the reason was there, you know, it, and it, it can't, you know, uh, here, here's the, uh, the crazy thing is that um, short term, they used, to, they used to be very, very specific on that loss of coverage. Now it's pretty general. Right. Julia, hey, no, no worries. She says, I've been here all day. Thank you. I really appreciate you. The only and, uh, one. She should get a. a I know, package. right? <laughs> However, as a new agent, much of this is covered way too quickly. 100%. This is why it's recorded. You can go back. We're going to maybe over the next week, I'm gonna, we're going to put timestamps for each of the modules and different like uh, micro subject matter. So you can kind of go, go back and click at the relevant information you want to uh, hit on. So we totally understand. Like, this is the opposite of what you normally get in the insurance business. Usually you just get a bunch of motivational. Uh, highs that end pretty quickly and you're not any more advanced but this stuff is actually what you need the skills to pay the bills and uh, it takes time to learn this stuff but here's your repository of an amazing business that you can actually substantively take and employ in your own business so yeah take the time to go through it absolutely that's why we're recording this and you can go back and watch it and guys i did not water this down okay no, i don't think so you take this you are good to go. Now it takes practice to quote, takes, takes some, you know, even if you were sitting down with here and I was training you, you're still going to need to practice, run actual quotes, process applications. Here's the beauty. If you're with us, I'm stuck. You can call me. If you're not with us, call your upline. They're probably not going to answer. <laughs> All right. I will. 
if I'm with a client that will, or like an, an event like today, well, you'll be talking to one of my trained staff. We're going to help you. But that's one of the big pluses. David, let's talk about why us. Sure. Okay. So why us? We have a platform where we train and support. Guys, everything is in there. We are running trainings three days a week. On, on Tuesdays, uh, we do a Medicare sales and marketing. On Wednesdays, I do ACA. It's my course, five weeks, and we recycle it every four to five weeks. Thursdays, Medicare 101. Guys, this is happening all year long. Unless I'm on vacation, rare scenarios, we don't do it, but we're pretty consistent with that. You don't get that out there. Next thing on our platform, we got agents posting questions that are not time sensitive. What's considered not time sensitive is when you're not in front of a client and you got a deal hanging. Okay. You have a generic question. How do I do this? Or what about that? We post it on there. Uh, I go in there. I look at it. I answer. But we have got some smart agents in our group. We got some heavy, heavy hitters. These guys are on there. They love to share and they support you. So they're, you know, they're in there. I'm just watching it, making sure everything is good. So you have that. And then I tell agents, look, when you're part of us, you get me. Okay. Yeah, I'm busy, but I make the time. Okay. You'll be able to use, call me or text me. And I'm the guy who's going to unstuck you when you're stuck. Okay. That's it. So you're usually my calls are one minute, David, one minute calls. Hey, Luis, I'm with John Smith right now and we're stuck. Give me your question. You give me the question, I'll give you the answer, click. And <clears throat> I want to I address this objection that agents will have. I mean, people have been here all day. They saw your certificates of how much you've sold the last couple of years. you got a pretty big book. You made People don't also know that you run the Medicare side and you've got a PNC agency. How are you even capable of taking a phone call? Can you take a moment to explain that? Oh, I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Great question. Hold on here. Oh, please tell me I've got this here. Yeah, you're probably wondering, there's no way this guy can do this. Okay. I'm going to share with you why. All right. Come on, baby. Where are you? I'm going through. I need to have this thing ready to go. Okay. Hey, where'd you get to go? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let's see here. I am looking for a folder. But I'm going to share with you guys, and as soon as I can pull it up, I don't know how, here we go. Okay, it's coming. Oh, here we go. All right, you want to know why I can do what I do? Waiting with bated breath. <laughs> That's why, guys, I have a hell of a team. Okay. So it's getting bigger, but I got a team, okay? Um, the biggest, I have, a, I have probably the second largest agency in San Antonio, uh, PNC wise. I mean, that is my team. We rock and roll, guys. So yeah, it's a little fuzzy, uh, but yeah, that's me in the middle, Mr. Superman, okay? That is my entire team right here. So these are the people that handle my service. Um, I pull some of my PNC site to help me during ACA and the, the annual enrollment. The reason I can help you guys is because of a team. Okay. A, at some point you have to invest in people. And I, I, I share one thing with agents, David, they're like, God, you got a lot of people. And I do, I spend a lot of money, but every single one of these people are profit centers. All right. Yep. They make me money. OK, guys, uh, you know, they're not cost centers. They don't cost me money. OK, I hire people. And once they become a cost center, they're out in the street. It will cost somebody else money. But in this case, <laughs> with me. And in fact, I've gotten a little bit better, David. OK, I'm, I'm, I've created some, you know, I got a good income stream. Everything's rocking. I tell them, I don't even care if you make me money but you better not cost me a dollar. <laughs> right. Okay? So, you, you know, so there's a dollar value to everything that they do, retaining, servicing, cross-selling, new business, they're handling it all. 
That's why I'm able to pick up the phone and take your calls. How John Dean asked how big a how big a book you got? You want how a big book? <laughs> how big a book? Okay, PNC with one carrier, 4,400. And then when you start adding, and that's households, when you start adding the awesome. outside, probably another two or three grand. Let's just say two grand. So uh, maybe 6,500 PNC customers. All right, ACA, we're at about 38, maybe 4,000. Okay, um, and that's households, not heads. All right. Medicare, I hoover around a thousand Medicare. All right. Um, with that size of a book, I do have a lot of my seniors that are dying off. Right. Yeah. But I write enough every year to offset my my what I'm losing. I lose some. I mean, I can't keep hold of everybody. They'll move. They relocate. They they unfortunately they pass away. Um you know, some other agent comes in there and flips them. But with the amount of business that I'm writing, I'm just kind of, so I'm at about a thousand Medicare's, these supplements and advantage plans. So it's, uh, it's a beast. Street cred. <laughs> yep. It's a beast. All right. A couple more here. We'll wrap it up. Sorry if you answered this earlier as an agent making good living without a spouse and benefits, are there better options with an individual non-ACA plan? Do you know anything about that, Luis? I don't. I've got an Obamacare plan. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I didn't quite understand the question. Like another option besides ACA? I guess, yeah, for some for an individual that's single. Yeah, well, you can do short-term. I mean, the, 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 the question I would rephrase it is, it's not, it doesn't matter if you're single or married. I would probably rephrase it as, uh, you know, are they healthy or not? If they're healthy, then they can go short term. And if they have a high income, the short term probably would be cheaper. Um, but if they're high income and unhealthy, they can't get a short term plan. They're going to get denied. So you're going to have to ACA them. Okay. What if they're healthy, but low income? Well, the ACA plan, I mean, the short term, you know, there's, there's no subsidies. It's probably going to be more expensive than an ACA plan. So there's a lot of variables. She, you can't, she says U65 plans direct through a carrier, but non-ACA. Excuse me. What? Yeah. I don't know. We'll let her clarify. Let's move on. Yeah, Stephen says, uh, back to that SCP thing. If you or anyone in your household lost coverage, lost qualifying health coverage in the past 60 days or more than 60 days ago, but since January 1st, or expects to lose coverage in the next 60 days, you may qualify for the special election period through the application. And I'm, I'm assuming ACA or Medicare, I still don't know. ACA, yeah, that's the point he's making is, you, yeah. have, you were saying 60 days, look back. What he's saying is since the pandemic started, what's still in place is if you or anyone in your household lost, lost cover, qualifying coverage in the past, basically if any time after 2020, I don't know. Maybe it's something new. I haven't caught on to it. Okay. Thank yeah. you for such an awesome training. Appreciate it. What would be the best option for an agent in California looking to break into the health market? You know, do it there. Commissions are low over there. It's just the way it is in California. Yeah. But or sell over the phone. Phone and then possibly get some non-resident licenses and sell in the other blue states. And who do you, do you train ACA and Medicare tele sales? Absolutely. hundred percent. Uh, da, 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 da. just answered it. Thanks. Thank you, Karen. Um, who is your eyeglass supplier? Maybe he or she could adjust your glasses for you sometimes. They shouldn't be sliding down. <laughs> I agree, man. These damn things. That boy, the thing is, is man, I, I'm playing with my kids. My tag dog, you know, will get them every now and then, you know. And, and the, the where I bought these, yes, I need to fix these. Thank you for noticing that. But geez, geez Ken, man, some people are they don't miss a beat, man. <laughs> your glasses are sliding he's trying to help i'm sure and you know what i need to take so want to make sure you can see properly thank you i appreciate that <laughs> there you go man come on <laughs> <laughs> by yeah. any chance could you touch on un 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 not undeserved communities underserved communities i mean i would say the whole time that's really what we've been talking about right i mean 
this is a low income product, especially with the special election period. Um, here's a here's a little joke, guys. Don't go set up a booth at Whole Foods or ACA. Uh, you don't have low income people shopping at Whole Foods. That place is expensive. I don't even like to go to Whole Foods and shop. I love it, but yeah, you need to go to the hood, lower income areas. Those are the people that need the help. So where do you want to hang out? Low income areas, go to the outskirts of a metropolitan area, uh, the suburbs, the little cities that are out there. Um, I would even say, hey, go to the family dollar, the Dollar Tree. Uh, you, you know, the, the, those are low income people, you know, normally. And the flea markets, guys, get out there where low income people are hanging out. And yeah. just talk to a manager. They'll let you set up a booth. Right. Right. I think I think uh, one of our top agents has like a like his facility or office in a low income neighborhood. Right. I mean, purposely placed there for that traffic. So, I mean, that's that's what it's for. It's a rough. I've seen that. It's a rough neighborhood. You don't want to be there at night. You better be packing. OK. <laughs> yeah. But it's a rough, rough neighborhood. But he's killing it. He's put signs up there. He's he's just. He, he draws and he writes a lot of business. So ACA, low income, hang out, set up shop where those people are at. The whole paycheck foods. Yes, exactly. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Luis, that's it, right? We're wrapping it up. We done already. It's over. Wrapping it up, guys. Get the cane. <laughs> take advantage. Take advantage. Don't wait. Open enrollment is a month away. You have plenty of time to get certified. It'll take you less than a day to get certified. I'm talking a couple of hours. Contracting will take you a while, but it's not us and it's not you. Once you submit, it's at the carrier and they move as fast as they move. Right, right. Now it's time to do this, guys. If you want to do this, that's why we did this training. So you guys see, we know what we're talking about and ready to get you enrolled if you want to contract with us, davidduford.com forward slash FAQ, check out how ACA works with us if our video hasn't been enough. And then you'll see the next steps to start the enrollment process, how to get certified. davidduford.com forward slash ACA now to get the certification information, all the freebies Luis mentioned as well. Also consider hitting that thumbs up button to make sure that YouTube knows that this was the best ACA training ever. Luis, thank you for being here. And audience, thank you for sticking with us. We uh, I really appreciate you. All right. Thank you, guys. See you.